Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of. Uh, If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they're going to start now. All right, it looks like we're starting yeah. up. Okay. Uh, I still don't see the stream on, though. Oh, here we go. I got the stream link. Uh, we open with a 4 or 5, okay. And a 5 C. Hi everybody, Nick Blazer here on commentary with Margaret Storer to help me out here. Hi there. We got Roberto Litzenberger playing the white checkers on top and Ray Fogerland on bottom in a 19 point match in round one of the Super Jackpot at the sunny Florida Classic here in Fort Lauderdale. So this is, yeah, it's starting to get a little bit interesting. Uh, Ray is on the bottom blue, he made his 20, 22 point and slotted his bar point, for lack of anything better. And uh, Roberto has a, has a slight advantage because he's got a better anchor and, you know, a better blockade in front of Roberto's anchor. Sure, sure. Oh, and this is white with a double two. Yeah, and with the lead in the race, I think we probably want to advance our anchor here. I'm not sure. We activate the checkers on the six, but... Um, Right. Ray, Ray, is, Ray is blue on the bottom, and uh, yeah. And so, yeah, maybe we, we have to well, remind this is everybody. A candidate too, when you have the, your opponent has a 22 point to go ahead and block that. Yeah, so it's still it's fairly close race, but it's sure. but it, the nine point is not super valuable without a lot of builders to extend, yeah. make the bar or the five. Well, Ray rolls a, rolls a very nice double two here as well. He'll want a blocking point as well into advance. And this is another double two? Okay, they're stuck on this number. Yeah, so we, th this is actually what I would do with the double two. Okay. Yeah, it seems natural. I think Roberto can find safe plays and just try to play the race. Now that he's down a little bit, um, he'll want to keep that bar point anchor, but Ray can't clear it anyway. Um, which point is best to clear here? Maybe the 11 is most flexible and makes a nice point. Well, it's, okay, so the, the, uh, the 11 has, does some duty. It, it's a landing spot for checkers on the midpoint, which can't be moved right now. Sure, sure. And, it's, and if, you, if you just clear the 14 point to the 8 point, you don't leave indirect shots. Yeah. Although you've got an 11 point to clear. So if you look at the race, it's... Um, it looks like it looks like 118 to for 118 for before the roll. Yeah. I think 54, 84, 94. One, yeah, I, I get 118 and I got um. I get 121 now for white. So, it's only a slight yeah. racing lead now with two blots in white's board. Um, Ray Blue is going to uh, be able to clear his 14 point. Yeah. And he's just counted the race. And he knows that it's close. And it's only seven pips ahead after this roll, so he might want to yeah. keep all the structure out there. Maybe it's not an opportunity. Well, well, I, I, I mean, I, I think, I think he could just, um, yeah, he could do something like this. This gives, this gives several ways to make another outside point, and I don't think Ray is going to hit with a seven and leave uh, four blots. He's going to make a That's board. Roberto. Oh, Roberto, Roberto's white. Yeah. Roberto's white top. And Ray Fogerland is blue bottom. And now I, th can make another blocking point with the race I think he's. I think he's got to. I don't think he wants to leave four yeah. shots. You know, right. he'd have to otherwise. Yep. Five, three, and four, two. But he does anyway. All right, he's. He gambles. He's to pass up the four point board. And, and now. Much better to make the eleven according to XG. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we've got a, we've got XG here, which I can't see, but yeah. Nick can. And same decision here, pretty much. But he's not, yeah, he's not going to, uh, he, he could make the 12 point, but the, that would be harder to, that would be hard to clear. That would make too many points, seven points. Yeah, you think that's so he'd have to break something. So I, I like this play myself. Yeah. 
cleaning up D, yeah, you can play four to one with it as well. True. Yeah, four to one was equivalent to me. Yeah. No, it's probably a small difference. Okay, it looks like uh, Roberto's still making racing plays with a small advantage in the race. Not as worried about making the board. Trying to keep distribution right. Four one plays pretty naturally down, and they're both just waiting for their set to decide the game, pretty much. 3-1 is an interesting one to, I guess we meant to do four. It's not perfect for racing distribution. Yeah, but he's, he saves a six at least. Yes, yes. He could have done, and it smooths the distribution, so it's pretty good. It's probably yeah. right. Yeah. I would guess it is right. Yeah. Now, now uh, okay, so white, now white plays, yeah, now he's, he's saving two sixes, and he's got a six-point prime. Mm -hmm. He's got a chance to close his board. So and he's checking you, in on the race again to make sure he doesn't have a cube, and he's going to find out he's down one pick. Yep, simple plays on both sides for the rest of this game, I think. Now, if Roberto is further ahead in the race, <coughs> yeah, so the, six, I don't know about. We're still, it's still a close race. Interesting, yeah. That is uh, now, this is interesting oh because, uh, you know, he could clear his eight point. There's no question of leaving a direct shot. I would not leave a direct shot because yeah. it, it's not winning if you're missed. And uh, the question is whether to make the one point and save two sixes, but leave two blots in your board, yeah. or to keep a good five-point board, yeah. oh, okay, and, and uh, bring two in, which he, which he does. I think, I think this is good, too. And so now, now Roberto plays safe, and he's going to play six to four rather than save a five but wreck his board. Yeah. Because now if... Ray rolls six and something, and he'll leave a 17 number shot. It's a, a something and a one. Yeah, one something. It's not six one, or he would have played it. But maybe it's one one. Ah. ah, so he's going to. Is there no one out like that? That dies? <laughs> I don't know. It's, but anyway, it's, it's, one, it's one one, which makes sense. Now he can. Uh, but I can see the one on it over there too. Yeah, that's, it's yeah, nice. yeah. That's it's not just the angle of the the die. So I think maybe he should just make his one point for a closed board, and then he rolled a one zero. A one zero. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happens with that. So yeah, being down in the race slightly, I like this play. So he, you know, it's about yeah. it's about even money to leave a leave a direct shot, a winning direct shot. Okay, and is he going to have to cube on the swing here? So yeah, he, yeah, he w he will, I believe, because he's still going to be in it if he misses. Yeah, he is down seven pips. Although, so yeah, although, right. although, well, you yeah, know, down seven pips, but but some of those pips are wasted on Roberto's yeah, one true. point. So it is a lot closer. So it's not really seven pips. Should be a pretty trivial take for Roberto too. I would think so. Because besides the hitting numbers, he's got a double five and a double four, which are very good for racing. Yeah, yeah. But the other half of the deck, right? Yep. And that does. I want to see that die too. That's cool, right? <laughs> yeah, he's got a he's got a funny die up his sleeve. So Roberto takes, mm -hmm. and kaboom. And that'll do it. He probably wins a couple percent gammons here or something, or five percent or something. Yeah, super clear double, super clear take. I think that's a, five, a three five. or a two. Oh, a six. Oh, a five five. Oh. Ah, yeah. That's okay, a so so, yeah, so he's got to. He's got to. Um, so now he's thinking, should he? Well, wait a second. Oh, he has the last one to play, so he should play seven to two. Yeah, that seems. And he gets a direct shot with a six one. Right. There's one number that it improves, right? And and I think he's he doesn't leave a he doesn't leave a direct shot with double fours if he stays on the bar either. Mm, yeah. Three and one off. Okay. Ray cruise into a likely two point lead in this one with still almost twenty pips in the race. Never over until it's over. <laughs> so true. Yogi Barrow talking to the fat lady. 
<laughs> a fat lady is uh, still in the dressing room. <laughs> yeah, those double scores help. Getting closer. Uh oh, is that a miss? No, well he's got he's got ten left. But he played it right. Yeah, how do you decide between six to two and five to one? Then? Big, uh, because you need double fives to get four off. Mm, yeah. And you need double twos to get four off, which is better than double ones so to get four off. So of now he's gone. It's a uh, Ray popped a double. It's a okay. And that's it. Two nothing to nineteen. Yeah. What's that about a fifty-seven percent winning chance or something? Uh, can it be that high? Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's 54, 50, 55, or I don't know. I'm going to look now. It doesn't much matter Yeah. as far as your cube actions. 19. At least a two. Let's see if I can find it here. 1917. Oh, you're right. 57. I feel like you knew. I didn't know. No, I, I didn't. I just, I just think, I was just thinking of like how many, how many points, how many uh, percentage points for match point would it be at that score, and I thought it would be all my... It might be yeah. four, it might be a little less than four. That was my thinking. So I used to know Neil's numbers, which helps you yeah. generate match equities. Right. I never memorized that, but it seems easy enough now, and I've thought about doing it. So, so the standard play with a 3-2 is to split with a 3. 3-2 yeah. three, three, replied to 2 on slot. Mm -hmm. And one reason, according to Nack Ballard, is that it duplicates 2s to hit on the 4-point and to make the 11. And I, I was skeptical of his claim, and I... But he proved to me that it was a, f a real factor. Hmm. Makes the five coin, pretty natural progression so far. Is that double two somewhere? Yeah, so if it is, he's going to make the four point and find a, another two. That's pretty strong. Uh, we could just make the 11, or we could, I don't see any need to step up into that stack on the six right now. Well, to, to, to step up would be a, a two duplication, 24 to 22. Yeah. And it would be more outfit coverage and advanced anchor would be good. Yeah. 13 to 11 a hair better, but they're really close on, on four play. Yeah. Yeah, so there was a okay. strong Yeah, there's more ways to make points in the outfield if you go 13 to yeah. 11, slightly more ways. Yeah. And the good, the good numbers for uh, Ray make the four point versus, you know, the two point or whatever. Yeah. But also you don't provoke blue to attack, which is their best, like, counter game. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's only even money for uh, White to hit that thing, yeah. even money or so. And that was that. You know, that five was interesting. He could have played out, but he stayed back and slotted his 18. Yeah. I mean, it's not his 18. It's eight. Right, right. He would have double twos would have been good anyway. But you know, he he would get out of the. Out of the way of the the thickly settled, you know, six point. But but as a result of his play, it's like the eighties, maybe the eight now. They're super close, by the way. Like Sweden okay. Didn't have a strong preference to okay. Play. But it did have a strong preference to cube before the roll. <laughs> yeah. Four one. Are we gonna anchor at the edge or try to counter this with some sort of attack? The attack looks a little interesting here. I don't wanna. Well, he could now play six to two. Yeah, maybe both is reasonable. And, what is our other four? It's going to leave. Yeah, well, you don't want to leave. You leave a lot of blots and shots. So six to two is probably actually the fourth card, huh? And then we got to put the. Eight well, I, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, if, uh, I'm not sure. I, this this is a little. This is pure. You're not putting checkers deep. In your, the the two is a little impure because the next point you want to make is your bar and the, and your three. So this way he's slotting his bar. And Roberto has a strong double, I, I believe. I, I believe it's just a double. Well, and the, question is, the question is the take. Yeah, it's actually a pass after this move is takeable after anchoring and hitting on the deuce. Oh, it's a, t a take after after yeah. 6 yeah. to 2, 23 yep. to 22. Okay, that's. Yeah, because yeah, there's just so many shots. There's 24 yeah. shots. And yeah, if he doesn't hit, he might roll one, a, a, a 2 1 to make the 22 point. should make two points with the aces this early when we can the other blot is back in the 24. 8-6 is going to be awkward. 
You know, this is I'm indifferent to the to the play because um, this will the, the slide the seven gives more building power, leaves more shots though, especially five four, which is would be oh five four is sort of good anyway, making the eight point. But so I would have been inclined to go thirteen to seven with that six because you can improve you can improve better. Now this is really good for Ray to be able to hit this thing. Huge. He's under a lot of pressure there. Still under some pressure in the outfield. There's a duplication of fives back. Roberto probably considered doubling, and now he's going to decide which five to hit with. And he said, "I'm going to slot my slot for a solid five prime." Yeah, and keep the anchor while he does it. So yep. that seems like yep. a keep the anchor solid too. decision. Uh, can't hit anywhere. Making the four point seem strong. We could also make the the seven and not leave all these direct shots. Yeah, and it duplicates a five to cover. 13 to 8. So, yeah. I I'm inclined to play 13 to 7. Yeah. Even though the 4 point is really good and I'm stacking the 6 point right. is really good. Just you, feels you so leave strippy. A, you leave 6s, 2s and 5s. Yeah. To be really and and 1s also, but he says all right, I'm going to I'm going to leave 5s, 2s, 6s and a whole <laughs> bunch of other things. Yeah, and you should dare, uh, he's daring. I think he might be daring Roberto to double. So 13 to 7 is actually a blunder, and the only blunder. thing he oh, wow. messed up there was stepping up with, to the 21. 10 to 8 to clean up a blot is a little better. Yeah, I would say I would have done 10 to 8 if I, if I decided to make the 4 points. So a blunder, that's interesting yeah. because I guess you, you want to put your checkers where you want them, right? Yep. And, and I guess he was deciding he was going to pass. What, is, what does XG say about the pass? Uh, it's a 67 take, so a small one, but not too bad as far as cube decisions go. Yep. Uh, zero six seven. So, what did, did we just he's spotting him? Uh, spotting him a split. No, I was gonna say, did he just yeah, open no, with the two one splitting? No. What is this? He just forgot to reset the checker. Okay. <laughs> so the standard reply is just just to hit and split like this. Uh -huh, it's uh -huh. supposedly a tiny bit better than thirteen seven six four. Ah, uh, someone says can't hear Nick. Only one person now. Uh, what do we have? Three three. Yeah, three three. He's gonna hit twice, which I Looks agree good. with. He takes a lead in the race, and he's got a strong position. Mm -hmm. Maybe not quite worth a double. Yeah, with no points. I guess we threatened a point on head. Even it's, it's, there are I don't threats. He's got a yeah. man on the bar, which is something. More check. He's got, but he doesn't have a, a point in his inner board yet. Yeah. So that's a big factor. Usually, that's called a pointless double, and sure. it's usually not right to make a pointless yeah. double this early. Making the five point should be very strong. Pointing on head on the four, of course, could lose our market. So I, I yeah, see some yeah. real so threats. It, yeah. it could be, it's volatile yeah. for sure. Yeah. And there's no doubt that Ray's gonna take without right. much hesitation. Which yeah, XG does. likes the cube there too. Okay. It's a good find. Well, right. I'm with you that there, it's not usually where, when we're thinking about doubling though. But, but it's, it's like blue doesn't have much of a position. So. Right. Yeah, they've gone backwards and that's about it, right? Uh, what are we doing with this? We'd love to take away a tempo, uh, I, I but I'm not think, sure that's worth hitting on, on the is, is Head it? on the four point and make the bar. Yeah? Oh, we can come around and hit on the four. Sure, sure. Okay. It's really good if, if yeah. uh, Ray misses the return. That seems pretty strong. I like it. Yeah, making the ace is actually a compelling option there, too. Yeah, it's a blitz oriented. Yeah. This is hybrid. That was hybrid. Um, uh -huh. Prime plus plus. So now I think you should probably just make the five rather than the four. Really? Okay, yeah. But the four is strong. The four might be better just because it minimizes shots. And again, you know, there's a duplication of fours and twos um, mm. if he makes the four. Two, yeah. Two, to, two and four to hit on one side and to anchor on the other side. Yeah. So this is fine. I mean, this is, might be better. They're really if close, you're, though. You're if right. If you're a super optimist, you make the solid four prime and you yeah. unstack your six. And because now, you're not afraid of yeah. being hit. You just you don't I want it. You don't want to be hit. I think so, Ray really needs the anchor there. So I like his. Oh yeah, out yeah. He doesn't want to get 20. pinned on the one yeah. point, and he wants to make a board. So we've got a six what here? One six two, two, I guess. Yep. Not from the bar. And a four one. Looks yeah, right. I don't, no need to touch the back checkers yet. We're going to no. just keep creating contact and building a board and waiting for now. 6-1, a little bit awkward. No, nowhere we like to play the ace. Yeah, just, just safe. Yeah. Just, you just want to get your checkers home. and. Mm -hmm. 
in good order and this is the way to do. You don't want to be hit too early. And yeah. Six something. Six something. Maybe it's five. Yeah, I feel like it could be six five. Because then he's, he'd have a real choice whether to point on the ace point and, and drive him forward or just to come down safely, clear the midpoint safely. Mm -hmm. And they're both really good. And how many blot numbers would there be after coming down? There would be, uh, well, a, a five one and six one. And, f and, and then five, and then, and then six two and five two. It's nice to slow down his progress of like making the board and bring the blot up too, you know? I guess it's, it's so true. hard to clear it's the true, midpoint. It's true, but it's a question of how, uh, yeah. how readily you improve after clearing your midpoint. Yeah. So that's why I was wanting yes. to count the blot number. So I, I counted five, mm -hmm. five, two, five, one, six, one, and six, two as blot numbers. Mm. I don't see any others, but I might be wrong on that. Five, three is a blot number. There's another. And yeah. so that's, that would be 10 blot numbers. On five, the plays are five, indeed five, pretty one, six, close. Two, six, one, five, yeah. three. With a small preference for making the ace there. It's okay, so yeah, there. so yeah. so with ten blot numbers, I'm I'm seeing that making the ace could well be quite good. Mm -hmm. And Ray is not going to advance his anchor because he wants a shot, and if yeah. he stays back, he's got the most chances of there's getting a shot. Of There's a blot number, so he's just going to head off the one point seven to one. Yep. Minimize shots and force him forward if he's missed. A lot of life after a hit here too. That's very true. Five five fans though. Now there's a few gamins when this happens, right? Oh no no, sorry, he enters. Yeah. I don't think does he want to be parked there on the twenty? I'm inclined to leave. Well, he by staying, you get yourself a direct shot if you're pointed on, unless mm. it's double three. That's very true. I hadn't thought of that. So that actually does so help that's with the a, blot that is a Yeah. That is a good reason to stay there because mm -hmm. it. You know, now if if. Uh, Roberto had the one point block already covered, then he would have left, yeah. I believe, quickly. Because he would not want to be pointed on. So this one, our distribution looks better after six to one. I think another question is how many like hidden cover numbers do we have with each play? But I think making the two or the ace must be pretty good. Yeah, both very close. Three, mm -hmm. two. Is yeah, gonna I make the bar. I okay. have a strong preference with that five. Six now? two, that can clear safely, right? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And, and with a small 63 pip lead in the race. No, he's still, I believe Ray's still going to keep that checker on the 20 point. Yeah. I think his board's strong enough and Roberto's weak enough that he can afford to do that. But uh, yeah, it now, is, it, he could yeah, Now I believe he should still. just cover the one point. Yeah. And that would menace the, a blot on the, the blot right. on his five point. And then Ray might, you know, if, even if it is correct to leave. Interesting. Ray might get it wrong and stay. You should actually versa. just stack up the four point there by quite a bit. It's a blunder to cover the ace. Really a blunder. I guess yeah. I guess you want to clear look quickly. I was looking, I'd say, okay, well you've got oh a six three was a blot number. Oh I see. Okay. Ah, so that okay. might that might swing it. Yeah. I I wasn't seeing blot I didn't see the blot number immediately. Got it. He's rolled four one and now that's now he's he's gonna clear the, yep. he's gonna prepare to clear the seven point. And now Ray can just make the two point, or he can just go. Yeah, he's he figuring out two how point careful or make it needs to be. He figures, all right, um, when in doubt, you know, improve your board or improve your prime. Yeah, it's it's the a gammon was like close this. at all. Then he needs to move pips, you know. Um, so I think he's. But it's out not. Yeah, but you're gonna. You're likely to. If you move outside, you might be forced to move inside from there. Yeah. And you've got a slight benefit by making the two point when he leaves the blot right away. Mm -hmm. Three two is just going to stay safe. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, slot the one. Oh, oh, white. It's white. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, safe. The only, that's the only play. And now he's going to keep his anchor and mm -hmm. hope that Roberto rolls the dreaded six four double blot. Yeah. There's the dreaded three. What is that? Three something. Three two probably. <laughs> and then he then he can play safe, uh, which I believe he will he should do. Rather than leave a game winning direct shot. Yep. Six three is gonna have to leave with one. That'll be okay. Yeah, he'll, he'll leave and then scary. he'll look at the three and he'll cover. Yeah. 
Yeah, why not have the not real, no neural gamma danger, and he wants that closed board. Yeah. In case of this, five three. <coughs> so he can actually he can uh, bring two checkers in and leave eleven shots, or he could break his six point and leave eleven shots, but force force Nick forward, and and uh, I think bring the six point gets gammon more often. Hmm. Can't get gammon too much though. It's like but, under 10%, but actually, you know, it, yeah. do, it doesn't get gammon too much, and he wants to force him forward. It's probably the right idea I think because I like there's this some double. Well, there's yeah. more double jeopardy to me. It seems there's more yeah. double jeopardy the other way. Yeah, I'm concerned with the cleanup after clearing the seven. We don't do anything about there's that. Cle so oh, there's the, 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 there's cleanup play. of the six point. You'd have the other way. Yeah, and yeah. it worked for Roberto. He was able to. He forced raised Watt forward. He was missed, and he cleared his. He cleared safely. Yeah. And now he's just going to cruise to a, a two-point win, apparently. I guess there's a teeny-weeny chance Ray gets Gammon starting with a 2-1. His strategy is simple, move the back checker. 6-1 <laughs> here. Okay, no Gammon, but it'll play for the win from here. Still 57%, you think? Something like that. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe 57.4%. I, I have no idea. 4-3. Okay. So he must roll doubles right now. It's not doubles. Threes. Does he have, he has three, oh, he might. He has, he has three chances, right? He has three, ch he, he could he get off in three, but now he can't get off in three. If he rolled double sixes, he could have won, but now he can't. So. Fifteen away, seventeen away. Long, yeah. long way to go. Yeah, I noticed the glare all happens right by the center bar, regardless of what color it is. So, okay. not sure we can fix that with. Uh, shouldn't this be White's three two? I, I, I don't know. It's whatever. <laughs> I trust the players. So <laughs> Ray is behind in the match. Ray wants to mix things up. That's his idea, and so he. That's why he brought two checkers down. Yeah. The split to the twenty one point is considered slightly better by Extreme Gammon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure you need to adjust that much with this much match left to go. No, but it's no, never you should that play what, anyway. what's yeah. comfortable. And now, now, Roberto says, yeah. all right, I don't want to be hit, and so I'm going to not make my bar. I would have made the bar point there as late. Yeah. Because there yeah. is a three and one duplication. That's Sizable one thing there too. of making a five point and hitting outside. And, and down the, this the much, why not unstack? Or and the midpoint is stripped, four. and yeah. the well, blues midpoint is stripped, and, and 11 point is stripped, so to hit, you would have to break one of those points. So it was a good duplication, and you get a, a concrete asset of the bar point, but Roberto, in return for just playing safe, doesn't have any forward like blots. I think 24 to 22 with this one. Just I think so. I think make that, a bid for freedom. I think a bid for freedom. But Ray says, well, I can duplicate some, duplicate some of those point-making numbers as indirect oh, shots. Oh, he can actually tempo hit there is a big deal. Oh, tempo, oh, tempo hit. That's around. right. Yeah. That's a good way that's to stop. Yeah. That's, a good, that's good. It's a good way to stop. Uh, Ray from making a point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He would not have done that. He would have made his nine point with a 4-2 probably. But. Yeah, now... Um, How about we just escape? Just, I guess you just hit. Yeah, just yeah. 24 to 16. Still just, when you have the race, you just try to capitalize on that. Cash in on yeah, if, you, if he's missed, you know, you can, you can do the funky trick to count the, count the hit numbers. Yeah, you get... You get um, I think you Kevin's second, you get, you get, I, I get 19 hitting, hitting numbers with four blues roll here, which he's missed. Now he's just going to play purely. He's going to slot. He's going to keep his slot is five point, the next best point to make, and he's yeah. going to keep flexible. Now, Roberto, if his previous 6 1 was any guide, he might wish to, he might end up yeah. making his 10 point, which I would not do. I making the five a, looks a little too I'd make strong the five, here, yeah. it yeah. unstacks, and it makes a great point. Oh, interesting. Ten is best by quite a bit here now. Oh, really? So yeah. that's that's interesting because I guess you'd have to also count the hit and cover numbers. Double six is one of those hit and cover numbers. Yeah. Which Ray is rolled. That was a joker. He can he can he moves twenty four pips and he hits and he covers the five point. Yeah. What is our best last six here? 
I guess we probably 21 to 15, outfield. right? Yeah. Because you you can uh, come in direct range of the nine foot, you can cover that with a six. Disconnects our checkers, but sure, yeah. But it duplicates a three to enter here. and to hit right, outside yeah. and to hit inside. Yep. So he probably just should go go to the 18 point and hope. Yeah, still ahead in the race. We're yep, just try and hope, to get free. hope that uh, Ray has to break his midpoint or his yeah. eight point in order to hit. Certainly don't want another blot involved when we're outboarded like this. So Roberto's plan is still uh, escape the freedom and if race. It, if Ray doubles, I expect Roberto would take because. 17 pips, so yeah, it seems like a pretty easy take still. I, yeah, I don't and, think he has a lot of market a, he's, here. He's got a few missing numbers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the form of 4-3. That might be the only one. Yeah. 5-3 five, uh, five, hits, 4-4 four, four hits, 3-3 three, three hits. Got it. 5-4 misses. So there's four missing numbers, apparently. There it is, 5-4. Did I call it or what? <laughs> So maybe he should just move his move from the 15 point somewhere and find the move mm. it to five or four and then find the other number. Has to leave a shot no matter what. He could play 22 to 13 looks flexible. You're saying 22 to 13. Oh, 22 to 13. Yeah, that yeah. it looks flexible and I don't know if I want to give not, up the extra shots. It's not for so it, bad though. Yeah. But if he, if he, the thing about, let's say, 15 to 6 yeah. is that if Roberto misses, he's going to be, well, he's not that far ahead in the race, right? Yeah. Uh, he's a decent, well, he'll be ahead he eight pips after the roll. 131 and then eight mm -hmm. pips, he said, okay, so. Yeah. Uh, long way for a cube before this roll, too. And then, uh, yeah, I would be inclined to play this 9 to 5. And so that, that's, like that yeah, so that's a duplication of 3. Yep, yep. To hit and to uh, that, there's a direct shot. He oh, goes, 15 to six is actually a little better. They're all tied. All the plays that we talked about, 22 to 13 is a candidate. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, the six is no good. So eight so to figure two. Figure that out first. Yeah. Eight to two. Yeah. Yeah, and then we can just clean up a blot. Sure. Still trying to just play a simple if racing game. You're, if you're ahead of the race, then don't leave. Don't get hit. Yeah. And Ray says, "Well, am I going to keep my?" Seems like time to have an anchor. So. 131 for blue after the after the play and it'll be 11 pips after the play. Uh, 120, yeah, 11 exactly. Mm -hmm. So Ray Ray is gonna he says I'm gonna slot my three point and then I'm gonna look for the last <laughs> the last. Uh, yeah, the rest of the two. He could I mean, he could anchor, but how many? I'm gonna blot anchor numbers? and then figure out the how rest. many blot numbers. Well, I'm not gonna I'm gonna count the blot numbers mm. if I stay back. Strategically, I just would like to have the 22. Like, I'm not passing for a long time if I have the 22. But I could be attacked and be hit with, like, hidden covers, things oh, like it's that. Oh, it's riskier. Game be over. It's yeah. riskier to keep the yeah. checkers blotted. Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. It's just yeah. a matter of how much it gains. Yeah. And it's blot, hard for me blot, to take numbers, those. blot numbers include um, uh, seems like the tactics of one roll are a little well, like suspect. Well, well no, well, but, well you, if you could if you could count them, you can you should do it. I mean, like, so we've got five three leaves a direct shot, five two leaves split. a direct shot, uh, five five is good because you can point, but it's you know, and then uh, the five 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 and five two might be and five three might be the only ones. Is this six four? Yeah, yeah, six four is safe. Anchor. You should definitely play safe there with a six. Yeah. That's well, it was white six four. Yeah. And now, Ray says, "All right, I'll improve my board, and I'm, am I going to slot my the fifth point?" And he, it's not bad to. I mean, I'm not sure what it was right, eight to four or six to two, but sure. I don't think twenty four to eighteen was right. He'd yeah, run out of the twenty two point, like the twenty two anchor if he can, and the eighteen. And six. This this is. There's a few bad sixes now. Mm-hmm. And Roberto's Works. still trying to figure out if he has uh, a cube here with the 16 pip lead against no anchor and two back in full freedom. It might, maybe. The mm -hmm. answer is maybe. I don't but, think the back score is going to impact much. There are some, and he's got three checkers on a deuce point. Yeah. Which is not very flexible. Should be easy enough to imagine our market loss. I mean, it's, sometimes just a simple. So, it, it's, uh, so Nick and I, I guess, both agree that it would be a take for blue if white doubled. Yeah. 
little and, bit. And there, it's, there's some volatility, but I guess uh, yeah. Roberto didn't like his inflexibility, but now that. Yeah. In, to me, like even a 6-2 could role. be a market loser. The very yeah. good role, yeah, yeah. Six, yeah, followed by, it's not a market loser now, I don't think. Sure, now, now we'll anchor. Now yeah. Ray understands that the anchor is definitely, yeah. I think, so he instantly anchors. And now the take is, is so easy that Roberto's like, okay, I'm not gonna, yep. I'm not gonna double. So he can make his four point, which is a good point. And, and play behind, sure. Most, most people would just do it. I certainly would. Yeah, if he can, uh, filling that in is a huge step to a cube. He has something this, to think about This now. might be a cube. Yeah. So now he has way less liabilities. It seems like he must have some inflexible numbers, like a six four or something so like that. So he's up 16 pips, so it yeah. would be a take, but. Yeah, six four is a blot number. Mm -hmm. uh, five five is a blot number. He's gonna send it. Nothing or a direct shot number. Nothing else is a direct shot number. I don't think. It seems this is slightly early by point oh three one. Yeah, it, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, he, yeah. he might wait to come down to two on the midpoint. Yeah, fair. And that would be because then he then he could. He'd have more clearing numbers mm -hmm. for his midpoint, safe clear, relatively safe clearing numbers. That's pretty technical stuff, though. I would have been inclined to get it in it as well. Certainly can see our our clearing market loss kind yeah, of numbers. Yeah, so now he should, I believe he should just make the one point. And yeah, not worth volunteering the four, four I don't think, two. I would not volunteer. It's three, three hitting numbers. Um, yeah. I wouldn't volunteer because... And he only volunteers... Uh, Ray on is stripped, you know. He's got, yeah. he's got seven points made, and he, you know, he's... He's going to have to break his midpoint or his anchor or his, his, his point to yeah. or his six point or maybe his five point or maybe two one, four to one. You know, he's going to have to break something. He won't have the, yeah. he might have a five point board, but it won't be the, the best five point board. If he has to leave an indirect though, it is hard to leave less than those three shots. Well, he's There's going he's, to, yeah, he says he's going to, yeah. he's going to pay now. I would have paid later. Uh, they're really close, but pay now wins out by a slight amount on four ply anyway. I'm running all these. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's probably, that's, if XG says it on four ply in a position like this, it's probably right. Yeah. And it was a good find by Roberto. I, mm -hmm. you know. Six, three I have always like looked for in. reasons to play safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rather yeah. than pay now. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a pay later guy, I guess, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Same. Okay, so now we've got, I believe Ray's right to close his board. Yeah. Keep the anchor. We're gonna sit on it as long as we can. Uh, Roberto's checkers are He's still okay. Here's a, here's a lot now. Yep, this play is forced. And he can even play three two. Very <laughs> unlikely. A That's a seven five. Oh, he played a seven five. He did just play a seven five. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he would move his checker on his one back to his two. So they're gonna they're gonna rewind the whole thing. And now he's gonna play. He's gonna play it legally. And there's only one legal play. Yeah. So, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a big swing on the three. And there's five, a five. Five. That's a big swing. swing negative as well. swing on the fives. Yeah. Forced as well. And he might relieve the blot, which he does. That's a blot number. Oh, what do we? Now, he, what is the best way to do this? Well, he's, he, 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 he leaves a, the only way to leave a single shot is to is to break the four point. Yeah, a new blot. Yeah. Yikes! Yeah, this could be really hard to and clean even, up. Even even double ones keeps that four point board. I mean that five point board for Ray if he hits. And he does not hit, Oof. but he he plays the two safely, three to one. Yeah. No other play makes any sense and so ugly dice in the tail end of this yep one. and here is another blot number eight to two five to four is the only it's the yeah. safest play cleaned up the four though it's so nice he's going to complain one. about this if he misses i missed three direct shots in a row yeah <laughs> he wasted all the other ones so um, do we, bingo he goes yeah we can't now break you another have to board leave. Point, you can't right? break your five point board we're certainly going to be sad after some fives and no twos no breaking numbers, the five point yeah. board and double yeah. fives if you break it Double fives leaves a double direction. Oh yeah, that is pretty nice. There's a huge game there. And these are still single direct shots, like mm -hmm. six, six, six. And the rule is, you know, when in doubt, keep your board rather than your anchor. Yes. It's almost always right to keep your board if you're in doubt. Now three one. Do we need to smooth out for distribution, or can we just take a checker off? Interesting question. I really don't know. I mean, yeah. 
I I would do this, but I'm not 100. So you you, know, you, you lose a few more races this way, but you you get hit a lot less, I think. And Ray takes a second to consider the race there. That's interesting, but stays back yeah, to the contact. Yeah. I think that seems yeah. right, even though he doesn't probably have so any shot So this is a safer resulting position for Ribeiro because he didn't <laughs> play that 5-4. He would have had a third on the on the one point. But yeah. now, now the race is all there is to, to the game, and yeah. Ray's, Ray's in it now. And Roberto has still, one less he's checker still off underdog, as a result. Yeah. Yeah. He's still an underdog, but now... Five solves a lot of problems. Double fives is a great, a great number. Now he's got ten, only 10 checkers left to raise 15. Mm-hmm. And now Ray gets three off, which is a very good roll. Pretty now good. he's at 12, so he could get off in six. While Roberto misses with a 3-2, but he doesn't, he gets two off, and now Ray's a massive underdog. Three off ensures against a future miss. But Ray basically needs two unanswered doubles. Three one. We'll give him one more two chance. Unanswered doubles. Yep. Gonna need fours or better on one of them. Yeah, he needs fours, five, sixes, or ones right now to have any chance. And they go four three. Okay. Now six to two. Yeah. So now. Seventeen away. Thirteen away. He's okay. way. Up, he's he's well well up into the sixty percent now winning chances. <laughs> Is Roberto. Still not much adjusting to this match score that needs to happen. Maybe if we get in some weird recube spots, we can get there, but probably need to get with like a risk of an eight. the cube position, which they're doing. Mm -hmm. We can't see it, but it's in the middle. We can't see it. One, one. No automatic doubles in tournament play. Four, two. Okay, Roberto plays the opening roll this time at the right time. Six, five. Oh, yeah, just up and down like usual, I suppose. It looks weird I, when it's I so would, strippy yeah, like this. I, I, would, yeah. I would do it. You get more shots if you keep your 24 anchor, mm -hmm. but you also stay back on the 24 point. Yeah. The alternative is to make the five point instead of the Race is points. almost dead even but the, here. The, the both, both points, is uh, and double threes was a very good roll for yeah. Ray. This is probably going to advance to the bar point, leave some fly shots, sure, try to contain that back checker. Yep. Five, and then one. it'll slither up to the 23 point to freeze the two checkers on the eight point and not leave any yeah, okay. direct shot. Usually it's not more. a place we want to be, but yeah. tactically here it has some merit. Yeah. Uh, now he says, all right, I don't need my eight point to make a five point. Yeah, Roberto on the driver's seat in this game. We can yeah, see so a cube without a yeah, major improvement. Yeah, a cube is coming, perhaps coming. And Roberto's going to just slot his four point and come down to the oh, yeah, that's 10 nice. for a builder. Now Roberto's going to, he should double. Yeah. Despite the four point lead in the match, he's down one pip, but, uh, but I mean, 11 yeah, in his own and convert a perfect spot. It, might, well, it yeah. might well be a take, but yeah. it's not a happy take, if so. No, it's hard to take these single checker back games when your opponent has a I, better board than you, too. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sort of indifferent. Yeah, the only thing is, if you, if you pass, he, if, you, if Blue passes a double and he, he, he gives and he instantly passed. No, he, inst he didn't. He, it is still on the board. The cube is still raised, mm -hmm. rubbing his nose, the old poker tell that he thinks it's bad. Yeah. And he passes. And so I, she I'm likes not, that. Perfect game from both, basically. Yeah. It's break even, take pass. Yeah, game. that's what yeah. I, th I was indifferent, so I thought yeah. maybe it was close. But uh, I'm wrong on that before. Other commentary with me is Marty Starr, someone's asking Hello. in the chat. Yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. Smash the like button on YouTube. <laughs> Smash it. To what? 4 2 hit. Oh, okay. Standard reply instead yep. of making the four point and leaving your opponent lots of ways to make a good point. Mm -hmm. Now you've got to nice play less than even to hit back, which, which Roberto promptly does. It's like 16 for her. What does this do? 5 3. Five three, I would hit loose. It's on just the so. It's, you can, yeah. The other, the alternative is, is coming on the twenty and, and right. split. Yeah. This is, but like this, this disconnects well. the back checkers and it gains a tempo. Yeah, standard second roll. And uh, I, idea. Now, now the question is, do you make the eighteen anchor or do you make the nine point? I would make the nine point actually. 
I think so too. I think right now we have a checkers back advantage, and I want to keep that. And when I have and the nine point hits, is valuable worried, against yeah. more checkers back. Yeah. An opponent has got only eight in the zone and a blot on the one point. Right. Yeah. So I would do this. Yep. XG likes it, but they're very close again. Five two. Usually, once we start the ace, we like to make it. He can hit on no, the way. Perfect. No real choice. Yeah. I mean, you could make the twenty-two point, but this is. Yeah. You know, you got four ways to stay in the bar, right? Yeah. And he's got some bad sixes. That's a bad six. Besides six one six six. He's ahead in the race, so I think he's just going to leave, right? See yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, yet. he doesn't want to leave any other blots. This is the. This this would be the standard reply to a loose hit, on the opening reply. If you split with a six, your opponent opening hits you with five two or something, and then you roll six four, you're supposed to come out. Yeah. Right. Yeah, play with less blots. Why not? Yeah. And I, but I saw somebody. Uh, some good player, maybe it was in the World Championship, I think it was Denyak, Zhishka, yeah. um, played like nine to, t nine to three behind a blot with a six instead mm. of out. And it was wrong, and it was like maybe 0 .06, 0 .07. Oh, this is an interesting 3 1. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Twice. So he's hitting twice. Five. Okay. He's hitting twice. And three, really no direct returns. And, and since no. he has his one point, that makes yeah. a blitz more attractive. And after he spent some time thinking about the cube last time, but I think it still this doesn't feel too, like we have quite enough. This is too enough. skinny, I believe. Yeah. Now the question is this whether is to hit loose or to anchor on the 21 point or to make the bar point. Now he's yeah. saying, okay, well. Well, for sure we have to point on head, I think. But yeah, I guess, you, have to point yeah. On, you have to point on head and then decide about the rest. Maybe we already have nine in the zone, so I don't really think we need another down. I'm, to I'm make thinking this to make the 21 point because it, it's flexible. You know, now you're yeah. not worried, so much worried about your back checkers. Yeah. And, and if you're hit back, you have a lot of return shots. Right. I'm not somewhere. really worried about linking up lots in the outfield right now. No, I, it's, yeah. it's like because if white does so much as roll a two to anchor, yeah then blues black check back checkers become a real problem yeah and so making right. a 21 anchor makes yeah. them makes it just okay you're not even you, you can't you can't find me anymore yeah. Yeah, you could have done it so yeah and double twos also on the two and can see, yeah that was, on two is good for blitzing it was huge though it's a very large mistake very underplay there for some reason uh, it's it's uh, what was wrong it was, was it right uh, we should hit two? loose with the eight to two. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I guess you win a lot more gammons. You win more games as well that way. And, oh, games because you, yeah. you, know, you can't you can't lose if you win a gammon, I suppose, right? Yeah, some truth to that. Wait, did he? Okay, never mind. He played double twos yeah, and yeah. he came to the. Uh, he made the right play. I, yeah. I would have played the same thing. Five one. This can clean guess, up two blots, but guess, we're not so worried about our opponent coming off the anchor. What else? Maybe there's some other. Options. You know, I think this is yeah. right. Um, but back to the previous play, I think that the idea is all right. You're, you know, if you don't want your opponent to anchor, then attack him. Mm -hmm. Like play to your strength, in other yeah. words. So now I think Ray should break his twenty-one anchor yeah. back to ten, and he's just going to nice do it because there's point. no, yeah. there's no real alternative that's any good. Yeah, the real threat of uh, Roberto's structure is a prime right now, not so much the attack, even with that stack on the six. So I like that trying to escape and find. Yeah, mobility. so he might just play thirteen to nine and keep his four point prime. Yeah, he could is attack, that enough? He could attack and break his bar point. Hit two. We're down in the race anyway. I'm almost. I'm strongly considering plays like just making the five here too. Like we need to develop four. I wouldn't. At some point. I wouldn't make the five. I don't think so because I. The double shot doesn't, it's, I mean, it is a double the, shot, but I don't think it's very devastating. The, the, you know? Yeah, the, the, five, the five point is detractive. And yeah. I mean, the, you, know, you can't discount it out of hand because the, 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 the thing, thing about the five point is that it's, well, it has great lasting long term value. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you are missed, well, if you're missed, there's, yeah. you know, he could roll, escape with a six, or he could, which he's not happy yeah. if he doesn't hit. Or he can roll a one to anchor, but then he's a little squeezed in the outfield if he wants to keep an anchor. These are all super close, and just playing six to two with no hit is an. Oh, option six to two with no hit. I didn't consider that. I, I was, I was yeah. like, I didn't. Oh, it's bad to put a checker to leap deep, but yeah. it's like, well, it's stacked anyway. So I just find this to be a significantly easier game when I just play. Uh, and this is, uh, I think, a blunder, a little bit of an overplay here, to leave two blots, but. Um, the main yeah. asset of, of White's position is that four point prime, and he, yeah. the trouble with this is it breaks it, and, and actually he's got a he's got a defensive anchor, he's got a worse inner board, and it's going to be hard to put yeah. Humpty together even after he enters two checkers, any, whether yeah. he enters with a hit or not. Mm -hmm. And now he said, okay, well I guess I can play 
Seven to three, six to one, or something like that. I think that's all there is. Yeah, it's minimizing shots. Yeah, back to the three-one play though. I I still I like making the five in situations like that because I think my follow-up so much easier. I don't feel like I have too difficult. Yeah, it's it is a it's an attractive point, and if you're missed, you're happy. I know how to play it at least. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that's (laughs) a good that's a good consideration. As you say, well, if I if it's complicated, uh, and and one alternative is close maybe to the other alternative, then I'll make the less complicated play to give myself easier choices. Yeah. You might give your opponent harder choices one way or the other, which is another yeah, consideration, yeah. but when he gets it, sometimes yeah. you won't. You know, sometimes it's complicated for your opponent either way or now what does Ray have? With two checkers to bring around against an anchor, it doesn't feel like much. No, no, he's, it's to too hard it. it's too hard to clear the outfield. Yeah. Because he's got four checkers deep. Yeah. And, Still has and, those uh, gaps and board in front White's of the anchor. position yeah. is structurally sound, and but, but Ray says, all right, I'm behind in the match. Probably the score yeah. is a big consideration. And he's here. not too far off. It's a 60 early. Yeah. But I expect well, Roberto point, point to find oh, a very simple six. take yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. And the common parlance is to say 60 for 60 millipoints. Mm-hmm. It's a 60 millipoint difference. So now he's going to play. He's going to make the 20 point and break his midpoint, I think. Yeah. Take an opportunity doesn't maybe clear dump, here. dump onto his three point. Mm-hmm. He gives himself another builder. Now he gets hit with a 5-1. Very good reply from Roberto. He's yeah. unhappy to have doubled it now. Yeah. And now I think uh, Ray's going to hit loose. I mean, there's no... Mm. I think it's just he's got a better board. He's also ahead in the race. He, he, oh, he's ahead in the race. Um, so it makes it less attractive yeah, okay. to me. I didn't even well, look got, at that at first. Got, but you could um, be right. He's got just, 130 pips. Yeah. Just entering high in 10 to 8 seems very attractive as well. What are we really hoping to stop? Yeah. 62 is 141. It should be 21 pips after the roll. 140, wait a minute. Okay, so after the roll, after the roll, he would have had, um, he would have had. I think this just risks too much. He would this have had 130. Equally, he would have had yeah. 130. This risks equalizing the race when we could just keep a racing advantage and have no risk about that. So I think, I yeah. think we have to camp our advantage here. Well, so what is the pip count? So I, I had if he after he comes in, so I had 14 before the roll. I have well, it on 14. XG here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so 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 you so you said 21. Yeah, 21 after playing a 5-2. He's. You said black's ahead twenty one pips. Blue is ahead twenty one. Blue. After playing okay. The role. So. Yeah. All right. So blue has got. He's blue has got seventy on his side and sixty on the other side, and that's one thirty. And white has got. Um, one fifty one. Yeah, one fifty one. Right. I was thinking one forty one, but I was wrong. You're right. Of course, you got XG anyway. And this is right, but they're all almost tied. Yeah. So, so this is, this is okay. a bigger swing. I mean, it takes advantage yeah. of the good board. Yeah. Yeah. But, and racing, you know, it's not just racing, it's also getting by the obstacles. And mm-hmm. White's got some obstacles in front of Blue. Four, so I guess five? XG was saying the, uh, what is four and what? Four. Four, four. Oh. Okay, he well, have he's, gotta, he's gotta just uh, lose the 10 point. Yeah. And now he's thinking, do I make a four point board or do I lift the blot? And maybe he lifts the blot because of the race. Yeah, it feels like the right idea again, and like the free shots from the 20 are, are not pleasant, right? Yeah, this much seems forced. And then, yeah, and then two more. Well, I think the 10 to 6 is forced too. And then you got to pick your last one from here, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. XG likes that as yeah, well. So now blue is behind in the race. Uh, no, blue's still ahead in the race. Oh, blue's still ahead? Yeah, 14 pips before this roll. Okay. Yeah, so the double four. I, safe, I guess the double four yeah. was the difference, yeah. Yeah. So now I think maybe, uh, well, he can play f- 20 to 15. Yeah, how many fly shots do we leave if we do that, too? I mean, maybe it's just strategically yeah, right or, since or, we're down he, in the race. He makes yeah. a builder. He makes yeah. a builder this way, but he had more outfield control the other yeah. way. Yeah, I think the presence was worth more. Yeah, I, it's 32 three, two, I'm not Very sure. close, yeah. I'm not sure. I would have had to count things and the like, you know. Does he have nothing better than this, too? Again, ahead in the race, the we can just three, go for mobility. Three, 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 two out left. Yeah. No hit cover numbers that I could see. Why not? On the 6-3, my, my initial instinct is just 21 out all the way. Yeah, yeah. Well, 21. And this 20, works, too. This gets no, the I, I think I like this, is, this better. I think yeah. this is good because yeah. you're, you're ready to contest the outfield with all your 
All your checkers are now yep. are in good position to contest the outfield. So now maybe he should play. He could break the 21 and come out if he's ahead in the race. So that's a, that's a no, good thing to do. No, he's down 18, down 14 after down, the play. White is still down 14? Yeah, so I think you want more contact here. We well, could go 8 to 4. Yeah, that would be my instinct here. But but he's closer to he's closer to outfield control. He's got a little more outfield control if he yeah. makes a twenty point. He does see more of it for when that comes off. So maybe maybe there's maybe that, some yeah, merit I think, that I think sitting I would on make the eighteen twenty well. point. Yeah, That's because it, because he, it's more flexible. You're not like creating a, a responsibility to cover anything. Yeah, in your that board. actually turns out to be right by quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not a blunder, but sixty-two yeah, to play. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Making the twenty and come out is the uh, top play by about 62. That's an interesting one. The instinct is to sit back further when you're down in the race for more contact and make your opponent deal with that gap, but it's not always I think idea. the outfield is where it's happening. Yeah, I think you're right. You have more contact against the A point. Mm -hmm. We have more contact against the... Uh, like so, those blocks so, that want to sit out on the 15. So Rivero is taking is taking a good long time over this. Yeah. And now he says, "All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna slot another interboard point." I mean, it's a yeah. I feel it's like it's, it's understandable, yeah. quite understandable. And now Ray, so Ray is probably gonna leave indirect shots. He's probably not gonna go six to three. But oh, I like this actually. Well, I maybe or maybe it's right just because he's heading the race. I mean. Yeah. And 20 to 12, you're right, slightly better. But but uh, but because know. if he hit with an indirect. He could have hit cover with a double five, but that was all, mm. that's all I see. Yeah, the blot on the board allowed for a little more flexibility. That's yeah, true. that's okay. a common motif. And then, yeah. and six to three is not desirable by itself. It's another builder for the, the two point blot. Yeah. But so it's he's going to come out and uh, challenge it, it, the outfield here. I like this idea with the so blot So it's line. a six three, where's his three? So maybe he has to dump to the three point himself. Uh, what's wrong with just nine to six? Maybe nothing. It, it, it removes the spare from the nine points. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, all, it's all right to keep it going, too, probably. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, a, good, it's a good thought. Um, it would seem that many plays were close there. This yeah. duplicates fours to cover. Uh, and six it doesn't three delete the though. three, but it, it removes the spare from the nine. Is so Ray says, I'm going to, uh, now Ray should probably just come in with a five. It is worth hitting, though, you think, huh? Uh, I do. Even oh, with yes. a blot behind. Oh, yeah, yeah, our because, because blot's still in You can't play safely board. anyway. Yeah. yeah, true, true. Yeah, so why... You know, just, so I just come in, I mean... Yeah, Rather not, than come out, I don't want to come out. I guess the shots in the outfield aren't so bad. I mean, you, can, you might... You race probably considering 20 to 15. Oh, interesting. I don't, I don't mind which 15 is, to which, 10 here. I don't, I don't mind... Well, I... Everything's going to leave a shot. We build the five point better. Everything is sort right. of okay. Yeah. I actually it's think we can take what, that for the right. same for the same reason as like the last few rolls. We have a blot what, behind in board, so it's kind of nice to leave what, fly shots. What's right? Well, it's kind of nice to. It's not, but you want to be hit. But you can build and race. Ray is going to make it. This is a racing oriented play, and it has a lot of yeah. point. When, well, well, uh, yeah. Roberto's on the bar. Right. Just playing up to the six is the best, and twenty to eleven very close as my, well. My first inclination was. Uh, my first innovation, you mean, you mean uh, 20 to 11? You mean yeah, 11? what he played. That's what he played. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. 20 to 11 is what he played. Okay. Yeah. We got to check out there. Okay. So now, Ray, is, race. We're Ray, race. Is, uh, Ray is really happy to, to make, the, make the nine point and go 14 to 8. Yeah. So there's no other, there's no blotless, no, no direct shotless play other than that, given that he wants to escape. So mm -hmm. there we go. And he already got the cube in, so nothing to think about there. Just needs to fill in points ahead for an easy ride home or, or slime it through somehow. Yeah, I think maybe Roberto should just go 8 to 4, 6 to 5, or 9 to 5. Making a 5 win is also great. Yeah. Probably better, in fact. The unstacks either way. Now, right. I would go 11 to 6 and then 3 to 1 like a wimp. Oh, interesting. I like you the spare. Keep... I like the outside six for spare. I would just pre-clear and hope a set gets me by somehow. Maybe I'm not thinking uh -huh. about the well, right uh, sets. Well, no, it's know. it's yeah. it's uh, logical, but it, you yeah. say you save blot numbers and give yourself more chances for jokers. Because sure. now you've got a six-four, 
you got a six four blot number yeah. and you got a six six what? I guess that's your yeah, only three to one four. I guess your only four, one you yeah. got a three to one is bad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Three to one is bad because you want to you want to clear and you're not really you have had some double jeopardy or sure. something. So. I try to teach newer players that. Like, yeah. So this is this is actually it's now it's transposed would have been the exact same position after yeah, the yeah. five one. Yeah. But like Nick said, if you could you could roll double something, double threes and clear both of them, double twos, you know. Yeah. Do, double twos, you, you, you'd be ready to clear your eight point next time. Any ace seems fine. Two covers. Six two is going to clear a point. Yeah, so six four was a blot number, but the only one, I think. So it's five four. Now, now we should play um, 13 to four, I believe. Sure. Keeping, keeping the eight point. Not a big difference on that. Now this, okay, here's here's a blot. Here's a 15 number shot. Yeah. He also had six one, six two, six four, and I believe five five was also a blot number. He'd have to break the. Okay, the okay, big. Miss his first chance. That's the big miss. So he ought to probably make the two and make the one and slot the two. Oh, interesting. In case he leaves a blot now, which yeah. is possible, although not probable, and there is a safe but. Awkward. Latently risky move. And now if he rolls a one, he's going to have to split. He will split. He should split. Oh, no. No, the split, because if he rolls a blot number, he got a double shot. Yeah, like six, the amoeba five, number. Six, yep. four, five, four. He would have had a 20 number shot. This is a small opportunity there. And again, okay, now he'll just run from the back. Yeah, not going to break his board, so we'll find this one. So Roberto played that 6-1 instantly. Yeah. So he had an Ide fix of... Uh, or fix, you need fix a, I guess. So <laughs> I forget. Yeah, fix is an adjective, so it's maybe it's fix. But he had a the fi he had a, a preconception that he had to keep his anchor. He should at least have considered splitting his back checkers. Uh, Michi Kagiyama calls that the amoeba play. Yeah. Where you split your back checkers um, right up next to a opponent's clearing point that you may get a shot at. Ian wants to know who these goons are. I don't know if he means the people at the board or us. Eh, I'm not I telling am, you either way. There's a Three Stooges episode featuring the goon. <laughs> that was played by me in 1945. Nice. So now Ray has won two points, and now he's getting up to 7 to 4 to yeah. 19. 12 away, 15 away. <laughs> we got all the names on the screen. Roberto on top, Ray on bottom. Playing the blue checkers, Ray. Roberto playing the white checkers. I'm Nick Blazier. I got Marty Story here with Marty me Storer, on commentary. And you're not. <laughs> Aren't you happy about that? Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, Ian mentioned sometimes the amoebas can be wrong because of opening up pick and passes. True enough. I not think. in this position. I don't yeah. Not in that position. I'm pretty sure about that. Scenario dependent. Yeah, you don't want to amoeba against less than fewer than three. Sometimes you do against two checkers on the on the point you're after, but sometimes you don't, and sometimes yeah. you don't against like five checkers there sure. or something like that. Like everything in backgammon, right? It's one of those like, well, it depends. Yeah. <laughs> everything matters, as Bill already says. Yeah, yeah. And now Ray, being behind in the match still, is thinking about doubling. He says, I don't quite have enough. And I agree. But now, he says, I'm going to have to. Now, will he keep the builders in place for a blitz and hoping he can make the bar anyway? Or does he go? I'm not sure if trying to make to 15. Yeah. So he says, well, I, I only have seven in the zone, so I'll make, I'll make a good structure. That's a logical approach as well. 16 to 15 is a strong option, though. But again, yeah, with yeah, these three well, checkers back, too, it might, feels like how can you ever have enough threat? And he'd have two yeah. blocking points slotted, so that's yeah. not bad either. <clears throat> yeah, I want to keep those two checkers in the zone and wait till I can get more. You know? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah the, the, the bird in the hand. The bird in the hand is three points in a row. <laughs> against the 24 anchor in this variation. And Ray Clearly says, has I, an advantage here again, but even at the I score, double I don't see it. Should I double he does? Oh, yeah. and Ray is going to, he's going to gamble it up, and now Roberto's not going to pass yeah. this. 58 early, so about Seven the same the size zone. magnitude as last time, yeah. 
Seven in the zone here. Just way too much work to do to be really scared yet. So he decides he wants to cash on the upside, but I mean, when you do this, you also don't give your opponent very difficult decisions. Yeah, so now he might be, since he's doubled, Yeah. Ray himself says that an argument against an early double is that you might get a little nervous as a doubler and yeah. misplay as a result. Sure. You might feel that, oh, I really have to win quickly or get her. And What's your win quickly, quickly play? This My must win be quickly the play natural. would be uh, builder to the seven and builder to the 11. Which but is actually might, really close there. This might, yeah, it's, it's yeah. not bad because you have to win the game on the board and you're yeah. trying to extend your blockade. Slightly better to just make the anchor, which he found. Well, the anchor is just good defense. If you have both. Right. Both bar points, you can't lose. Yeah. Right? He can just race, you know? Although you can lose. So, so now, you know, Roberto is not, you know, he's got some difficult choices. He's, he's electing a hit rather than let Ray come into the outfield. Interesting. That seemed pretty natural, but there seems to be a different play that XG preferred. Well, you, you, you could go uh, just stacking up the 21. Two, two to the 21, right? Yeah. And uh, that's like. I guess he's outboarded in the race, was somewhat close. Not really, though. He's still down. We don't 10. know. We can't, we can't read it from here, no matter how yeah. close we get. Yeah. I, I could never do that. I tried it at home. One yeah. four, okay. Yeah, unfortunately we can't. What other play the do we have? Step up us. into it. Um, what is it? A six four? A six four? Yeah, for, six uh, four on this one. Oh yeah. So what does he? What does he have? Does he have the whole thing to play? Yeah. I just make the nine and bring a builder to the seven. What's the roll? I think it's 6-4. It no, like this six, is four. Uh, White's 6-4. Oh, White's 6-4. Oh, White's 6-4. It's much more difficult. Oh, I'm going to. Okay, I'm, gonna, I, I'm, I'm inclined to hit. I'm not Making inclined the two. to hit. Wow, two yeah. Point. Oh, no. My that's second a, play was probably 21 That's a positional weakness. Like There's this, too yeah. much game left. There's a, that's a positional weakness to me. Yeah. Best play is hit there in 9-5. to five? Wow, yeah, I don't know what the heck that's that play That's interesting. Is. I, again, again yeah. seven in the zone for blue, so it's not, you're not so Yeah, afraid. that's true. You don't need the anchor, so you really need to hit there. Okay. So now uh, well, uh, Ray, Ray, could, way, Ray okay. could hit on the four or the five. Yep. Or he could play the nick like 13 to eight. <laughs> Slot that eight point into the double shot. Yeah. Which is not bad. I might be inclined to because I get, a, I get that broken four prime, and I might get lucky and make that eight point. I don't have a strong preference here. They both look very reasonable here, yeah. They are very reasonable because if you make your four point, of course, that would be great. So when we hit, are we preventing our opponent from cleaning <coughs> up the bottom of the nine? I guess so. So maybe the tempo is worth a little more here too. The you tempo know? is good. I mean, I yeah. don't know what XG says, but. Yeah, I want to buy a little time, I guess, here and go for a hit, but. It's, yeah, I would not argue with you in a shoe out. Um, that if is If you insisted, incorrect. I would let you. 13-4 is wrong by quite a bit. Two down. Oh, really? Okay. Play. So the yeah. so the the concrete asset, is, I guess, yeah. is trumping everything. But else. you can actually the closest play to it is just 18 to nine. Somebody said, please, not to mention that name, and I said, okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, oh no! Oh my gosh! Ray says, well, I don't want to leave a double shot, so I'll leave a single shot. But he creates a positional weakness of a checker on the. Uh, this is actually better than point. than hitting on the four. Somehow. Better than hitting on the four because you got you make the nine point. I can yeah. see that, but yeah, yeah, you you know you still you're still playing against four back checkers. Yeah, Roberto you don't want out of time on you the don't front. Want to just goes for mobility. I like this thing, play. You know? Now six three. I suppose you go. I suppose you head on the four point somehow. He's ahead in the race, so he can think about just playing around two, but it doesn't look yeah, very but safe. No, yeah, but there's no, I mean, you could play so 13, 15 seven. Is not bad. You could play, you could go there. That's right. Yeah. It's not bad. Or you could go. You could go 13-4, you could go 7-1, 7-4. 7-1, 7-4 is the winner, 68, yeah. Yeah, wow. Tricky game that they've gotten themselves Yeah, well, it's, it's like, Roberto, they both made sort of committal plays, putting a checker yeah. low. They put, Roberto put two checkers low by making what his What on two. earth does Roberto do with this now? I, I don't think he wants to give up outfield presence here. It looks pretty scary. Yeah, or the, the 17, yeah. He could, he could just make the... Uh, Oh, we could make the nine. You go 17 to nine. I see what you mean. Ah. Or we could go 22 to 17. Down in the race, I don't love it, but maybe that is the best 22 to 17, here. find a three, or just keep, wait for your opponent to come to you. Sure. Blocked. Keep yourself more blocked. Yeah, I mean, it's it looks. It's all right. To You're, you you want to, but you now you want to go from your, uh, you want to move a back checker next turn. Mm -hmm. I can't. I'm, I'm like and tempted you, so to you think might about be, 22 you to might 17 wish to, as you well. You might wish to play 22 to 17 now. 
Yeah. And it go nine to six. All, I albeit, see the priming threat, but then I see the blot behind on the ace, and I think, well, maybe that can't be the real threat, you know? So it's a confusing position here, I think. Yeah, if you want your nine point and you want your 17 point. Uh, have you looked at it, Nick? No. no. And each involves a concession, right? So if you, yeah. if you go to the 17, if you make the 17 point, you have to make a concession if you go nine to six or if you go six to three, mm -hmm. right? And six to three, it leaves a direct shot outside. Your opponent will be wishing to hit it, probably. And, but a nine to six stacks a checker. Yeah, 17 to nine is the winner here. Uh, this is very close, though. Yeah, I, I didn't know, so I'm not yeah. surprised to hear it's close. And now, now we can, oh, now we can get, that's one way to get two checkers. You can also go move the five point forward to the three point. Or he could go. He could, he could make the, he could make the four and go fifteen to thirteen. What about just five to one? Yeah. Yeah, he'd go five to one. This feels more like builders. it gets he got, covered. He could have made the awesome. three. Yeah. But he's, it makes a positional weakness of the one point. But the three combination of the three and nine points is somewhat weak. But yeah. it's not as weak as the seven and the one. Interesting. So 15, I would, 15, I would do this. Is this winning. is what I would do. They're all super close. Personally, myself. All super close. Yeah. Six to three, five to four. Retreat He's to look a back at this game. One. This, this is, is interesting. You keep your high points. Mm. You're not super afraid of being hit, but you, yeah, you know, you, you, not you, really on XG. You, you're right leaving, now, yeah. you're leaving double shot, which is. Yeah, to me, just because of the placement of the seven and the nine, and, and you have nine, like in, the, you have nine in the, in the yeah. zone. I would, be, I would just want to, I just want to, I would actually just make the, I'd go five to three twice. Yeah. Oh, and if somebody good. wanted to go nine to one, five to one, and if you had, I would. But the thing, the thing, the good thing about five to, the good thing about five to one, is that the checker on the five point is a builder for checker for lower points. It aims one at the four point, it aims two at the three point, and it aims three at the two point. Well, if he has two on the two two checkers on the bar, he has a. He has bad sixes. <laughs> Worse sixes. I'm curious what XG comes up with. Yeah, Nick is saying a lot of plays are close. They're but this all is close, not, yeah. This is not close? Or no, close? this one's uh, about 108 behind. Okay, that's how okay. Close, how close is 4X? Four, four, four and 13 was actually the top play. Okay. All right, well, that's, uh, that, gives a, that gives a good structure. It keeps, Two, your, six? Ooh, it nice. keeps your blockade. Two six from the bar. That's Ray. I can hear now him from Roberto the other Now Roberto sitting with a match lead on a two cube here. It's a little scary to send a four, but he can think about I it. I wouldn't send it. Yeah. I mean, he's got to. He's got a lot of repair of his front cheese yeah. position to do. But he gets to put a third up now here and keep making progress home. Yeah, he will just make it. Uh, just, just hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he can do one of these sneaky five checkers, point yeah. slots with a one sure. while your opponent is two on the or one on the bar. Now, why are you not sending there? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. We got a ton of gammons. This is, should be a pretty clear money cube, but yeah, at the score, can't do it. Is that a double deuce? Looks like it. He yes, it's it a again. double deuce. Sixty percent wins and forty percent gammons. So roughly. now he could get he could get himself a duplicated double shot at the outside blot, or he could go to the eleven point with two. Hmm. Getting two more in the zone, or he could go. He could aim at the three point with thirteen. Yeah, maybe nine. finishing out the attacks a little better here. He could like aim though. at the three point with thirteen nine. We could do this. I'm indifferent. Yeah. This is the attacking play. The other is the racing play. Sure. Well, thirteen to nine is also attacking because you're aiming a builder ah, at the three point. But this way, you're aiming two checkers at the. I was thinking about advancing the two seven, checkers at the. 17. So I think I think you should head on the five point now. Take the opportunity. Keep your eleven point, and just may, maybe make the eighteen. Well, you could make the 18, or you could equally go. You could equally go 18 to 14. But the 18 of, isn't bad, you know. And you, you're. We have the too many points. We're gonna. Break yeah, but you're gonna break time. something. But then you, you have, you have something else that's there too. So you're not too afraid, you know. You, you yeah. might, you might break your 11 and make your five, which would be nice. You break your eight and make your five. I guess we just clean or up. Break your 17 and make your five. This is a mess of a position, though. It's hard to see what's going on here. I, I would I would go to the actually go to the nine. Yeah. yeah. I go to, I go to the nine because you're you're not really afraid yeah. of having the check over the twenty four. They're yet. both very close. They're close. Okay. What is yeah. she like? Uh, by nine. By nine. like less than point oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Less than point. Less than the. Yeah. Less than ten mil points. Yep. Yeah. 
Nice to keep pressure on the blot. I'm not too worried about being attacked back on the Yeah, race, he, yeah you know. he might not cover, or he might have to yeah. leave shots if he does cover. But it's close, so. More mobility with this play, I suppose? You got more, yeah, either way, you got enough. Yeah. So now he does not cover, and he does not hit. But he can make his nine point. And then yeah, that is nice little, to have here, isn't he it? He could put a little pressure on the 22 point, or he could play. I suppose he could just make the midpoint. I think 15 and 9 seems a little stronger for the interaction with that 22. I do like that. 15 and 9 looks great to me. Yeah. 6-2. Now we're going to... He's going to hit, and now he's going to play the 9, I think, for the 6. Go Clean hit up a for blot. Sure. Is oh, that hit. the best oh, thing hit, you hit, can hit, do? Hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just hit, and then, and then 15 to 9, because otherwise you have to leave another blot in the outfield. Yeah, he's down a ton of the race. You know, this doesn't hit, recapture it. If you get hit in the board, you can you have direct returns. And there's a nice one six. Yeah. <clears> so the spare is in a good position now. Roberto's game simplifies quite a bit. And six five, I guess twenty to nine. Safetying one of the blots for the nine point. Yeah, you sure wish being down as many pips as he is that he could do something more than that. But I mean, just preventing the blitz is a good step in the right direction. Still plenty of work for Roberto to do as well. This is a very deep game. Roberto has a huge racing advantage with 142 pips somehow. To 160 something, right? 173. 173, 93, yeah. 129, 151, 173. Right you are. Yeah, I can read XG. Yeah, Consider. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this 140, 142. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 what is it? Does this just clear the eight to avoid leaving shots? Fifteen to nine else. is my play. Yeah. Fifteen to nine. We're I want to. I want to break a point rather than. I well, I'll break the outside point rather than the. Oh, that's a, such a nice point to own, though. Interesting. I would have. I would have played fifteen to nine. I'm not scared of being hit. Yeah, I guess we have and a lot of life after volunteers. And now too. double to nine fives. A double fives. Now he's like got a. Now he's got a twenty-two to seventeen. Twenty-two to seventeen. Um. Nine to four twice, thirteen to eight. I think. Yeah, we need to improve our board. I mean, he could sure. or he could make the eight point, but but I I would make the uh, I would make the four point rather than the eight. I think we want a board, and I think like you said, the twenty-two to seventeen is key to get out of the way of those two builders that we just created, right? Yeah. So, so race yeah. think race thinking. What should I do? Should I make the eight point? Should I make the four point? He could make the eight point and then come to the seventeen, or he could make the four point and come to the seventeen. I think those are the, those are the candidates. <laughs> and he four wants his board naturally. Stronger. He unstacks yeah. his nine point too. Mm -hmm. Unstacking the nine point is something. It's analogous to unstacking the eight point in the early game. <laughs> and he's not afraid of being hit with an ace. Finds the best play. Because it's, you know, he's got a duplicate. Yeah. Ace is duplicated to make the. Uh, so, what's the best Roberto can do with this? Is it still I, worth hitting here? I don't know. I don't know. It's not even clear. I guess he can just put, continue it to the four, but has he got himself any closer to home by doing this, you know? Yeah, I mean, he could make the five and leave a double shot. He could make the eight, make the 14, yeah. which is better than the 15. Best play there was to just make the five. Or to uh, advance, yeah. he can actually make the 14 there too. Optimally. Yeah, the 14 was was, yeah. was an improvement of the 15. Yeah. Outside, what is that? A two. Two something. <coughs> the old, the dreaded two something. Well, the two hits. <laughs> no, it's white. It's uh, blue. Oh, I see. I see. Is it blue? No, it's it's white. It's white. Yeah. White. Maybe. So a two okay. one probably is what he. Oh no, two, that's a. Oh three two. And he's okay, going to so leave he left it there. The direct shot. I'm not Interesting. Sure about that. Yeah, I'm not sure about that either. So now 5-1 isn't very it, good. So, oh, like, she likes it. Okay, so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's the best. It's not close. 9642 is best still. But, I mean, it's only point, like two mil points off. So he found an okay, interesting so, candidate. All right, so it was a, it wasn't, it was a close, yeah. very close. I, this, I think now he, he makes the eight point. Yeah, I think Ray needs to volunteer something to keep his board in place, right? Otherwise, uh, uh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and keep having an outside point is better than just losing it entirely. Yeah. And five something, the dread five something. Six five. Safe. I agree. Now, now, sure. now, Ray's forward position is a little more threatening. 
Now he's just going to play nine to six. Looks like it. Yeah, Roberto's nine to position six, and now awkward. now Roberto's stripped entirely in the in the outside. He needs a set to bring this home, most likely. Four four three. Now he may he can. He he's can got a, he's got a bunch of plays. He could he could break his eighteen point. That's a leave, lot of shots. He though. could leave sixteen shots. Yeah. Or he could. He could make his one point, which would leave twelve shots, or he could bring his. It's hard to just volunteer break, break his nine point and leave no shots, but then yeah. have trouble la later. I don't think Ray's likely to improve his board next roll. Um, so maybe we can volunteer oh, he, that, that many shots or lesser more. He can improve his board next roll, but then there's probably a roll after that he has to worry about as well. Yeah. I don't think I don't see what I do long term if I well it's not, I I don't feel like I'm enough closer to home. I mean after the that. the best racing play is just to break the 18 point. Yeah. I'm inclined to break the 18, but but it's very dangerous. Those 16 shots are very nasty, but but you're in trouble in either yeah. way, so I'm inclined to do this. That's the play. <clears throat> By quite a bit too. It's like 204 wrong to break the nine. I would have been afraid to. 16 just feels so much, you know. But maybe this is just what we have to do eventually. Four, or only four, a route is home. That what that is? It's what it looks like. It's going to miss if it is. Well, he would have hit right away. It looks like 4-4. Four, four. <clears throat> so he could go 8-4, to 6-2 from here. Keep contact against the... Keep contact against 15 point. I don't, I don't think making the, making the 14 point is enough contact. Right, I think we release too much. Yeah. So I think, I think this is the play. Yeah, he's getting closer in the race with that, though. Only down 21 now. Now we go to play safely. 6-2, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll just come in. 14-6, sure, sure. That's a cocked 5-1. A cocked and a non-cocked 2-1. I'll make the three-point gladly. Now I'd say Roberto is a favorite. Now he's a massive favorite. Yeah, that's game winner. That's going to be the game winner, I believe. Yeah. 10 to 5. That's 46 <laughs> pips in the race. I don't think there's a roll that can save him. I don't think it's going to be too good. So yeah. we're going to move on to two more points for Roberto with the cube. Yeah. Instant cube, instant pass, I believe. Yeah. I don't see enough contact here to make up that giant racing deficit. Certainly possible that he could leave some shots, but not terribly likely. We're probably yeah, way up in the. Seems like I can't, I can't hit enough. Yeah. Really yeah, ninety percent winning chances one. there. So yeah, that's that's almost practically. That's too good. logical. Yeah. He he had no block numbers. Yeah. Immediately. Fifteen away, ten away. Uh oh. And the worst he could have done was all like two something, like six two, and then he would have had like four block numbers. <laughs> and that's, you know, and no, essentially no racing chances at all. Maybe teeny one, weeny yeah. chances to begin. And Ray says, all right, I'm down five points now. I'm going to start. Yeah. I'm going to be even more aggressive than I have been. Yep. Standard play is split for the two. Sure. Not too far off, though. And Roberto says, but Roberto says, oh, I'm afraid to split with the two. Yeah, so five two is like that exception where you usually I, split anyway, I but would, I understand I the split. idea. I would split. I mean, Usually after your opponent plays down, you but, like to play down too. You know, you're trying to build in response to your opponent's lead in building development, catch yeah. and play, which is usually wrong in the open. That's working out a little bit for Ray. Uh, he's, Roberto's made a point, and Ray has made a point, though Roberto's point is better. The five point is better than the bar point. You know, like down in the race, I don't know if Ray needs to do this. This kind of seems like inviting an attack. I think we can just enter on the 24 and play down if we want. I would play 6 to 5 if I were coming out on the 20. I'm not sure about the 20. It's actually I, 21. It's, yeah, it's, 24 and 8 is best, but not yeah, by a yeah, ton. Yeah, that's yeah, that's logical thinking. Cuz you're you got you got a point as 11 in the zone. And even right. though you have a better board, I mean sometimes you can split your opponent's a lot in the zone if your board is better. It's yeah. the safe versus bold criteria in action, sure. but in that position, you gave yourself really good building power with a safe yeah. play, and opponent's position was inflexible up front. Yes. So only two active builders, the, the 
the two and a half, the, those eight point and six point were active, and the seven point was semi active. Five two down in the race, we can hit loose. Why not? And then yeah, seize up yeah, for yeah, mobility. Yeah, yeah. yeah, do do that for sure. And now he's going to go six to five because it's so much better for improvement later. Sure. Yeah, we don't want to be hit off the edge either. Better place yeah, for the plot yeah, anyway. Yeah, right. And this is a duplication of three to anchor, three to hit. Yeah. And now he's going Two, to three? anchor and slot, I believe. I don't think there's anything. Oh, anchor and slot. Good. He could Neither hit as well. Yeah. All right, but then you, I think the defense is the most. Yeah. Important. They're really you're, close. You're, 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 uh, off, offensive power maybe isn't quite good yeah. enough after getting yeah. loose. But the drawback is you, you, you love giving the full roll with which you might do something great, like escape. Mm -hmm. And that's a really good roll. Moving only three pips and making a four point. Yeah. And so Ray, only down 28 Ray, pips, he's not going to be able to camp on this, oh, this back no, for too long. He's gonna, well, you know, so this is not a bad, not at all bad, I don't think. No. It's uh, 29 early. He's got, yeah. few, he, he's got a few. He's got a. He's got a few um, awkward numbers. I guess six on the midpoint sort of argues right. against it. Hard to have market losers from there. <laughs> yeah. You, well, double sixes would be one. And maybe would double it be? threes. Maybe. Maybe. I, like I say, maybe because that would improve White's timing. Yeah. Right. Then you'd That's actually it. have a back game, maybe. Yeah. yeah. You could. Uh, yeah. B yeah. Better back game. Better chance to hold the double right now. Yeah, for now, I think Roberto's plan is just to give up one of those anchors when he's forced to sooner than later. And Roberto, uh, Ray's taking advantage of the fact that Roberto's not inclined to redouble anything yes. soon. Yeah. He'll have to be a little bit careful about it because the eight cube coming back would be rough. And I think Ray, I think Ray's play safe because the opponent has a better board. And he only gets a few extra numbers to make the bar or the... Or the nine I think Roberto can keep playing awkward on the front with the seven to three, but again, he needs no, to get something. this is fine. I, li I prefer yeah. this. Okay, giving up the outfield completely. I prefer it. Yeah, yeah, I prefer it because it's, you, yeah, you know, he's going play. to have to next turn anyway, and he might roll. Mm -hmm. He might, you know, th this way, he, Ray has not made his two point yet, and so if he get that now, uh, he's not afraid of being hit, so he can play. Was that a five three? Five two is what it looks five like two. to me. I can't tell. Five okay, three so would hit. 5-3, no, it's 5-3. Oh, 5-3 links up, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that was, that's unclear to me. Small mistake, it would seem. I would, yeah, it's a little. 9-6, 7-2. Yeah, he, he, could, he could have just played uh, safe. He could have left a, left a blot on the midpoint for contact and mm. kept the double anchor. Yeah, and under no pressure to do that, huh? But he says, I'm probably not going to hold my double anchor, so I'll break it now while I can make my midpoint. It's Can't blank tell. and blank. The dreaded, it's wild card. <laughs> Mate would hit, he says. <laughs> that you could move backwards. If it's wild, it. you can move <laughs> the other direction. What could he have? I, mean, I guess what, what decisions do we have? If it's a 4 3, is he really thinking about making the bar point here? I think you got to stay back with the contact. Yeah, I, just, believe, this you, seems yeah, I believe you're right. You, you yeah. don't want those rafts of builders and heap on your head if right. you don't have a, a, an inner yeah. board anchor. Yeah, now, not actually Ray, playing for the Ray back could play was a bad five option, to one though. with that four. A little bit better it's distribution. In, it's interesting, maybe? five to one. This is, a, yeah. yeah, but a third on the two isn't good. Sure. Making the one would be good later. Super close. And you get you have some pick and, pick and pass numbers. Did I hit a cable or something on my foot? I uh, didn't do anything, I guess. <laughs> oh, you guys are helping him with the dice. Thank you, guys. Yeah. And that's a two. Two. Ray says, buckle my shoe. Two, two, buckle my shoe. And he's going to That make solves it. a lot of problems. Yeah. Might win a few gammons, even, depending on how Roberto uh, responds. No, Roberto's going to stay back on that 24, and he's going to move down to the... I think so. That's a lot of gammon hope saving the, hope for the... Uh, He's going to hope for the indirects. Oops, and Ray says, I'll happily point on your head, sir. Yeah. I hope not to. And Ray, uh, Roberto hopes to come in, which he does. <coughs> and is that a six? <coughs> I'm mean, different with a six. Either. I would probably, make, if it is a six, I'd probably even make the bar point. Oh, I would come out. He says, sure. I'm going to come out because I want the flexibility, but 
Yeah, I love the mobility. You, you could, yeah, you could, you could keep. The, you can make the bar point later, and you don't necessarily yeah, I, I need know, to make it to you, win. You know? I know, but you could, uh, you could, if you hit for the twenty-two point, you could, you would have the six-point prime, and you, you would uh, have the twenty-two point if you wanted it. Yeah, only twelve behind. That's only a little point. tiny bit of, yeah, extra stuff, and you'd be blocked with a five-five sometimes. Uh, On which one? Out with the six. Oh, with the six, yeah. By how much? Uh, twelve. Okay, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Five's off, and then... Oh, he plays the three first and thinks about no, the five. No, no, okay. five, six to one, five to two. Oh, he played the three or not? Yeah, he's played five to two and thinking about the five now. Oh, oh, why I, not oh, five oh I would play th yeah. uh, six to one. Really, why not uh, just well, five you're, off? You're, it's a five off, five off wins a few more gammons, I guess, but, but six to one is safer and... and Pre-clears? It is thematic. It is more thematic against the three-point anchor to... to uh, yeah. Clear the six point early. They're super close, and that's right. Michi, Michi says clear the swing. You think this is right? Yeah. Uh, your play was right. Your oh, play okay. was right. All right. Yeah, I was following Michi's advice to try to clear the six point against the, th the sure, three anchor sure. early. And now I, like I believe that. he just goes six, seven to one. Uh, you need to save a six. Why not just two in? Um, I want to make the. I want to make the point. Interesting. Yeah, saving, a, saving a six is. Saving a six is not, it's not that big a factor, I suppose. Right. Now I, now it's, You can just oh leave well. it 22, right? Well, yeah, you can go seven to two, 22 to 20, I think is right. I think you say 22 to 20. Get a few oh, the shots. amoeba. I was just thinking it's of 22 a, it's to a, it's 15. It's a strange but amoeba. Usually the amoeba yeah. is. 22 to 15 is a little better, but that's a close candidate. I guess maybe you save more gallons with 22 to 15. Right. Yeah. And you keep your bar slotted. And you this was not an amoeba I was looking for for whatever point. reason. And you, you know, you only get, you only get a few more shots. Yeah. Now this. Because 6-1 can hit, right? And that's the only one that's going to do it. 5-1. Five, 5-1, one. Five, one, one, right. Yeah. And then, uh, and then everything else is pretty. So aces, I think we want to get them off the three. Why not reduce well, you win. Yeah, you win more. Uh, do you, win, you win a few more gammons by hitting, perhaps. That could be two, but it could also cause your opponent to enter on the five and give you less problems clearing points, you know? So. Enter on the six, yeah. This is interesting, uh, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure I'd be, I'd be counting stuff here. Yeah. Like, this you could just, you could just clear your six though. point, right? Right, yeah. You go six to four twice. And, that but must then win you got, the most. Then you got four blot numbers next turn. Six to four wins the most by a slight amount. Uh, about 5% more gallons of the play that he found, though. So he finds the best play, too. Very sharp. So that you're, you're saying it's best to hit? Yeah, to yeah. hit and make the five the way he did. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was, I would have probably done that. Uh, five, but I would have tried to count shots over a bunch of ply before I made my move. With all these, if you can even do that, I, can, I, I think I have a chance to do it right. Looks like we're saving the gammon here. Yeah, so he rolled double fives and yeah. this is, yeah, gammon off. Count gammon off of white Russia. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could keep it on the high Play for the win, there. play for the win. I would have played seven to five and, and catered to double fives to get four off. Yeah. And come down to even. The tiniest of the tiniest of nuances, <laughs> the teeniest effect. So he's he's he can, he's got to roll sixes or fours exactly right now to have any chance at all, and he does not have any chance at all. Okay. All right. So I'm with Nick Blazier. I'm Mark Storer. Um, Nick has written a book called Adjusting to Match Play. Yeah. Thanks, Marty. And. I bought a copy. I haven't read any of it yet, but <laughs> well, I hope you like it. I'm in person, so I only had to pay 50 bucks. Yeah, you get discounts 50, if you come. 51.2 or something. 64. 64, Close yeah, 64 yeah. is a good price. Yeah, right. A backgammon price. I thought it was a backgammon price. It really confused me why no one had done that. Yeah, and Dirk Schiemann should charge 128. Right. Yeah. Euros or USD for his own. I think he's close to. Yeah, yeah, it's close. I think I, with shipping, I paid uh, something like <laughs> 130 U.S. dollars. So now the, the game just just Roberto escapes check with six five, and he falls with double fives. Yeah. And uh, 
Ray has rolled two five threes and he's made a three point and then he's brought two builders down with his. Interesting that Ray chose not to split. And yeah, so he wants blitz. to he wants to he wants to attack a blot rather than prime an anchor. And he, he wants to he wants to go after the, he wants to attack and block and, he, and keep his anchor. He doesn't want to split so much. Yes, even ahead in the race, I'm inclined to just make the five point here, but we're under some pressure to get the back blot moving. So are we? This is white. Oh yeah, no white. I'm go, I'm going to. Uh, that is interesting. No, it's not it's not clear cut to me. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, actually could, slightly could, better to go, play sixteen with something. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 sixteen follows the Sam Pottle law. Yeah. Pottle's law of always run the last back checker. Mm -hmm. And it's it's so good when white gets succeeds in getting that checker away that yeah. it might even trump making the beautiful five point. It does here too. Actually, making the four and the deuce is better than making the making five. The four and the deuce on stacks of six too. Yeah, yeah. The distribution looks a little awkward after making what seems to be a very standard play and making the five, just very much out of time. Yeah. So Roberto, nice find. Finds the best way. Yeah, well, best is to make the four with it, but this is close. Oh, enough. it is make the four. That's yeah, yeah. close. Okay. Yeah. So make the four and two is better than this. Yeah. A little bit. This looks okay. Like well, it it's you know, it's, it's, this is well motivated at least, even if it's a tiny bit worse, and we don't even yeah. know if it really is worse if it's right. a tiny difference. I'm only writing them on three plies, so. Yeah. Oh, three ply. Oh, okay. Yeah. Three plies. Three ply is suspect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Donkey-like in certain. So is my types. CPU, though. So. Oh, your CPU is. <laughs> you got a teeny weeny. You got a, a 286, an IBM 286 from yeah. 19. It wasn't too bad when I got it. Yeah, it struggles right. a little bit with the plus plus when I'm doing. Well, live the Federation got now. me one to use for. Yeah. Primetime background magazine. Oh, nice. And it's really fast. That's awesome. Three one. Okay, simple plays for Ray now. Just making his board. And now Roberto should have a double, right? It's only six pips, so I don't think so. Oh, only six? Yeah. 42, 68, But he'll be thinking about it, yeah. I got someone well, asking about electronic yeah, dice. It's only, it's only 110 to yeah. 116. I think we've played right. with electronic dice. It's an option if you want to use an app to roll them or something. Some people do that. Um, a lot of people, yeah, think it's blasphemous and would rather see the dice roll. Yeah, it's blasphemous because yeah. it, it could be... Uh, some hacker could generate, yeah. generate dice for somebody, a player he's betting on or something. I don't know if I buy that as more of a risk I, than yeah, manipulating I don't know. manual yeah, it's dice. Probably not. You know? so, so, yeah. If there's a lot, lot, lot of money at stake, somebody would try to do it. Right. So Roberto played 5-2, unstacked his six point. Yeah, I like that play. Saved his, I do too, saved the six outside. What was and this, 4-1? He made his two point and he played 6-5. to 5-1. 5-1, five, five, one. One. Uh, yeah. 7-2, yeah. to 6-5. Two, two, he could have played five to four instead of six to five. It's very. This should be enough pips to create a cube next roll now. Mm. Uh, so what's the easiest way to clear it? Probably just eight to eight five to and six to three and leave all eight, points. Yeah, I'm, I'm indifferent as that final three. Yeah. Five to two isn't bad. Six to three okay. isn't bad. Four to one isn't bad. We could of course fill clear the nine. Points. Yeah. And 12 pips after this roll, so I think, is 40, enough. So 45, 54, 67, 103. And I think it's enough contact still to take, too. Interestingly enough. I think it's like... 91 to 103? Uh, yes. Is and it's, so that should be right on the borderline of a racing take, a little bit of a pass. But maybe there's just enough contact to still play this out. But the, the cube should be clear. I'm inclined to take if double if I'm blue. Behind in the race yeah. by three points. I mean, the yeah. score by three points. And it's almost exactly borderline. Yeah. Yeah. And when in my rule, when in doubt, take. Yeah. I, yep. That's what I follow. So Roberto is going to find the cube here. We'll see what Ray wants to do with it. If he likes to gamble a little bit being behind in the match, or if he doesn't want to give up two points so easily. Well, Ray's got a little bit of a motivation to pass because he'd yeah. get the six away if he sure. loses two. No. But again, no, but, but he, you know, he'd give him seven away. And eight for away. Sure. It's uh, nine and oh, eight. Oh, eight away. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he'd get to eight away. Okay, that's not as big a deal. Yeah. Six away is probably a little better of a deal than eight away. In other words, six, six away, nine away mm -hmm. is better than... 10 away, 13 away, or 8 away, 11 away, or something. 
neither here nor there. So that's a close decision in any case. And Ray says, all right, what did that take? What the world's double sixes, uh, six five. Six five. Oh, is this is good, yeah. Mark it, po possibly mark a losing sequence here. Anything that clears from the rear. Yeah. Three what? Five. I think, yeah. Yeah. Six four, another beauty. And six four is six four is good there, and you, you might just have to run. Yeah, what do we try to wait for the six one fall they hit. Interesting, yeah. We're starting to hurt our race when we when we wait. Yeah. Oh, six, six, one. six one would have hit and covered. <laughs> had he, uh, but it would have left a blot had he even kept the eighteen point. Yeah, yeah. But roll out of one. You can't know these things. No. Probably three to two is best. Eight to seven yeah, is three about. Two does eight look to seven is level. is equivalent, I'm sure. Yeah. They're close. Three to two is one five fifteen better. Yeah, um, I bet it's not really. It's I bet it's not really that much better. Yeah. I buy it because I mean this. It's a con common theme with the extra ace. It's, that it's the a, eight to seven doesn't really gain you a whole lot. It's a smooth lot. right. It's a smoother right. distribution. And now Ray says, "I am going. To, am I going to get more checkers off next turn?" Now he's that, that gives him only seven misses. Whereas if he went ten to nine, he would have had uh, eleven misses. Any one would have missed. But the, but the trouble with two to one and place like two to one caters to yeah. low numbers, and you need high numbers. Here the and crossover six, six seems five. better than all the other options, so I think I'll just take that. But um, but I mean he's right to pause and think about the distribution. Yeah, it's tough. It's yeah. not a big deal either way. You're a big underdog no matter what. Yeah. But you always want it. You want to. Shave off as much equity as you can from your opponent's yeah, of course. winning chance, no matter if they're big or small. Right. Roberto appears to be hanging on. Six for four and five off is my play. Oh, interesting. I didn't even think about that, but that does look a lot better. Better. Instead of five to three or four to two. Or something. Yeah. Not huge. Three to one is not too bad. Yeah, three to one is hard. Two to two one is Even a bad. Five one. three, not too bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is best for the two there. And he's got to go six to four and get three off of the double four if possible. Seems like it. He could go five to three, but that only gets three off of the double three. But it gives a better position after 6-6 six, six, slightly. This is, you had an even number of checkers, you might fill a gap. But here I think you smooth. I don't think that's right. Again, a tiny equity difference. Yeah. Yeah, 6-4, six, 6 off best. What did he, did he roll a 5 through there? Or? He rolled 2-2. Two, two. Well, oh, he rolled, uh, he took... He yeah. took two off, I think. I got one, it. one off is five, one off is three. You have a five three, maybe. Five three, I think is what yep. it was. So, yeah, so um, so five off and five to four. Oh, if he had three, two, one, then it doesn't matter. But if he had any chance for to get off in two rolls, he would have maximized chances if he rolled an initial level six, which would have meant. Eight away, moving, off away. The, moving off a five point, so you that double fours are better. So we're finally point. in range where that four cube can be pretty scary. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so eight away to 13 away for Roberto. I bet he slots his five points still. He says, no, I'm far enough ahead. I want to I want to minimize complications. I think that's right. And Ray says, I want to maximize even, even though I've... <laughs> Building against split back checkers. Having an anchor simplifies things. Building quite a bit against for split back checkers is less effective than against an anchor on the 24 because you can get hit more often in the outfield yeah. and you can, the opponent can advance an anchor against you. Making the 4 your 2 actually had a really important. interesting candidate in like splitting now that our opponent has an anchor too, but uh, making oh, yeah, the 9 no, is splitting, fine. Splitting is, uh, splitting is interesting because once you're, like you said, once your opponent has an anchor, then your back checkers become your main problem. Making the five seems to be the best we can do with those four-four. Uh, you don't want to make a point behind him if you can make yeah. the five. 
you could have made you could have not you could have gone nine to five twenty six or two twice. I think but this, this is better like, for blocking. I like the two down here too. I'm not really excited about making the fly shots, but with the made five, there's a lot less. Yeah, now he five. now he must come out with a six. The eight really points know. better than the three. That's why we don't. So make Ray's gonna come out with a six, I think, and go six. He needs to, five. to move his back checkers somehow. I guess yeah, he could I, make I think, the minor split too. I think he really needs to. Yeah. Get action going because it's too dicey. I mean, it's it's heading the race and out of time. This yeah. way, you know, Roberto's got to perform right now, which he does. Yeah. But he would have been making that point anyway. Right, and you would have been in big trouble even if you hadn't been and, Okay, Maybe he's more not trouble. on the bar, so he, so that would that's a little bit worse than if you were on the 24 One and 23. 1-6 is pretty bad, but I'm not sure it's enough to cube at the score. Would uh, we cube it for money? Still down in the race, we have an anchor, we have our opponent pinned on the 24. Yeah, this looks like a double, a right? Broken, yeah. It's not bad, it's certainly yeah. not bad. Uh, it's a bro against a broken four prime. Yeah, but the issue Versus for blue is that flat. yeah, blue can never split here really. There's too many blue, checkers. Blue is going to split. No, blue's blue can split, it, but it depends Not where the builders are. Yeah, it, like let's let's say Ray, let's say Roberto doubles rolls six one, moves the builder to the five from the six, moves the builder to the seven from the mid. Now he's got four active builders. Yeah, and and twelve in the zone. Yeah, noting that eleven the eleven point checkers are not in the zone, so not bearing directly on an open inboard point. Right. Um, or it's you might say, all oh, right, 11 and a half, of the, uh, yeah. 12 and a half of the zone, really 12 of the zone anyway, mm -hmm. not 11. But but then I think maybe in many variations, um, like in many key. variations, blue would split. Like 4-3, yeah. after that 6-1, he would play 6-2, 24-21. There's no other choice. you got to get your back checkers moving. You can't yeah. just move on your side and never never split because sure. you'll... Uh, You'll just running get, actually looks most attractive here if he can pull it off. Run, yeah. Running, running. I mean, with a, with a, so if you could run with a five three six three six two, that would be yeah. great. If you could make an anchor with a one double one double two double three, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you roll a, a three or a two, you're inclined to yeah. split. But with the four prime, it still looks playable, and Ray's yeah, going to so take Ray, it. Yeah, so Ray takes it. I mean, yeah. I think both the double That's and right. take were quite reasonable. Yeah. What three two. Three no. five. Five three. Yeah, so that's obviously nice best. improvement. Very scary. To Joker split here. three is brilliant. Joker three, six three. to three twice, I believe. Yeah, that was a small double and a clear take. Uh, still a take for money, most likely. I would think take for money. Yeah. Uh, why not cover? Oh, you can cover either. So you can cover the three. Th yeah. Covering the the two leaves three. Checkers on three points directly aiming at the open. And now we're in a pretty a even game. I guess I still yeah. I just maybe I actually safe. like Ray's side now with the racing lead. Yeah, yeah, with a cube in hand. Yeah. And a and a and the and, and uh, um, Roberto's inclination not yeah. to redouble to eight in those yeah. faces. Faces this sixteen is, cube for match. Sure. This is not the kind of position where we want to be getting an aggressive cube in yet, though. There's not a lot of gammon risk or anything like so that. So my too guess is that Ray's going to keep his he's going to keep his nine point. Uh, yeah, I would be inclined to for roll, but I guess I can see the flexibility of not doing that. But uh, both yeah. really want to prime each other with such a close race. Yeah, so so um, there are a lot of ways that for um, Ray to break an outside point safely right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that too. As well as the four numbers that exit both back checkers. Mm -hmm. So here's a double one, so he can he can just switch to his seven point, or he can. Switch from yeah. the nine point. We can switch from the eight and make the one. Yeah, I feel like just switching to the seven is the most like long term robust. We have a little bit of a racing lead. I just want the flexibility of it. Um, yeah, 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 it's it's um. But you do want to keep but, the but double you five are, spot But you too. are giving yourself a better way to get a five point board next turn. Yeah, you give your so opponent this is a not, six five. This is five, not a big six, deal. So. I don't think this is a big deal. Slightly incorrect, actually. Let's see. Slightly uh, incorrect to do this. Seventy-seven, eight to seven, two to one is sizably better. Oh, really? Okay. To block those big jokers. Yeah, that okay. surprises me. <clears throat> All right, no, that's yeah. yeah. Well, it's also because you can roll up. You have a bad five, yeah. nine to four. Yeah. And you have, but you create a good five, seven to two. Mm, but there's yeah. some value in that. I'm not sure exactly how much. Six three must just clear. We can't think about leaving our anchor. I don't think. Yeah, Ray Ray might give a four cube, a, a, a gambling four cube. Oh, it's Ray six three. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ray six three. Oh shit. So he's thinking yeah. about running. But he's not ahead enough in the race to do that. He really Maybe. needs to camp and let the position crash through, just like he's doing. So he's. I don't know. 
It's not desirable. No. Nothing's desirable. I mean. No, but when they're close, you have to play. I, I would. Games. I would probably have done this in yeah. practice. Mm -hmm. But I. I, I have a rule. A I have too, a rule. Right. You know. I have a rule that that's if I'm inclined to do something in a position like this, I should work really hard at the alternative because I often get such moves wrong. It's a weakness in my game. Roberto's going to block the higher number again. I would have broken the eight instead, and that's a blunder somehow to break the shallower point. That's interesting. Well, because you're, you know, you're, you're, you're. Your remaining checkers are better placed for building. Yeah, six five is perfect. Both players have been waiting for this for a while to go control the outfield. He's got now. He's got uh, double three double sixes and six five to hit. Elevens yeah, and twelves. Yeah. Five five is a nice racing number. And Roberto's actually <coughs> got a, a one pip lead right here before the roll. Yeah, so that means raise. He says, "All right, I've got three three and six six and." Yeah. 5-5 five, five to run and 6-5 to hit. But that's not enough. No, it doesn't seem to be. It seems like it's not, it's not that uh, Roberto would have much equity on Riku, but no, he would really like that to get four true. away. <laughs> yeah, if you're offering a dead cube, I guess, and you think you're a small favorite, then it gets tempting to send it here in this spot. But, but, I I, but, I but Ray's, Ray's board is, is a little bit precariously placed. Right. I mean, he's... Yeah. He's got a one spare on his two and two on his seven. Yeah. And then he can shift maybe from his five to his four or six to his yeah. four with some with Perfect. certain numbers like three two. But he doesn't double, it's understandable. And now he's just gonna have to he's just gonna have to keep his board, I believe. Hope for a fly shot. Play from the seven, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. there's nothing says that simple plays. Nothing says that everything is gonna be flexible. Yeah. Now he goes now he goes to seven the eight point, I mean. That links up, yep. Force only no no direct shot number play. Right. Now there's two blot no there's two Just ways well. to hit. Six five is funny. He always said I almost hit. Now he could leave ones and fours or sixes and sevens. Yep. Ones and, and I would leave ones good. and fours because there's a lot of, of those fours yeah. leave direct shots. The four four doesn't four ones. one of course is yeah. good anyway. Oh this is a blunder too. What? It's a blunder, so you should have brought both out. Yeah, by a lot. So two out, I guess, is. Surprises me. I guess it's, yeah, that's right. You're right. Although little numbers are bad before. Little numbers are bad, yeah. Mm. But now the, now the big numbers tend little to be good because they can numbers. be safe. And the, yeah, the okay. little numbers tend to be good. They're, you know, the ones are good because they hit. Interesting one. That's now one Ray is alive. Six to four, six to five, I suppose. Yeah, that looks very nice. Gonna leave a blot on his six. He's not gonna leave a gap on his five. Ooh! Ooh. Fours? Oh wow, the closeout for a gammon, Ooh. huh? Now he could gammon and he could get four away with a doubled gammon. Probably I mean, not quite another, a favorite to win the gammon, but doing no, really he's well. he's got a yeah, so he's he's also he wasn't a favorite to leave a blot with a six six and he didn't. <laughs> but now he's got six five, six, six, five, five as blot numbers, and he's yeah. gonna roll on correctly. Six, and five, oh my one. God! Now I think he should probably With two play up, six to be? one. No, he might yeah. play. No, I don't know. That, this is it's tough because it the extra checker off can sometimes matter after after. Yeah, you're ripping wins two percent more gammons. So. Yeah, that's true. It would yeah. would more gammons. Oh, so, four four no. is a fan. Okay. Okay, three, that's three. that's that's good. So we can. Now go. does he need to go for it? Is the question here too, right? I I would go for it with. Uh, with with opponent six point open. Yeah, when, when your gammons are around fifty percent like this, you have to yeah, take yeah, some liberties yeah, yeah. to yeah. like jump them by ten to twenty percent. Yeah, I so would. I, I would. Three I would take three off. Yeah. Yeah. I the difference I is about ten percent in gammons doing yeah. that too. So. I wouldn't think too hard about it. I'd take yeah. three off. And He's Roberto's gonna, saying, "Oh, I'm going to be hyper safe." Ah, yeah. Oh well. Hyper safe. And so this just doesn't gives up. No, if you know he's going to roll three one, you'd be you'd be making this play. Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, that's forced. And then Ray really wants to get in. He is his worst coming number. But he really wants to bear off. How many does he have after three to two? Uh, he can just, it's in, even after the one off, so you find a safe play, I think, three to two. I think here, the right? safe yeah. play is even indicated. Odd. Yeah. That's a weird one. He doesn't want, you really don't want to leave a block. 
And now it's Ray's favor to save. I think so. Maybe not by a huge amount. Uh, yeah, pretty 75-25. 6-3 six, six, is uh, good. Played well. Two crossovers. 2-1, two, okay. 2-1 one the worst. As is 3-1, 4-1, 5-1, 6-1. 5-2. He's... Okay, now that, this is interesting, probably right. He could have had one more, he could have had one more way to get off in one. He could have given mm. himself a double four. Interesting. But this is Six four, that'll do saver. it. We'll save we the can gammon. go ahead and resign the, the single loss now. Save the gammon, so six away, 13 away. Mm -hmm. And this is the super jackpot. Yeah. Which is round one. A high entry fee, round one, and it's jackpot, meaning that it's single elimination. So if you lose, you're out. Mm -hmm. And Roberto Litzenberger is a big favorite at, at six away, 13 away. And Ray says, now I'm, since I'm seven points down in the match, I'm going to slot my four point, my five point, or the four one. And Roberto hits naturally. With the awkward and Ray hits back naturally. Yeah, he could have split, but he wants to try to get a quick advantage for a quick double. And Roberto's putting a damper on his attacking chances by hitting everything. That ace 23 to 22 is nice. Four and now two. He, could, he could make the nine point. Or yeah, he could and hit the 23 point. Why not? He could, he could make the, or he could hit on the five point. I, I would make the nine point. He could make the 21 as well as the first thing yeah, I saw, I, but I, I think wanna, that's a little too passive I don't want to make the here. 21, and I still want to be. Must be strong. I still want to go, go forward. And yeah. Ray says, I'm going to go forward by attacking with seven in the zone. Or 23 and nine is best here. I would, yeah, I would I would have thought so. Because the, the nine has great lasting value in it yeah. at this score, you know, well, against. Yeah. A nothing board of your opponent, and you have this two, is second two best by about thirty. Yeah. So I guess he's happy he did it. I've been different about moving to the fifteen or the sixteen. Probably I'd go to the fifteen as my normal inclination. Minimize hit covers by duplicating three. It does look to have some nice duplication effect out there. Yeah. And okay. Whenever and you whenever duplicate, he rolls a double okay. of that number. So we're gonna hit. We're gonna cover, and then do we make the five point maybe with it? The twenty. He's, he's played three now. He's, he's gone cover, hit, hit. Oh, he's hit Eight to five, one, 13 sure. to 10, and now he's going to think about it. This so seems had, reasonable if you're going to well. hit twice, I would have played 13 to 10. Yeah. Just for another end of the zone. And a, 23 another. to 20, 13, 10, 8, 5 was best there. Um, did he okay. ban? No, 2, 6 or something. He, 13, 10, twice, 8, 5? Uh, 13, hit, 13 hit 10, cover five. 8, 5, and then make the 20 point. Just a nice oh, long-term oh, improvement. 10, 5, and 12. Okay, so not yeah. hit on the 3. Yeah. I guess you still have only 8 in the zone, right? Here. Right, yeah. And he says, I'm going to double, but he's 8 in the zone and really enough to double. He is 58 again early, consistent. <laughs> but this is a little harder for Roberto to take. He'll take. So, yeah, I think so, but it, it feels a little scary. He, he'll, I, yeah. He's not afraid to take. There are certainly like gammons sisters. in the future in this yeah. position. Yeah, but even now, three like, one okay, must so, hit, right? So, do you what do you do? Make the twenty with your three, or uh, I would have last time, seven? but I'm guessing maybe ten maybe to seven or thirteen to ten and hit. Oh, that's interesting to make the bar. I would have thought no, three to two is automatic. Yeah, I, th I put him on the bar. Yeah, yeah. three to two is automatic for me. I think so too, and then the twenty with it makes a lot of sense to me too. Yeah, three three to two is fine. I would. I mean, I I think. I'm almost indifferent to the three after three yeah, to two. Yeah, they're very close. And Bill Roberti says, blitzing, blitzing positions are the hardest to play. Mm. This isn't really a full blitzing position. It can be when you have a ton of checkers but back. It's a Sometimes hybrid, really it's simple. a hybrid blitzing position. In other words, yeah. You, the reason you play three to two is to put a second check on the bar, and you can get lucky. Nothing says you're not, nothing, you are, you are entitled to get really lucky by opponent missing and by you hitting and covering something, right? Yeah. So this, this would be a good start, and now the 10-point checker is coming into play. Yeah, he's happy so That's he a 5x, I don't know, 5 what? 5-3 five, probably five, just three covers. 5-3 covers, if it's 5-3, he just covers. Because he, you know, again, 
He doesn't want to let Roberto stand, anchor. He's allowed to stay in the bar against a three point board. And so he since he's given the cube away, he's got to win the game on the board. Yeah. And winning the game on the board, he's saying, well, I'm going to keep more checkers. I'm not going to go to my two point. Yeah, he's really afraid of Roberto just entering but on the I 21. Would, yeah. I would go to my two point and, yeah. and try to, you know, take advantage of when, uh, when uh, Roberto does not come in. That's too passive, that, but that would have been. Uh, that would have been. This of course, a double two anyway. would be would as a joker now, and it would not have been. Yeah, anti. -joker. It would have been a fan, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's called play results, and we don't. So he's probably just going to go 13-11 with a two. Uh, enter with high, maybe we five. could enter. enter high and down. That's what I do. Why not enter low and try to advance the twenty-four point? I don't care about the 24 point. I want to make, I want to not be hit and not let, not want to hit with a one and gain a tempo to build. And I want to, the, the ch checker on the 20 is really well placed. Mm. I would hit now with a one for sure. Oh, but he says, I'm going to make a point with a one. And that's, this might be better actually. The broken five prime. Slightly. Really, They're super really close good. though. Yeah. <clears throat> But hitting was good too. Yeah. One what? One blank. It's a, maybe a. I keep trying to moving my head around, but <laughs> that's not going to change any angle. Yeah. Because I can't affect the camera by moving my head. If I do, it's minuscule. I changed the gravitational field. Is it just 5 1? If it is, like, it what be. other play is there? It must be. Yeah, there's no. I mean, he can say. It's a, he's thinking probably I'll put a builder on my 12 point. If it's 6 1, I guess I'm just making the bar point. 6 1, I make the bar. 5 1, I do 4 this. 1, what but I, I don't want to be hit. I just, I just don't want to be hit. He says, I'm going to build. Oh, 6 1. Oh. It is 6 1. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, this is good. This is a good play. This seems fairly clear. Yeah. Where is your ace ever if you don't yeah. play this? So, this is. But he Ray's, does get hit. Ray is happy about this variation, or at least part of it. And Berto out of time. He's got to keep his anchor, though. 13 to 8 seems Probably fine. Probably keep the anchor. Still well ahead in the race. Probably keep the anchor. It's not hopeless to come out. Yeah. But 10 in the zone. Oh, it actually is better to come out now. <coughs> That's yeah. impressive. Priming's the real threat here. Yeah, so yeah, I'm not surprised. He's got a stripped, a stripped 10 in the zone. Put yeah. It that way. Yeah. And the 10-point checkers only aim at the 4-point, which is the key point. And Roberto is considering. He's not yeah. considering six to one. Believe you me, mm -hmm. he's considering twenty-one to sixteen. But he says, "All right." As Can't pull the many trigger. Some, most of us would would say, "Oh, it's too scary to leave that." Angle. Very human play. Yeah. The six one is going to get something moving. I think he's going to he's going to leave it there probably, and he wants to because he diversifies his numbers. He has, not only he has a six to wink or hit back with a six. But he's got a four out from the 20, and he's got a yeah. three up instead yeah. of a duplicated four up and four out. It does look so like nice seems, tactics this there. Is, yeah, so this is, and he pays for it by getting hit with a five two. Now, the interesting question is, does he come out with a five and hit with a two? And now he, that he's I on guess the bar, he's, he wants I guess to he's right to do it. Because, yeah, you're right, he's on yep. the bar. Now I guess he's just going to have to come out with a five and make the 23 point. That one was clear, by the but way. There's no, yeah, there's no, yeah, I, I thought so too. Now there's no, he, he can't break a point up front. Oh, he yeah, has yeah, to okay. come, he came in low and he came out. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise he would have had to break a point up front. And now he makes the, makes the uh, 10 point. On head, sure. I don't think we're really creating timing by hitting that blot either. It can get stuck, so... Want to find a way to and make our opponent break things. Now there's an anti-joker there. He's got to go yeah, eight what to three twice, ten to, ten to five. Yeah, it seems to be all there is. Yeah, he's not going to switch points. Ah, six to one. There goes the prime. Six to one, seven to two. There goes the timing, too. Six this to one, tough. seven to two, five to three, eight to three. <laughs> a back game, a full, full, full kamikaze. Maybe not completely called for quite yet. Not for the dubious, that is the hero the dubious play. chances of the 2 5 banking. Yeah. Yeah, the human play wins out. So now he's just going to make the anchor and go 8 to yeah. 6, I suppose. Simple progress forward for Roberto Works here. Um, I still don't think he's going to find any easy recubes here. His gammon threat's so low, lower than usual. Yeah. Um, and it's still very winnable for Ray. He can potentially just abandon an anchor Ray. later. Ray would love to. 
He yeah. just sent it to eight on a, on a flimsy excuse. Yeah. But this is good. He can come out with a four and ten yeah. to seven. Mobility seems to be the priority here, so I think yeah. Yeah, ten to seven. I wouldn't. I wouldn't 16, break the twenty. Sixteen, thirteen seems fine as well. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't. Yeah, twenty. Three six oh, one six wow. three. Be, six one six three become nice. XG's preference is actually 23 to 16. Oh, 23. All right. Black. So I guess he's. I guess XG is. And I was saying categorically, I wouldn't do 23 to 16. Yeah. But I guess it's important to mobilize, and I guess the chances of the. What I like about the play that Ray found is not. that it maximizes like your timing. You're you're not yeah. giving anything up when so you're. So what hit. is that? Oh, a four two. So he hit yeah. him. That's. Not sure he wanted to, but fine. Uh, I'm not sure either, but yeah. it can't be too bad. It might be right. And even Ray has forward chances, so sure he'll go for sending another chance. Duplication of hitting threes. Yep. And there's a fan now. Ray's got to think about a cube. Uh, all cubes all over there. So right. if he doesn't own the cube, he can't give it. So that's yep. that's the problem solved. <laughs> Four or five coming around for yep. mobility yep. again. Yep. That's a nice roll. Yeah. Failing a hit. I mean, hitting yeah. is nice, but. This is, it's good. If you can't hit, you're, you'd like to roll forward and get out. One six. We hit. It's more interesting now that the contact has increased. I think this is just plain and simple. We're out of timing now. 11 to 5, I think. You play 11 to 5? You did play 7 to 1, but it's a little, yeah. a little, a little flaky, but. We don't like to. I mean, Hitting we already one, have the checker where we want. Anyone is reasonable. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. And this puts a checker. It's like misplaced. I'm not sure, but I, too long I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind too much this doing. This is only eleven behind. Okay, interesting. Yeah. On three ply. Uh, just linking just up come checker out. seems great. He's yeah. going to come out. Uh, Roberto's still happy with the simple game here for sure. The box cars is actually Ouch. not bad. He's going to stay on the, stay on the fourteen point, I guess. Yeah, this seems pretty bad to me. You don't think this is bad? <laughs> it's bad, but I don't know what okay. else he's got. I mean, right, right. You know, he, he's got to leave it. Otherwise, he loses a direct ace shot. Right, right. And this is this is like at least now he can mobilize a back checker. Yeah. I mean, it's not great, but it's something. And now he get dropped his winning. Now does he play safe or does he leave four shots? I suppose he plays safe. I would play safe. Yeah, it's a real four-point board. It's not a back game. You're not trying to just prevent timing or anything like this. I I would, we're just trying to come home I against the simple I'm afraid of leaving the, the, five, the five shots. Or no, the three shots. Yeah. No, the four shots. I'm sorry, four shots. Oh, five, I four, see. Five, four, three, five. Yeah, what is the improvement of taking this? Well, it's a, it's a better... It's, it's, a le, it's a less gappy... Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a broken five prime. But I guess so we're, we're happy specifically if our opponent makes the 22 after this. I'm not sure what else. Well, well, you've you've got um, yeah, or or uh, yeah, that's right. And that, I guess that's the main reason. Yeah. Maybe it builds. But a but I think too, yeah. I think the shots trump it all. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. But now I think it should come out. Just oh, out. making the nine was slightly better potentially. Making the nine was better. Okay. Yeah. No, because no, okay. Now, well, he's now he's got the nine point as an escape point, and there's more ways to yeah. get there. And he yeah. does immediately go out, which I believe is right. Yeah, it is by quite a bit. That's a good. And five. then, and then six nice five, he should. It's That's a great a roll sure. back, so he got ahead. Yeah, just come, come around. Yeah. With the other. He wants to think about blitzing. Leave, or leave your this now. Or leave or your what? four yeah. shots and. Yeah. Pay off to those four shots and only one blot. Yeah. And nice builders. It's gonna be hard for Roberto to find a recube in this position. Well, this since score. he gammons so often. Yeah, he's just gonna be too good very quickly. He gammons so often. He's too too good or not good enough or whatever. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is actually perfectly break-even cube. Pass, no, this is 86 is, take and like a perfectly break-even cube if he wants to send it. Yeah, That's wild. And it's and you win I would so never many gammons that you might yeah. as well. I mean, when in doubt. But like, what, what's more likely to be a blunder, giving it or keeping it? Yeah, usually giving it. Giving it. Yep. In a position like this, it's usually giving it because well, he's got the case so many, too. He can gammon, right? He's got a gammon chance. So right. Gammon, a double gammon will give him two away. Two away, thirteen away. It's down yeah. in single yeah. digits. Way he's down. He's winning about eighty-five percent and twenty-one and a half percent gammons right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, if you saw those numbers, it's no less, no more clear what you should do with the cube. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So. <laughs> no, two one isn't very good, but it's still he still make, he makes a nine and six to four, I guess. Yeah, that looks yeah. fine. 
should build nicely next row. Four six. Is this another mobility play? Well, it's only a two point board, and it makes us keep our four point board the longest. So well, I'm he gets tempted. more. He gets more timing, and he yeah. he's got reasonable chances to re-anchor. Yeah. Splitting and staying there is a play too. I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't stay there. I'd like I'd like to get the I'd like to yeah. get more timing. This is best you again. Save finding some, these you can tough save plays. Some, save some gammons. Yeah. And now again, the cube comes into comes into the work question now. I think six three is just safe. Safe again. Uh, okay. Yeah. We can play without leaving any shots. Sure. Yeah, now now he's gonna anchor. <laughs> Just anchor on the 23. It's, it's, it's yeah, so Yeah, the checkers so are pretty clear. awkwardly placed. It's going to be hard to develop through that. You might as well slot the four. Yeah. Early. Not this, but early. <laughs> yeah. Somebody asked, did Ray double this? Oh, now, now this is like. This makes the board point instead. Gonna hit, this is quite I'm a bit I'm going to maximize my chances if I get a hit. Right. Leave too but much I would have, I would have taken that bird in the hand, 23 anchor. And 5-4 gets an opportunity to do that now. I'd make the three. I'd make the three. Yeah? Because he's always got the cube in hand. I mean, he's, he doesn't want to be too awkward. But yeah, making place in order. A better. <clears throat> and now, now just, just make that anchor. Just make it, Ray. Make that anchor. It keeps why looking you, Why wouldn't you make the anchor? You get blitzed, right? You can hit a few shots, right? This is, he's got a gap on the, he's only got two active builders for the five point. And now Roberto has a more interesting decision. Having anchored uh, up and escaped the checker, the gammons have gone way down. Yeah, no, Ray, Ray uh, he's might winning have a, a ton, though. Ray might have a take, though. Yeah. I yeah. mean, he's probably winning up like 20 percent or something. And we're still 128 shy of a double with 80 percent wins and only 4 percent gammons now. Yeah. So I was a good guess, 20 percent on my part. Okay. Yeah. What do you know? Double. Thanks. I expect Ray was he's pondering to take a double. He's, he's, he probably will not double. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got a lot of time. Everyone says that. Nothing wrong with thinking, but sometimes it leads to making a decision that you wouldn't have had you not thought. <laughs> you have to think well. That's, yeah. you, you're not, you're not going to think. You don't want to think badly. Yeah. So now he should just. I believe he should just make the five point. And then, yeah, that switch now, looks beautiful. That's yeah, and now you, you you've got right, and now you're. Now the the whole question of doubling is seems really reasonable. Even more, re yeah. Now it's like now he's got a harder decision. I think decision last time was he easy. He might not be in to. the low teens here now for wins. Yeah, yeah, it might be. It might be. But now yeah. Ray's got some racing chances too. I mean, the, what's Ray's what down it? to thirteen percent winning chances. Thirty four, seventy four, seventy eight. And 84, that makes it a one hundred one pass. Eighty four, one hundred one pass. Well, yeah. this is a tough one. Very he's, difficult. He's like to be twenty something enough. pips ahead. I don't know. I'd, yeah. I. In practice, I'd be inclined to take. Yeah. Yeah, it's I'd be inclined enough. to. And Ray takes. And he so will. Yeah. I figured he would. So. People tend to err on that side when they can get that easy what is that? in a with four any two, shot, anything so like this. So a four two, he's going to clear his eight point. Yeah. No need to volunteer yet. No volunteering and the clear that point. Weird, a point yeah. clear is a point not to be feared. Yeah. It's ahead Gives of the up race. to six six to be pretty even though. And yeah, any chances of winning in, in Ray will have to get that, that cube back in. Yeah, I agree with slotting. I, I would slot that point. Yeah, why not? Well, he's, he's thinking, well, if I hit a fly shot, mm. I don't want to blot a sure, direct sure. return back. So, but Fair he's enough. saying, I'll build for the point instead of yeah. not. Can't be too Five much four difference. is excellent. Five now he's got points. all of his outside points cleared. No blot numbers. So what is that, a four, four? a four or what? What is it? A four or what? For some reason, I thought I saw a four six, but I'm not sure. Well, yeah, four six. Four, I think we got to camp on the anchor for another roll if it's four, four six. six. It's tough though. Four six is borderline for me, whether you stay or go. There must be a lot of threes that improve a lot when you go, you know. Well, the, what you yeah, and fours, what you. What you lose by staying is, if it is a 6-4 we're looking at, is that... Uh, yeah, the distribution's really bad. Is that if you don't get out, you might mess your board up. Yes. And Seems that's a 6-2? 
They were quite close. That's not a, a very good ago. roll, actually. You should play no. six or four, I believe. Yeah, the My rule is when and down and go. But I believe I believe six to four is just you ready to clear the six point. And yeah, now it looks less scary to leave. Yeah. Four three, no such luck. Uh, at least he he leaves the blotter to six, I believe. Yeah, plays four days. Yeah. yeah. We can remake it potentially. You kill a four in case of double fours, but this is seems better. Now he clear, does clear six, and that's huge. Nice shot for for Roberto. Five four and is going to go. He runs all the way. Runs all the way. Mm hmm. And a 5 3 is bad. Yeah, he gets to play to the ace for now, though. Not so bad, right? But he's got a, a 6 5 6 2 5 2 blot numbers. Yeah. And now he just probably 6 to 3. I don't know. You can play 8 to 5. It's, I'm indifferent. Yeah, eight to, this is unfortunate. 8 to 5 maybe slightly better. Because he can. He can uh, because most of his equity comes on a blot right now. Yeah. Two off or not? Or do we need the four to three to avoid all those twos yeah, you talked nah, about? Yeah, just bear off, bear off. When, when in a doubt in a position like this, bear off. It's close. You win more races. They're really close, actually. That's interesting. What's... Hi. Oh, thanks. Five-one, right, I think he's got to okay. stay. Uh, five one, I would stay because he's got four blot numbers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he he makes he maximizes the like distribution. Time, he leaves a better distribution if he gets ahead. But he's now he's it's three all, it's, solves everything. It's almost over the game. He's, he's, he could still save the game. Yeah. Threes threes. You just you just make make a four point board on his head. I think so too. And you win every time there pretty much. Your distribution's too good, and you might win a gammon once in a while. Yeah, you probably maximize gammons this way too, yeah. is my guess. I think so. Because you never get hit. 6.5% gammons. Yeah, and now always five, five now saves it. Ray's, uh, Ray's in the match, he's in the game, a little tiny weeny 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 bit. Boxcars? No, 5 3. Average minus. <laughs> 6 2 average. Double threes average, tiny bit plus. Two one, better below average. Above average, four off. Four off with two two. Ray yeah. is getting in range of the lucky comeback to win four points. And now he's got to roll double something two now. Two sets, yeah. And that's not one Six two won't do it. All right, two away, 13 away. Yeah. Very tough to find cubes for Roberto at this score. So it's frustrating if you're, the, if you're trailing by a big amount of the match and you double early to uh, catch up. Um, sometimes you get frustrated and the, var the variation is, complete, is very frustrating when your opponent like wins every game you double. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And next she was saying, oh, it's a little early, a little early, a little early, and Roberto had to, Came back and they had a, got a great game in they, every one of those. So Ray says I'm going to make a, another. Oh, this point. one should hit on the three though. But yeah, that's the XG plays to hit loose on the three. Uh, and small. Ray says I, I want the bird in the hand two point board. It's not too bad. It might be oh three worse or something. Oh, right, right. Worse, it's very small. And it'll, he should split because against that anchor I'd split. Yeah, I think the back checkers is the main too. problem. I've noticed this about Ray though. He doesn't really love splitting. Likes to play the offensive side. Yeah, yeah. I, I did it myself a few years ago once against the Milwaukee. Yeah, Dennis Culpepper, a great player, said uh, one of the most missed opening replies is 6-4, 13 to, against a 5-2 split to hit loose or to make the two-point. He said open players often make the two-point and in error, as XG believes. Now Roberto's uh, he's got a uh, he's got a, a better game here with a Advanced anchor a five four point, point prime right? and Ray's got a is that Ray's six one? Yeah. Yeah. They could do <laughs> so I'd make the I'd make the five point yeah, six. I don't think we're I, enough I ahead sneezed. in the race to go for the run I though. I just make I just advantage. make the five, yeah. Make the They're five actually point. almost tied. They're almost tied. I guess uh, so I guess escaping from down the far prime 
Yeah. And, and escaping it as high value. But a five is a bird in the hand, you know. Three point board. Three, three. What happens with this? Make the ten with and, and, and build it yeah, in okay. seven. Yeah, okay. Ten and seven. That seems fine, yeah. Then Outfield can, control getting less valuable. You, can, you, you have four active builders for the four point. Mm -hmm. A few, a couple, a couple extra numbers for the three, like five, three, five, four. I expect my doubles to do more for me than this, though, so I'm like confused. Yeah, so now, yeah. now he should just come up and. Yeah, and see and the light, clean up a blot, why not? Maybe he can make an advance anchor or escape. 6-1 is one. bad, the worst Doesn't probably. Do much. Right? Probably the worst one. He probably hit loose. On a three or something. It does take him off the edge of the prime. Yeah. And I think we're too open to an attacking game plan if we just come off the anchor. And also, not even really much ahead in the race. I like your play, yeah. I think so. Seems clear. Oh, you could keep a point by hitting up the, the ace. The ace mentions. keeps the ten point, but it buries. Yeah. And Roberto says, I'm going to run away. Oh, wow, okay. I would not do this. Yeah. What was up, Nick? Sizable mistake. You should hit on the three, yeah. Hit on the three? Yeah. Hit on the ace is like 100 behind, and this was 188 behind. And actually, this could have a lot to do with the cube, too, because, I, I mean, Ray's going to have a compelling reason to send here. Yeah, with he that does two need away. the cube. A spectator says he needs... One-way gammons, yeah. A spectator says he needs the cube, and I agree. Yeah. For that. Uh, no, it's way early. <laughs> oh, it's way <laughs> he's early. still losing the, the game by quite a bit. Even uh, at the score, so he's an underdog. 41% behind, way better yeah. structure. But well, he's not going to yeah. I mean, I figured he would double, and I figured that, Ray, yeah. that Ribeiro, again, is going to take. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have made that play if he were... He would not have broken his anchor if yeah. he weren't going to take this cube. Or unless he wasn't thinking about it at all. So he, he takes. takes. Yeah. The cube if is dead the for cube Ribeiro, over, maybe it's the, the best news. play. Yeah. The bat, okay, 5-2, I guess you have to... Uh, well, you don't have to do anything, but you Anchoring could. Anchoring seems pretty good here. You could, you could consider eight to three, six to four. Yeah. A phantom, a, a double tiger play. What about uh, thirteen eight? With oh, you go thirteen yeah, eight. Yeah, that's even better yeah. because you duplicate the four. The, the, the midpoint is not all that valuable, yeah. so that's better. They still yeah, would probably a, anchor. What is XG say? Called it. Okay, six one. Now you just. Oh, eight to three, six to four was better. Eight to three, six to four is, is it's great if he fans. That's the good part. Did he roll uh, a six? Okay. I certainly would have played eight to three six four sooner than uh, anchor. Oh six four. I think he did. Did he cover? Yeah, he covered. Didn't he, didn't he, didn't he cover? No. What did he do? To the eight point. Okay. So he he, he could have made the bar, or he could have hit loose. Hmm. Both attractive. So he's saying, all right, I'm going to build for the bar point. Yeah, that seems to make a lot of sense in this position. Could he have slotted the bar point? Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's totally he could have. Well, it's, it's a, it's a play. He's got a lot of naturals to make it. The two up seems very nice here. I'm, I, this I don't know. Yeah. And let's see. I want to do that. You can play 10 to 8 for a builder, or you could, you, yeah. you could come up and say, all right. I'd say, well, I won't leave any, blot, close, any extra yeah. blots at all. This is quite a bit better. Stepping up is actually like 67 behind. 2-2? Uh, two, two? Okay. 2-5. Oh, two, five. Five. oh, we really don't want to... Well, the 2 has to be up. The tempo yeah, hit, I guess, it's, maybe it's is the only is option. Yeah, so this is really... Yeah. Ray's happy now. Yeah, potentially getting away with and this he, he runs, he runs. Yeah, that seems like the priority here. And he can, he can add a builder 8 to 4, or he can just. Yeah, he can leave the ace leave duplicated, the single, why leave not? Leave a single shot. Yeah, well, he says I want to get safe, but. Yeah, 8 to 4. I would have played 8 to 4 myself. Roberto trying to survive the attack. Is Ray going to go for it here or just play his winning race? 34 what do you think? 58. Uh, he's 12 ahead before the 80, roll. 87, and then so he would be. Uh, With Gammon's one way, I feel like I want to just go for it. But okay, so he's, he's 21 gonna play ahead five. now. You're saying this seems to be right as well. Ahead. Yeah, yeah, I would do this. Yeah, yeah 12. I suppose three, just mistake. 10 to 10 to. You just don't win enough when you do uh, that. Yeah, he could slot the three, or he goes six to four. Might get a shot now. So. Yeah, he might. Yeah, he might. 
Yeah, this is Both this very re close. reasonable. And he's got a 6-3. Running out of options. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna leave him four numbers, and he can make the, make the one point, or he could he could just play behind him. I would, I I think I would, uh, I'd play I like the six the six point and look for a three. And yeah, the, the one, the one, is, the one is good. Very interesting. The one is good. Uh, it seems like it sets up for next roll best. I would do this. Is it? What does actually say about this? Uh, eight to five is best on three ply. Four eight. to one. They're all almost exactly tied, though. Almost tied. Okay. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. Just, just safe. I just play safe. To the ace. Yeah. yeah. Because you're ahead of the race. Yeah, he's ahead in the race yeah. enough to just win this game out, yeah. He gives back almost a third of games when he hits, sure. And or, there's or no well, gammons yeah, to be won anymore. Six five, that's yeah, forced really. Yeah. Ray's got a whole six minutes on the clock. Now does Roberto wanna just I don't think he needs to run here. Why not just yeah, camp back to the I'd stay. So when in doubt stay. I'd just make the deuce. It's hard to lose a gammon here. It's so even hard. When you're even out. if you make the deuce, it's hard. Making the deuce is best. Running is uh, 129 error. Just doesn't win oh, enough games. Looks, yeah, and we're only risking about 2% gammons by yeah. staying here. That's a good find. Here's how it happens. Though. Now you're you're risking <laughs> more percent gammons. Yeah, but I don't think it can get past 10, really. Yeah. It'd be hard. Now you should play safe. Yeah, 5.1% gammons go, before this roll. I'm not going to go... Yeah, so if it was closer, it was in the teens, we might play aggressively. I'm gonna, I would break my six point instead. Safer. I think so too, yeah. That was correct there. Yeah, it's Worth safer for, for sure. Right. It's not enough gammons that Now, we're this is great. You, sw you shift and better, better. Now, Ray made an error in a match. It's not a position exactly like this, but similar, where he, he board checkers off and left gaps, and then he got. It was against Brandon Macklin in the finals of the Open of this tournament last year, I think. I think oh, that was the match. And he played, he like bore off his three point, left a gap on his three, and he had a, another gap, and he mm -hmm. left a shot as a result. And Brandon hit, and Brandon wasn't a particularly big favorite to win after that, but he, he did win. And then he won the match. So it was, but Ray played right with that double one for sure. And Roberto is saying, all right, now I probably will save the gammon. Yep, must be quite low now. And Roberto says, please keep rolling 2-1. How could you be such a scoundrel as to roll 6-3, bigger than average? And it's mm -hmm. like, all right. 2-1 is the worst number, obviously. And it's a 3-1, which is equivalent, almost equivalent. Two crossovers here? Yeah, two crossovers, because the, the worst you can bits. do is roll 2-1, and then you go 11-9, 2-1, and you only have a 2-1 missing. Yeah. Anything else bears off next turn. Mm -hmm. <coughs> like that, so. 4-1, can just... No gamma. Yeah. <coughs> Two-way for Roberto. Litzenberger playing white checkers. 13 away for Ray Fogeland. Uh, no, 11, 11 away. away now? 11 away. No, one, two, so it's 11 away. Yep. So 11 away for Ray Fogeland playing blue, and they're going to take a break. Cool. Rinley says, I finally won a game. I'll take a break. <laughs> Let Roberto stew in his own juice. That wasn't his first game he won. Yeah, no, it had been a while. In a while, yeah. <laughs> a stew juice. Yeah, man. of course. All right, I'm going to do some... Oh, my microphone's way down here. I should fix that. Yeah, we'll be right back. How's the transcription looking? Good. They're both playing through that. Okay, good. Oh, I'll tell you. Can you put another one in? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, if you please. Thank you, Margie. What's your name?
ONP. Thanks. Coffee wouldn't make me hyper. Taking a break. Sailor. We're not going to get three more. No one has given three more. Okay, in case Nick Blazier does not come back, in case I am on mic, and Marty Shore, and you're not, I'm commenting on this match. Ray Fogerland is playing the blue checkers on the bottom. Roberto Litzenberger is playing the white checkers on the top. This is round one of the Sunny Florida Super Jackpot, which is you lose once you're out, and it's a very large entry fee. I'm not playing. I could have played, but I decided not to. No. Robert, uh, Ray opened with 5-2, and instead of the standard, like normal score, splitting play with 5-2, he, he, he brought down a builder from his midpoint. Roberto replied by bringing two builders down from his midpoint with a 5-4. Ray rolled 4-1 to make his make his seven. Roberto rolled a 5-4 to make his four. And now Ray has got a 5-1. And Ray is looking for a, I don't know if I'm on mic, but, uh, but, but I, yeah, they're playing it. Uh, and so, yeah, it, it just went 5-2 went five, five down for Ray, 5-4 down for Roberto. 4-1 make bar point, 5-4 make four point. 5-1 for Ray was an interesting, he played 24-18. I myself might have tried 13-7 for an extra builder in a priming plan. Wait, I lost and, track of what you're okay, saying. Okay, so so Ray split with a 5-1 before. I the, thought and, Ray and, played 5-2. And, and he came out 24-18, and then Roberto just pointed on him on the 7-1. Oh, catch six, it. One. Just, just keep and doing it. And instead of coming out, I might have played 13-7, is what I was saying, for blue. So as it was, Roberto pointed on his bar point just now. Ray rolled a 6-5. And now Roberto had a 5-4, and instead of giving Ray the full roll, he's hit and split. And I believe that's right. Splitting the 20-point, he might make that anchor for defense. Or he might get double hit, as Ray is going to instantly do. Hoping that Roberto ro does not roll a 5. And he doesn't really, the next best thing is to bring in two checkers, if he's not going to hit. And now Ray is going to think, should I... I'm, I'm 11 away to 2 away, should I double? And I'm a favorite in the game, and my opponent can never redouble. And I went with a few accidental gammons, so I'll double. And it's, I mean, I would, some people would pass, but Roberto is not a, he, not, he doesn't, when in doubt, he will take. And Ray rolls a nice 6 3, four in a row, making the five point, three back. No anchor, but he does make his five point. From the, Roberto's going to make his five point. 
which is a very good thing. He's got a five-point prime against a back checker. Ray has got a solid four-point prime against three back checkers, which is very nice, but with a deuce, there's a duplication to enter, uh, not to enter, to hit loose and leave <coughs> leave white a slight favor to hit back or to, to anchor, not, or not to anchor, to advance to the 22 point to try to escape. And he is elected to hit and two six from the bar screams Ray. I, that was actually Ray who said two six from the bar. I heard him all the way in the next room. And now Ray is happy to have five in a row <coughs> against three back checkers. And he's got one back checker facing Roberto's five in a row, but Roberto is a checker somewhat buried on his deuce point. Now Roberto makes his three point with a five three. He'll think maybe about playing safe and making three, but he's gonna make a solid five prime. He hoped to extend it. Hope Ray rolls big and messes up his prime, but he rolls medium, six three, and he makes two two more builders for his open three point, which should give him a six point prime. Double fours is the prime keeper's nightmare. I guess we can just leave no directs and play. No the directs. Seven and I would six. just I would just dump to the low points and not leave any direct shots because I do not want to be gammoned if I'm Roberto here. Six two five I mean, he one. Could make is a, best, he could keep a okay. four point prime by yeah. seven three twice six two twice, but that, that the, the value is dubious. Yeah. So, that was my first thought, but okay, yeah. this makes sense. Roll through, get rid of the contact. But there are four returns here. Fan is not bad because that gives gives uh, Roberto more time to break things. So he should play, apparently he should play uh, well, seven, seven to four, four for, for sure. the three and find a six. It probably doesn't matter too much, but... Six, two, five, three, or six, one, yeah, five, so two? Yeah, so keeping a check on the seven is closer to home, and that might have been the deciding factor, but... I don't know. I haven't. I haven't really counted. And this is a break even. This is just transposition. Now he's going to come out and he's going to say, "Okay, well, I could go eight to four for more builders if he rolls a six one and comes out." Oh, interesting. Okay. Or he could have left higher numbers working a little better by. I probably would have just wanted to see the point. outfield on the one six two six. And now he says, "All right, I'm going to." I'm going to, oh, he, he could make a funny play and slot the three or something like that, or make the, make yeah. the three. Well, it's getting kind of important, too. 8-3, 6-3 right, was I'm actually the play. I'm going to come up to the, yeah, so I would have been made to make the three yeah. on reflection. And that's a three what? 4-3 should just point on head, I think, right? Uh, not clear. We want to give them a six to run? Okay. Well, it depends yeah. on which six. If this it's 6-6 six, six or 1-6, yeah. he does not want to, but if it's 6-4, if it's anything else... Yeah, that's true. There's eight numbers like this where he can go for the gammon. Gets what he was looking for. Six two is a little I awkward think he's though. Just point on the head. Yeah, just point on the head. He's thinking about hitting twice maybe, but yeah. It, it, you know, Seems like a reasonable too, candidate. It's too. Uh, I think it's too loseish. It's more gammonish, perhaps, or may, maybe it's equivalently gammonish. But it's, he might need help to like win a might, gammon at this yeah, point. Yeah, and, and he, six can, outside. You know, he can actually win if he rolls like a three x. Yeah. Even not hitting, he could like pop a big double from the 22 anchor. But well, now uh, Ray is on the blitz again. And now he's got an all right up. He's step. got a bird in the hand and I can, if he rolls a one, he might save a gammon. He might be a favorite to save a gammon. Otherwise he. Big swing on that one for sure. And two, two. Gonna, should he hit loose? I think so. I think hit loose. Yeah, we might get to go six. back and get the other checker. I don't want to leave the three point open. I'd rather take this chance yeah. for sure now than take a probable chance of having to attack on a three-point loose later. And this, even even if he does yeah. enter and make the ace point, now we have some room to trap, too. So yeah, I think it's like all he's upside got room here. To, uh, he's got room to uh, <coughs> break his board some more, I guess. Yep. Not the variation we were hoping for. Close out with the third checker is much nicer, of course. He's going to keep his board for as long as possible. That's why he goes three to one to max give himself, but he doesn't kill a three, but he gives himself a spare three before he has to leave a block. So that was a little unfortunate for Ray, but you know, if you're a favorite each time, eventually you're gonna come in. Mm -hmm. And now, oh no, now this is juicy because now he's gonna play. Now we have traps. <coughs> now he should play four to two and think about the fourth one, and then he should play four to two again, I believe. 
I guess you can clean up more if you leave it on the floor. Maybe that's a little better. Oh yeah. Well, you, 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 okay. Yes and no, because if you roll something like a four one five one, you cannot. Mm, true. But because he's got a because I love the because, trap now, here. This, this I think this, this, is, this is the trap. Yeah. The trap to recirculate. Yep. And ooh, boxy carsies. Kinda works. <laughs> yeah. 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 And if Ray rolls a two one or something, he's going to really be he's going to really be uh, spitting fire. We can stay back though, and then do we like the, the 18 point blot where it is? Why yes, not? More contact, sure. So we can just play five to three. So it feels like a lot of risk, but this can still work out well for Ray. Six three is gonna six. <coughs> so should he leave two blots or should he really leave three? Do you feel I would lucky just punk? clean one up. Lucky? Why not just clean one up? Well, so there's 23 shots after hitting. And there's, um, what is it? It is, um, I guess it's just 25 here. Three blots is a so lot I more would, I would not possible. wish to leave three blots. And now, six five. It's going to be tough to pick up, pick up both these. Raise blood checkers, pressure just got went down a, 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 a little bit. And Fanny Wanny. And. Closes, closes out closes. and gets like one chance at. Yeah, at he's got his 14 checker. number. Uh, he's got his 14. He says, "Well, should I yeah. get a direct shot in the hand with a closed board?" Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I should. Oh well. Four two. Got to give up. Too bad. <clears throat> now, if he really wants to be fancy, he can like try to try to steer for a position where he bears off with a one and leaves a blot. Mm. What is that? Five two. Five two. Four two. Oh, four two. Okay. Yeah, no, this is okay. <coughs> now he has to do the blot, he might as well bear off. And sure. Some chances he of He rolls 4 1, up. 4 2, 4 3, he's got a. 4 2. 4 2, and now he's. He would rather probably have not been hit, even than. 4 1, and now he's probably not going to go 5 to 4. <laughs> <laughs> that's the. Uh, that's the William. That's. I don't what kind of play that is. For what? 4-2? Gets to keep the anchor? Okay. Four two. Under some pressure to contain this anchor here for that sure. Was a fantastic play by Roberto in that position with the 4-2. Yeah. Okay. Good chances to escape one to safety. 4-2 is not going to do it. Oh, this is about the, the worst. Oh, the whammon, 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 It's forced now. Come on. Don't waste any clock time. Just hitting with a 7 wins a lot of gammons even here. But of course the ace is nicer. 6-6 six, six is another way to do it. All right. Well, that's yeah. If you're not going to hit, you want this. <coughs> okay, Roberto, keep that checker back there. 13% gamut after that. Uh, really, you should keep it back I, there. I yeah, it goes know. perfectly. I don't know six. exactly. Yeah, that's fine. But I actually should leave. There's only downside of staying back. Yeah, I guess double, double ones is a downside. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it would be a super miracle to win. <laughs> yes. Even if you hit. Although it would be your best chance. <laughs> the best winning chance would have been to hit. All right, four. Okay, now the trouble with moving move to the six point is you leave yourself, I believe you leave yourself six. Five, four, six, five, three, four, three, yeah. Six numbers where you bear nothing off, and now you, now you only have a two, one, I think, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, now it's uh, two, nice one followed five. by double threes or better. It's eight out of 12, 96. And there's a two, one. No, that's off. Okay. <laughs> Just barely. Fogerlin on the comeback trail. That's Dudley Do Right of the Mounties. <laughs> Played by Ray Fogerlin. With Roberto Litzenberger as Snidely Whiplash. Hmm. And he says, Curse is foiled again. I didn't win two points. Something in a while. Five one. Five one is a split. Double four is, is I believe he is right to attack. At the score, like it makes a, more sense. I yeah. think, yeah, because I think that you know, if he if he makes an anchor, he'll be inclined, highly inclined to take. If he doesn't, well, he'd be taking here. 
I think Ray's going to double for sure. Yeah, seems like that should be the play here. He's, I, I would double, in fact. And but I would not cube this for money, so I wouldn't uh, for be money, about no. stopping it here. <laughs> I, would, so. I would like to do this for money. I think, yeah. mm -hmm. Might be some kind of a whopper for money. But. So then it should be an easy Maybe take. Not. Yeah, I'd say it is an easy take, I think. It's not pure gam and go, so that's a hit. That's a juicy hit. Oh, outfield. Wow. Well, Unlikely. 5-3 was duplicated. Ooh, 3-2 is juicy. Very juicy nice for white. Stack Fields. them up. Stack them up on the 22 point. Yeah, I don't see a strong. Oh, he says I'm gonna play a back game against you, you, you poltroon. This is a uh, sizable okay. mistake. Well, I would think so. I always oh. said, okay, go ahead and play a back game. Oh. See if I care. And he says, aha, oh. I will. So now do we want to hit in the board instead with two anchors? Why not, right? Seems better than 13 to 9. <coughs> I would, I would. They're very close. I would hit loose on the four because I don't know. I want to slightly better to just do the normal thing. I want to have my four point slotted in case he rolls box cars. And Must have to try now, hitting something again. Now maybe thirteen to nine is more prudent, but either way, we're still lacking would be in timing okay. a little bit. Oh, it's a. Oh, he played three. He played. He played illegally. He played three three. Mm. Without playing double threes. Okay. Okay, anchor up. Beautiful. That's the drawback of heading out there. <coughs> two two can make a priming point, but we have to give up our mid and a back game, which is pretty tough to do. Uh, we could just advance well, to a could, higher he, game. He could he could go uh, go to the twenty four to twenty twice. Yeah, I think that actually that that'd stands my, out to me as be our my best option here. My yeah. inclination. And that is the winner. We're too deep to play a 3-1 here. Don't quite have the timing. What does he find? Okay, he finds a different he final. Kept his, he juice. kept a, a blot on his 23 point. Sure, that should be uh, now, okay. <coughs> now he's going to make his 8, and maybe he's going to... Yeah, blocking points. Make the 8 and the 11, right? He could make his 11 three times, or he could he could go 13 to 7 even or something. I, I would make the 11 three times. <coughs> The midpoint doesn't seem very scary in this position to give up. Nah, I, yeah, I would do this. 13 to 7 actually seems fine for the flexibility, it, it, too, the more yeah, I look at it's, it. It's, it's, <coughs> this is a little more simple. You can just play 6 to 4 with it, too. They're all, they're all very close. Uh, 6 to 4, oodly woodly, but we don't leave a lot out there. 2 something. 2 something. <coughs> Probably 2 6 from 5 2. Okay, so 5 2, I think maybe he should. Uh, Pops out and come down, or does he? Does he just come in? He, he, hey, this is this is okay. This is okay with me. He's only got oh, potentially. Only got eight I can't always see him either. Oh, that's a great number. That's a great six four for White. He's just gonna he's just gonna make the four prime. <coughs> he's got what? Has he got ten numbers to hit and three one to anchor? How did we get anchor. here? One one might have switched points. Six five would be a joker, but he doesn't rolls a four something. Four is good by itself. Five four he would come out. He still don't know what the roll is because there's hmm. glare on the die from the the sky cam above the lighting on the, on the dice. <coughs> so it seems oh four three. So he he plays behind the anchor instead of stacking on the six. Is that a 2-6 from the bar? It's not from the bar. It's a 2-6 not from the bar. And this would, you, you don't want to break your A point. You don't want to leave, and, and you don't want to go 6-4, to four, so you go 21-13. to 13. I tend to. I tend to do this and come out. It's big, but it, it has potential. You don't bury anything. You get hit twice, you're in bad shape. Or thrice. But twice is, twice is not too abnormal. 
<clears throat> this is not the greatest. Um, if, in other words, if uh, Ray ends up with his uh, eight and seven point made and he gets his back checker out, it's not the greatest holding position. But if he doesn't make the seven, it's pretty pretty decent. So he's just going to hold out to the eighteen point. And he's hoping for an old twos or fours. Four three is okay. He can, uh, yeah, he can he can he can bounce to the four point and prepare to clear his eleven a little better by coming down to three on that point. He could also have gone uh, fifteen to eight. Three three one. I think he ought to just go eleven to eight and fifteen to fourteen. There are no shots. No no shots and. Rivero enters again, he goes to the 18 point, so it's not to break anything in front, like his 8 point. 4 2 is safe to the 8 point. He will not hit. I don't think hitting is right. I don't think it could be right to leave 6s and 2s and 4s back. So 14 to 8 is perfectly safe. Oh, oh, he's going to leave a blot out there. Oh, Ray left a blot. On his, Ray left a blot on his. Uh, 14 so point. I guess he's not afraid. you didn't remember me. Hi, baby. Tony, my book is the most famous person I've ever talked with. I give it to you. You did. No, you were So now, Ray has played safe with his next chance to play safe, and Rivero has made his three-point and slotted his four. He's getting his board ready for contact, and Ray says, well, <laughs> shall I pay now or shall I pay later? He says, if I pay later, I'll have to move two checks to my deuce point and strip my six, eight, and 11. And, and then um, Roberto is likely to make his four point. He's got 26 numbers, including six, five, to make his four point. And and so, so Ray is thinking of just leaving a double shot now. This is a pay now play. I think, he, I think Ray is correct to make this play. And, and, and Rivera has missed the shot, so it has worked out. Now I don't think he has anything better than to keep his back, two back anchors. He, must, he, 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 he could, le he could uh, break his 20 point instead of his 15 point. I think he should just break his 15 like he's doing. He's played three of them, the slot is two, like he's doing there. That's the fastest way to get a five-point board. And Ray is able to play safe. Make his one point with a one. Now he has no immediate block numbers. And now I think um, rather than slot his one point from the ten, he should make his four. And if he rolls small enough, he can keep both anchors, and if he rolls a bit larger, he can leave a, keep a blot on his 20, or he could run two checkers. We'll see what he rolls. 3-1 is a good roll, because he can make his two and keep his board and keep both anchors. Double threes is a nice number. Leaving a blotch. A bl Ken, is Ken Goulding is sitting there, and he, he, he once referred to blots as blotches. He didn't say blotches everywhere. A blotch on the escutcheon. Now I think he should stay on the 20 point. He's got a 6-5, so he's got to run. And it's thematic to run the forward anchor to leave more hitting chances, because it's harder to clear past the three point than it is to clear past the five point. So now Ray must play safe. He's stacking them on the one point, hoping for a joker, even number, even even. While Roberto bears into his five point, he keeps his builders inside his board spread out. 5-3 is a double block, a double shot, a, a block on his, it's a 20 number shot for Roberto. And it's next time, Ken Goulding observes that next time if he has missed, he might also leave a block. Roberto rolls a double five oh, oogly boogly, he's got to break a six point. It's not forced, he can, he can uh, leave a block on his six point or he can make his one point. Might as well make his one point. Mm. It's a useful point. He saves the gamut a little more often if he breaks his point, but he wins more often if he has a five-point board. 
Well, yeah, but yeah, I don't know. You can pick up a second blot. There, there are other sneaky ways you can pick up a second blot, but oh well, you know. Ray is that does clean up nicely. That is a nice cleanup. <laughs> concern about the cleanup is totally misplaced. Six. Three. Now Rivero can make a sneaky maneuver of keeping the twenty-two anchor and hoping for a five-three or six-three, which would leave two blots. Yeah. And bear off nothing, by the way. Ha ha. And he says, oh, well, but he doesn't care about the gamut. He just wants to win the game. So it doesn't, but the two, the second blot would be, would be big. Four, one, five, one, six, one, often also leave blots. Six, two, not from the bar. Ray's got a, a copyright on two, six from the bar. And now, all right, now, oh, there's a blot appears. A blot appears and Roberto with a miss. Now he's just got to run and save the Gamon if he can. Should be a big favorite, too. Ooh, double fives. Now if Ray starts rolling 2-1, his blood pressure will increase. Now he should actually move to the 11 point. The 11 point is slightly, slightly better because it, uh, the swing is a 4-1 for white. Uh, 18 to 12 is worse than 17 to 11, little known fact. This, this is... Uh, this works out better with, with a double two, with, with an exact number to go to the six point, it's better to go to the 12. Now, uh, Roberto is off the Gabon, and Ray is still on the comeback trail. 12! So he's, Ray is seven away, and Doing it Roberto Luxemburger is two away, and that's <laughs> like a, that's like a seven point match. Yeah. Decent winning chances from there. Five to two to seven is 76% uh, <laughs> for the leader. Ooh, 74% maybe. Yeah, I think 74%. Standard split to open. Hit and split after as well. Looks like an anchor. <laughs> Six three doesn't reach in the outfield, so I guess we're gonna we can cover the bar. It's not that great either. Why not? Would, yeah, I step would up. Twenty four twenty one. Sure, sure. Rather than yep. Nine in the zone, rather than uh, six to three, dubious value. All Oops. right, here comes the attack. Well, at least though, at least he would have been attacked either way. Yeah. And this way, at least he can uh, have a duplicated four to anchor up. Yeah. He would anchor. Strong. I, don't, I don't think he would hit if he had a, is this like a, two a two five or something. Two five is easily. What does that do? This is going to be a tough yeah. cube to take. I think maybe uh, this is best. I don't know. Safety in numbers. This looks like something I'd be happy to cube would, for money. I would, so I yeah, think I'd probably I, have to I let this go at this score. I would do it. So he could pass and give him six away, or he could... This is a harder decision for Roberto's side, this for is, sure. This is harder than the previous cubes have been. But just that all, simple all metric. All of those early-ish cubes by Ray, mm -hmm. score-based cubes, yeah. up to now have seemed to be clear takes. Yeah. This Basically is, a break-even take This is not as clear, cube. but I yeah. think I would still take this with a bit of trepidation. And he Roberto, I thought he would, and he no does. No error possible there. And that is a, oh, it was a small decision, you're saying? Uh, yeah, it was like XG right said, on the borderline. XG says it was the same. And the attack is continuing for sure. Uh, small small take, small oh, take. three. Yeah. So. And six. a fan in. Oh, a fan, now this is Well, bad. on our way now to three-way, two-way. Ray is, uh, Ray is chortling to himself. <laughs> chortling in his joy. Uh, doesn't, He's even more. the deuce is huge there. Yeah. Kalu Kale, you now he makes the eight point, I guess, is the best. Yeah, interacts well if they don't uh, do end up zone. making the 23 point. Sure, sure. Now a loose spot behind three. two. No big deal. Ray just looking to hit loose. Oogly moogly. Three tools. He says, all right, sure. I'm gonna, he says, I'm going to. Could make a double tiger play and break his four point, but he decides against it. Understandably so. Stays Fortunate on the bar. Fan. What is that? It's XX, so 2-1, I guess. If 2-1, then are you going 
Yeah, well, that's well, a good play out either, either that or three to two, three to one. Three to two, three to one, I think is better. Yeah. Or, but there was another one. We got to do something like this to keep him on the air, in the air. Yeah. Okay, now it's a blitz on the blitz now. Yeah. Yeah, just down and spread out. Sure, sure. Now you got more builders against that other target. Ooh, no, this is. <laughs> I think covering tends to be worth more than hitting. Yeah, now I think I would come down now with a five. Yeah. I just, you know. We're definitely not. We could I hope even he doesn't like roll a three. If he, if he, if he does, I'm gonna pay off to. Not too worried about any of those blots being hit, though. So we can just run off our anchor next and win a race and accept our two points instead. Yeah, five like two. five two is right. to 15 out he goes. for sure, right? Yeah. Out he goes. There's no no contest there. Mm -hmm. Five four. The points are are covered. I don't think he's gonna. Now there's a little threat. Yeah. I'm not hitting. Oh no! Oh, he's no. gonna look at it. Yeah, I think he's got to make God. the board first. I don't think he can risk the gammon like this at this score, especially, right? The board is pretty strong. Yeah, it's it's good because you could because now your hits become really nasty. If you if you yeah, so blue now he's got to he's got to make the seven point. I mean, there's nothing. Strong. He's an underdog to point on that thing right now. He's got hitting loose still pretty seven, scary too. Seven of them. Three one will do it. No, ten of them. I mean, not seven. Three one is great. Now he can't yeah. come in. Two six on the bar screams Ray. Uh, he, yeah, yeah. he 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 makes sure we understand that he. Uh, Understands the two six two. on the bar is what he wants. Any other that the five is duplicated to head into cover. Mm -hmm. Just breaks from the back. Thirteen eight would be my two. preference. Thirteen eight would be my preference. I think sending a second checker back. Oh, we're gonna go for the six prime. Reasonable. Yeah, the six reasonable. prime. He wants to win the game, and now, now Ray can Ray can roll, now he can break if he rolls five something. It's up five one five two. He can break a point. Was that a three something? Three. three, three, apparently. Yeah, I'm just break the break the seven point. Oh, oh three, three, two. two okay. Yeah. Boxy car. So make exit prime win. What do you roll? Six, six. Exit here? both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he wants to win a gammon and, 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 and yeah. The, no, because he, a gammon, it's a 19 point match and he's got the cube of two, so it's a dead cube, but he just wants to win the game. Yeah, so he's making the so He doesn't want to roll a double four here. and get stuck. He just Getting more checkers is actually bad. If he wanted to, yeah. He, yeah, he doesn't want it. Uh, yeah. Two on the bar, he might roll a double one off the bar and make a make an anchor and win from the hmm. 24 point. I mean, it's, might have just played it into the. Six yeah, he, play, he could have played to, I, would, I might have played to the six point. But he says, oh, I've got one checker ready to hit, and so I might as well maximize my chance of doing so. Nice shot. Checker on the bar is not legal. Yeah. Checker on it's dice. Cool on though. Dice. I mean, dice on the bar is not. Loose hit. Beautiful. Bring something closer to cover in. One not, step closer. It's not. It's not horrid not to loose hit. Probably. It might. I'm not sure if it's Ray or not. But the th the you know, if Ray is on the bar, he delays breaking his board. And now it's now you just cover. <coughs> you just cover, and you probably just. Uh, is that right? Ugh. Not sure. Yeah, a little technical. Things. So, so this is all right. You go into the six point from there. Two, yeah, yeah. Our six is still play is, okay. Everything so. is safe for the moment. He does have to be careful in this bear off now that we slowed Ray's progress, like you're saying, though. Twelve to five. Ah, that's not the distribution we want, but I don't see anything mm -hmm. better. Well, yeah. You want, you this rather like you rather spot. go twelve to four than yeah, twelve yeah. to five. But oh. There's two big ones. Now I think he should actually uh, clear his six point. Two, why not? Clear his six point. This I is think, okay too with yeah, a three point a open. Checker off seems quite nice. Do you know what round of the tournament this is? One. This is round one of the super jackpot. And uh, Roberto Litzenberg needs two points to win this game. And match. And match. And Ray Fogerlund needs seven to win the match. If he loses this game, he's out of the match. Hard to win stays seven on the bar, way. and there's six blot numbers, six, four, five, four, six, five. That is not a blot number. That he cleans plays. them all up for now. That is very safe, and Ray has to hope against hope to stay on the bar forever. And he comes in, and that's going to be it. 
unless nice it's a super whooper duper yeah. whooper duper to the end power miracle. Ugle buggle, he doesn't even get two crossovers when he had 23 numbers to do so, or more or better. Uh, three, two, I guess. That was the play. And now it's Jim. It's Jim. He needs. He needs. He, if he had three, if he had three checkers, he would have been okay for a prayer. But he has no prayer. Okay. A blowout. There you have it. How are the PRs here? Good. They both play pretty well in this. Not too many big ones. I don't know. I don't like. It's not a PR competition. So yeah. Who cares, <laughs> you know, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Which uh, take? There are many takes. <laughs> yeah, that, that last game is probably Yeah, yeah, yeah. The take in this game was break even. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The crowd asking questions about those too. Yeah. So I'm not sure when the next round comes back. It's uh 140 over here. We probably have a small lunch break, but we'll be back today with more Super Jackpot play. Uh thanks for tuning in for Roberto and Ray. Thank you Marty for helping me out on commentary. Thanks Nick for doing it. I mostly kept up on the transcription at <laughs> pause there for a little bit. Um, I've got my book, if you guys are interested in too, you can find that on Amazon. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be back to see more of you soon. Pleasure adjusting to match play. Yeah. Let's uh, do it like this.
right. Maybe we're live here. I don't know. I'm going to start talking like we are. We got Kent Golding playing on top against Frank DiMaggio in the second round of the Super Jackpot, another 19-point match. Uh, playing on that nice FTH board available through the Gammon Stuff website. Uh, Custom-made one that John Pierner made, I think. I think he mentioned for his wife at the time, maybe. Um, but she doesn't really play much, so <laughs> use it as a streaming board. Really gorgeous in person, that nice like felt inlay with the cool picture on there and the uh, checkers slide real nice. I like it. The color scheme is really pretty, too. I like the color of the leather and everything like that. Um, but yeah, yeah, we're getting going soon here. We also have Chris laid out at the tournament selling boards uh, in the cheaper price range. Uh, pretty cool to see their whole display and and all the involvement from like the backgammon community and getting that sold at tournaments now too. I've got my new book if you want it, go check that out on Amazon. I teach lessons too, so reach out if you'd like to. I've got Marty Storer here with me again. Hi. Howdy. What is up? Uh, so we got, I guess they're making preparations to start the match. Yeah. Streaming is always a technical endeavor that must be mm -hmm. done and we got a, the, the sky cam is being adjusted but we can see in front of us on the screen that you see and we got Kent and Frank Kent is, Kent is on the right oh he's trying to find the doubling cube the that's hiding behind the baffle box I guess <laughs> when you that's use funny. a baffle box that takes away space because you've got a clock a baffle box and a scorecard yeah all of which have to be in the view of the sky cam that oh, was okay. the david letterman term for the camera that goes from straight above they need some dice okay where are the dice i would like them to use two black dice yeah i think they just glare by the bar either way doesn't seem to matter doesn't matter okay yeah we always have light issues like that well, watch out, you might get murdered for eating on a microphone, by the way. The few people in the world. <laughs> you can take crunch, a break crunch, if you crunch, want. Crunch, yeah. I have some nuts and cheese. <laughs> gives, a, gives a darn. Yeah. What are we having for lunch today? We're having beefaroni, et cetera. Kent Golding, uh, a legend in the game and everything like that, too. He used to run tournaments, right, or part of it, or maybe part of the books oh, he and stuff. He's been involved Cup. forever, yeah. The World Cup, and he used to run other tournaments. Yeah. Always has a ton of stories. He helped run other tournaments. He used to run Calcutta auctions. Yeah. Both alone and uh, yeah. with others, too, and make make books at Monte Carlo. Yeah. Things like that. So he's and he's. Frank I know less about, but he's been out at the tournaments and I remember playing him in New York and things like that. So a common face on the on the ABT circuit for sure, you know, plays yeah, well. Yeah, he lives in um, like a, a county or two above New York City. Yeah. Well, oh, Kent's York. had good stories about that, the whole UK BGF and like the cheating thing or whatever. Yeah, I yeah, guess he, he had uh, a good, oh, they're going to play with two black sides. But he was on commentary duty Le during Legends that. Legends of the game that shall remain nameless. <laughs> on this okay. Yeah, yeah. Now it's starting to so, so um, bottom checkers are being played by Frank DiMaggio, blue, and top checkers, the white checkers are being played by Kent Goulding. Yep. And uh, Frank opened with a 6-2 split, and Kent replied with a 6-3, uh, which hit with a 6 and split with a 3. Those, oh, are, those are standard openings and yeah. standard reply. 5-1, a bad reply by Frank to... I think you're supposed to enter on the ace there again, still. I, I'm not sure. I, I, this, this is okay with me. It's small, but yeah, yeah. 24 Ken, and 13 rolled, is better. Ken rolled a bad... He rolled a bad 5-4, relatively bad, but he was able to make the two-point on, on Frank's head, as, we, as yeah. people always say. Now, uh -huh. Frank's choice is to hit loose... Oh, interesting. Unstack a six point or make his 11. I would be the 11 personally, right? Yeah, with a weaker board, I'd rather have the asset than get yeah. into a blood hitting contest, yes. The weaker board now, that means that Ken has got, Ken Goulding has two points in his inner board, whereas Frank only has one. So six for lack Kent of roll, options. Ken rolled a 2 1 reply to 
um, Frank's loose head on the four point. And so he, he entered with a two and then hit loose on his own five point. Frank got a blot there. Now Frank has Frank has rolled a bad reply, a six. He's a gonna six go for three. the tempo and so interesting. He I don't think this is accomplishing much. And he could and the only the only play real for alternative seemed to me to be to come out with the six or to uh, hi. Hey, Marianne. I'm I'm so alive. Hit back. Now even now Kendra's got an advantage. He rolled a joker and you know, and, and now now it's like well ahead in the race so he can just play them both to the 21 and try to move around now. He can play both the to the 21 or he can play loose. He can play he can play 24 and 9 if he wants to. Or he can even go bar to 20. But the race is close enough that you give up a lot being hit with that 6. So I'm not sure why we would want to do that. What the gain is, you know? Yeah, so he so They're close, but because he wants he he wants to engage in a blot hitting contest. That's the answer. Mm. I'm not sure it's right. I'm not saying it's the right play. And now Frank, I believe, should just play safe. He could make his make his two point, make his the twenty two anchor. Yeah, consolidate some blots. Now by there's him strong. there are fewer blots lying around, but now Kent's got the nine point slotted, and he's got multiple indirect shots at the blot on Frank's eleven. And Frank is and he he hits with an indirect shot, but Frank rolls a good two one, which comes back makes a double anchor. But now, now Frank's hitting in his board. He could have hit outside and left. Oh yeah. And not left a direct shot. I assumed now, he Kent, would do that. Kent does make his nine point, which is a valuable blocking point. Enters with a one and, uh, You know, Frank has got a disadvantage, but he's he's in, you know, he's, he's rolled very well to make his four point. And now, you know, Kent's got the advantage. He's got a four solid four point prime. He's got his, but now Frank is countering with a he. He rolls the double ones to inch up. He moves up his anchor and he moves forward to make his bar point, which is much better than his eight point in this position. And Kent says, "All right, I'm going to activate my back shutters. You're not probably going to attack me very easily yet." I think we can and still play pure as as Frank here with the double anchor. I don't see a better option. Maybe just leaving the twenty four is actually okay with how weak the back the game is. The one is bad. Yeah. So he says, I'm going to keep my double anchor. And it's like, he could have hit loose. He could have played seven to three or something. Instead of giving, uh, giving Kent the full roll, he could have put him on the bar, and that, that would have given Kent uh, seven to three was a little nine bit better. numbers to stay on the bar, yeah. which would have been a good. And, and then Frank could think about, OK, I can you know, get away from the back game and go forward. And that's, what is that? Double ace? Can't really see it. I think it's a double one, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so it is. So he broke his seven point, hit loose on his five. He hopes to make that point. And if, if Kent hits, he hopes to just fall back on a back game. And now it's the question is, should, Six, he, five is awkward. should he break his forward anchor or should he just come down with two checkers? And he he, he really wants to keep the anchor. I think he probably And would. Kent stays on the bar on the three point board for a second time. And now this is a great roll. He can uh, he make he can make the five point with a two and come up with a three. Twenty one and ten. And now was he's a ready to get a spare on checker out. Roll. Yep. And can obligingly for Frank stays on the bar again. Double fives, beautiful. He can get all of his back checkers out, which I believe he should do all three. Uh, it doesn't all really three. fit how he was playing last roll though. So well, I but now he's now he's got front. a board. Yeah. And now what's he going to do? He says, "I'm going to make my." Oh, this is this is a little. So his back aim is not going to be well timed, right? If he gets, but he hit. wants that landing point. And for I, his so I would have, so I would have switched to, to a it. more forward going plan by exiting yeah. the board because you don't want to get stuck back there and break your board. Absolutely. And now Kent is going to flood his outfield. He's going to increase building power. He wants to make his nine or ten point to block Frank's exit, but Frank rolls a good six three out from the nice bar to the sixteen. Roll, yep. Four two is going to hit off the edge. Yeah, I think. He, doesn't, he says, "I'm not going to leave an indirect shot." Oh, interesting. Yeah, I guess the board's strong enough to warrant that. Frank stays on the bar. Now Frank's got got decent winning chances, right? Yeah. What he's afraid of, what what Frank is afraid of, is not getting a spare checker out and around the board. Just twelve to eight seems fine here to like threaten the I would, twenty-two. I would if they keep a builder on the on the twelve point. I would I would, I would make the twelve point from the sixteen. I think. It seems like if we make an outfield point, it's very temporary, though. But okay, it, it, it's yeah. not. It's not that you want to hold the twelve points. So you want to keep two builders for the ten and the nine. Mm -hmm. You can't. No, you can't. 
you can't keep three builders for anything unless you slot a point, right? Yeah, and I wouldn't be thinking about making <coughs> So this is what he does. He said, okay, Ken, Ken does yeah. this. And he, he, this way he's got, he's got four numbers to make the 10, and he's got uh, three more to make the uh, nine. No, four more to make the nine. No, th no, three more to make the nine. Okay. So now, three, five. now uh, he makes the 10. All right. But he leaves, what is it, six, six um, indirects. So uh, I guess that didn't go through the baffle box. So double ones is not, it's not great. Uh, now he could just move his spare up from the, from the 22 point to the 21 point and play six to three. I guess he doesn't have any sixes either way, so it's kind of fine. Mm. Yeah, he doesn't. He kills. He kills all sixes except two six. Yeah. And now Kent so Kent makes a six point prime with a lucky what four three, and now yeah. six one. He can't play the six, so he's. So I'm not sure why we wanted this six point prime though. It, like well, in this to, whole to stop him from exiting with a six, and I might have cracked with a five something, right? Cracked his board. Mm. So now two one, he must break a point. So he's. Does he want to be hit? He says no. I don't want to be hit. I'm gonna. Bring, make, clear from the back and Gillers and Frank. Fortunately for himself, exits with a six. And what is the other number? I can't tell. A three, he has an option of covering or just continuing. Yeah, so the thematic player, what, what people usually want to do is give themselves a chance to make the four point. Yeah. But uh, Frank elects to make a five point board. This should be In case he first. gets an immediate direct shot or in case he gets a shot soon. Or before he could cover anything, and I, you know, I think I would have left my four point slotted, but I'm not sure whether that's right or not. So now, Kent clears naturally from the his rear. eight point. Now he's got spares piled up on his uh, three and two points. Six, six is good because he, he just prepares to clear his seven point. And now uh, Frank has got to go. Six forces him to go, and he goes from the forward point, so he has more shot equity from the rear point. And can't, sure enough, okay, he re leaves a blot. With a 13-number return shot, he's actually got a double four to hit and cover, which would win the game instantly. A buddy comes out. He's Not a bad to, miss. Out. He can't stay back, though. He's got yeah. to exit for timing. And he does. Okay. Part 18. Yeah, getting out and not being stuck on the 24 point is pretty good there. 2-1 yep. is going to cover in advance from the 6, prepare to clear. I mean, I guess we could clear, clear the 5, but... Because yeah. a point cleared is a point not to be feared. You can clear your 5, yeah. you can shift to the 4 point, or you could just make the 4 point. Yeah. If you clear from the... If you, if you do, do what Kent just did, if you went 5 to 4, 5 to 3, there are no blot numbers for him this turn. Mm-hmm. Any six plays safely, any five plays safely, and any four plays safely. So like she favors that on plus plus. Yep. Yeah. So I would. So that's an that's a big strong argument for to minimize shots. Now he's got a now he's got six one five one. Uh, yeah, that block gap numbers, is forever. Uh, six five lot number. Four one. Okay. Now he's got four, one, six one six two four two four one five two. No, not five two. Um, now Frank's going to close board. Didn't get a chance and to Ken consider an amoeba. A 5-4, five, 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 four. Four, so that's a 15 number worse. winning shot, which he does not roll. He breaks his board also as well. Cracks, so yeah. It's cruel. I think he should go 6-3 to, six to three or 6-4, 2-1. Yeah, to I'd one. like to keep the checker live on the 6 point for now in case yes. we do get a hit and get to close out later. So should six, he take four. two checkers off or should he stay even on the 3 point? He could go six to two and then two to off, playing the four first. And that is safer, but he says well, an extra checker off is going to win me more later if I get hit, even though I might get hit more often. So I, w I might have played safe, more safe, but I would have been regretting my decision after. I tend to err on the side of checkers ace. off. There's still quite a few. So he keeps Checkers outside, he so there's gambles to play number of checkers for. and leaves a 0% chance to leave a shot yeah. for the next eight zillion rolls. Okay, that's going to save a lot of gammons. And now uh, Frank is on the gammon save. He's just trying to get his checkers around efficiently. A 5-3 is... This is okay. You could only get two crossover, one crossover in either case. 
and now he crosses efficiently to the six point, and he's a big favorite, Civic Gamma now. It'll virtually take two doubles from Kent unanswered. Now he has almost no, now he's, that's, it's, vir it's just over, and I guess Kent can roll two one all the time or something, but. Kent wins two points in the first game and leads two nothing to 19. Mm -hmm. Small break of some sort here. I'm not sure what's going on. Frank is running, running out, out running, running, running. He won. Oh, Frank's getting a score sheet, so he can keep his written score as, as well as the score pad score that you see on the screen. But that's the correct score showing. Now Frank's back with the score sheet. And Kent opens with a 6-5. Now, they are using black yeah. dice, but you're right. I, th I saw it was a little glary. Standard split in response. Standard point of the head, a third roll. Yeah. It's 3-1, and now a bad 5-2. I guess I don't really want to provoke out to the bar. Maybe I'd find 13-8 uh, there, but they're very close. Okay. Break it's okay. It's okay. I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I would be okay with either. Uh, I wouldn't this place, role more I would not play 6 one, five, four, so Kent says, I am going to hit and split. Interesting. This feels he, like he wants to prevent. Uh, he wants to prevent Frank from making the 18 anchor, which would give him good defense. So he decides to put himself into position to escape on the 20 point. Duplicate a one but to gave hit. Gave up the race in the meantime. But yeah, but it, it's risky for the race. But and with one checker back versus mm -hmm. kind of like two, you don't really want to. You, you're a little more wary of uh, letting your opponent hit you in your board and send the checker back and gain a lot of pitch in the race. So Frank had a four-two, yeah. which was good. He made his four point instead of playing safe, which yep. He has the I racing lead, but developing is important too. Yeah. And Nick hits outside with with for the twenty to the eleven, and now. Frank and Rose an excellent double ace. He enters, he makes his five point with and two we more. Split. Why not? And Good split, why not? That's exactly We got a better board. The race is really close. Got to advance sometime. Um, it's currently only nine. Oh, but now zone. he's going to play aggressively because I'm going to play oh, against that lone back checker. And Ken yeah, says, that I'm allows your opponent to escape with tempo. Ken though. says, I'm going to make my four point. He was mm -hmm. thinking about making a nine point, but now he finds the stronger four point move. And here's 6-3, which... That covers. His play works. Two down. Yeah. Um, still needs to work hit. on his back checkers, though. And Kent didn't escape. And he didn't escape even now. 5-3. Maybe just two down is fine. It's so many fly shots, though, that my first instinct is just to the five. Yeah. Um, and we'll gonna, he's all duplicate 6-4. Sure. Head on the 14 and to go 13-3. Uh, to three, I suppose. Two down a hair better to be ready when they okay. do split, but uh, the fly I, yeah, shots are worth two it. Two down is... Threes two down, is not two great down is a good, uh, good for making the warp one. Yeah, so threes is just... Uh, the switch, though, I feel like... I, I don't think we're so desperate that we need to turn this into a blitz. We can just give up the midpoint. It's not so bad here. Yeah, he, he could have played... He could have just made the 10 point and hoped yeah. that Kent did not roll a six. Uh, but the switch off the three was right. 13, 10, 6, 3, 2. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's but hard, to, up it's hard to know. I guess it's a big swing when you're part of fans. What did he, he roll retains here? some attacking chances. 1, 6, okay. So he decides so to enter deep and not get attacked. I'll, I'll, he wants to stay back where it's relatively. It's, it's, it's but he should go for the mobility. Then. Exposed and, and Frank says, ha ha. Double sixes. Out for sure, and then do we just continue the attack? I guess so. Well, why not, now that we've committed to kind of a blitzing structure? I like it's interesting point. to make a five-point board instead of this, but then yeah. the trouble with that is if, you if don't have KG, the time for it. Canada's also known as KG for his initials. Yeah. 
Now he makes a, now Frank yep. makes a two point. He could have considered a double even. Yeah, yeah, he did cruise past a strong double he, there. Yeah. Uh, break even take pass decision for Kent. Yeah, yeah. It didn't 16. look very happy because Ray is so far ahead of the race. You should double right now. I uh, mean, Frank? I believe so. It's just oh. it's just super volatile. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and he might he's be got playing a five-point board good. versus a three-point board. Yeah. And it's still takeable, know. though. And so, and you know, it's. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know what she says. I would have doubled, but now Frank will certainly double. You can't tell what the roll is. Ace something for, for Kent. So what is it? If it's a 5-1 or a 6-1, he could run. If it's a 2-1, he, he could build or cover. If it's a 3-1, he should probably just cover. Or he could go 13-9. If it's a 4-1, he could make us one point, or he could go yeah. move from the midpoint, or, you know. Yeah, none of a, these seem like really a big a deal, though. Or he's, Cam's just going to take it. Oh, that's, uh, that was uh, yeah, Frank's, Frank's board. Frank's phone, so. Double one, six one. Six one, so he. So he probably should have gotten rid of the gammon threat, but he keeps some contact instead, which should force Frank to claim at least. Um, yeah, he's way ahead of the race. I yeah. He's got attacking chances. And, and now it comes, yeah. Latent gammon chances a little bit. Now this should be a fairly clear pass as well. Howdy, Mate. You got a new shirt on, bro. I, I, I would hit. Oh, Mate would hit here. That makes sense. It's a two, right? Yeah, it is a two. Hit. Mate notices the two cube and chooses the hit. Thank you, Mate. Thank you. He'll be back all weekend with uh, insights like that. We've got this organized. <laughs> there was a chess opening called the Hungarian Defense. <laughs> and Mate is from Hungary. Mm. Both those things are true, I think. <laughs> At least one of those things is true. <laughs> So Kent is making a. Surprised he's like. Uh, what is he doing? Counting spent so much time on the play and then also on this decision. This is nearly too good. Um, seems like completely dead in the race. And are we really trying to play? Uh, he's 37 pips down by yeah. the count. Yeah. So. So he's considering playing for contact against a five-point board with a three-point board of his own. Um, all these things seem pretty suspect, and like there's more gammons than wins here. Yeah. And the evil double one, double two pointing numbers are there too. He does pass, okay. Yeah. Now Frank, I have observed, is a conserv is conservative with the cube, yeah. both in doubling and taking. Would seem in that scenario anyway. Yeah. 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 No, I played him. I played him several times. And, oh, okay. Okay. You know, that's the way he was with me. Four. He's from um, either northern, I forget. Slaughter, where, I think okay. He's from two counties north of New York City, Brewster, New York. I think that's right. So he goes to New York and plays a lot. Anyway, yeah, Frank is an experienced player. Yeah. And we got to get a checker off the 24. There we go. Yeah, you that's don't very want nice on 24 aces. in the early game if you can avoid it. For what? Four, oh, four. Double, double fours, yeah, so that's, that seems right to me. It's just, really? It seems yeah, too deep seems, to me. I'd be inclined to play right position. It's good. Well, now, now well. it seems it seems bad to me now, right? Double four reply. But. What's the best play? I imagine we're making the four point, not hitting in the outfield, right? I'm, I'm, yeah. Not I would, clear, though. I think I'm, yeah, you could hit twice, but I would make the four. I'd What's make the line, actually. Too. After we make the four, we're going to, okay, connect the blotcher. We could get the back checkers moving. Doesn't look that important. He's going to go for the double hit, though. Okay. This, yeah. this is great when it works. Seems reasonable. I mean, he's... Uh, like on a 6-6? Six, six? Yeah, so, so I would have thought yeah. about playing on. Oh, he's going to cash, though? Okay. He just cashed. Yeah. It looks like it was correct to cube. Um, 31 shy of too good. Okay. But is that, is that three ply? Only? Yeah, something so like might, that. So three, five, I don't know oh, that. thanks, Tapio. Whose voice is a bit down? 5-1. Uh, okay. We got I'm Nick Blazier here with Marty Storer helping me out on commentary. A 
nice juicy double four for Frank. So you can make your two inside points, or you can make your four and nine, or you can make your five. This seems to be best, yeah. This I'm looks sure nice this because you've got all the, you've got your nine in the zone already. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty scary to split into board. this. So yeah, it's, what it's can scary we do? to split and it's scary to move in the outfield against those split back checkers. And with a 4-2, Kent makes, makes a, a third point in his board, which seems like there was no real choice. Mm -hmm. He could have left two blots in his outfield or something. But that, or yeah, three down seems like it diversifies well. It's pretty scary. 17, 14, a yeah, little bit better. Yeah, it's a five duplication of sorts versus a two non-duplication. Six down instantly, okay. Yeah, so, so Frank, you know, notice he's quickly doubling. He's not, he's not doubling. He's quickly moving without mm -hmm. thinking, apparently thinking about the cube or he might just know this is not a double. Why not just clean up a blot here, I think? Yeah. And strong now, advantage Kent for Frank. has a nice game if he rolls a three. What is that? Something four. Four one, icky poo. Yeah, maybe they should just advance. I don't know why I want to get a blot in the mix or play down to the deuce. So I like, I think down to the 20 seems good. He, yeah, he want, well, he, he, he's trying to make his 22 point. Yeah. Now Frank has another huge cube and uh, I would, yeah, no, almost no, break he, even he take quickly, pass decision. Frank quickly decides not to double. Mm -hmm. Gonna hit and maybe just clean up again since we haven't sent the cube. Maybe. Down, getting it, like the fly shots can bring uh, Kent back into the game. So I don't the, really yeah, want to leave it He's got a three point here. board for sure. Yeah. But that's a miss. But uh, he makes his double anchor. Yeah, he hits the 22, which is what he needed, right? <laughs> yeah, he hits his own checker yeah. and anchors with it. And now it's going to feel a lot less like a cube, I would imagine. Yeah, it still it's, has work it's to do not here. even a pure backing yet. There's elements yeah. of holding game here. Yeah. I guess he just makes the two outside points in the 6-4. It does seem to be the best he can do with it. Pretty productive. Link up a bunch of blots, get ready to build the five point next turn. The five point is a big key piece here to this game, to, to resolving it. And now, Kent, speaking of, Kent has got a timing saver of just making yeah. the twenty point. Yeah, he was and not. I think that's the that's the right idea because yeah. this will tend to generate shots sooner mm -hmm. than if he stays back. His timing wasn't terrible at seventy-two pips before the roll, but not I agree. terrible, but not yeah, suspect. Not insured, yeah, a bit suspect. Especially with the fifth checker back. Now, Six now, four. Frank. Quickly, he quickly left a blot on his midpoint. Yeah, and it that was seems correct. like he could have. It, it was right. You like it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Actually, he likes it. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking that he might just uh, clear his ten point. But I guess the ten point is not the is not the key point to clear. The nine point is the key point to clear. Yeah, and while you have the ten point, it's hard to lose the game when you get hit in the outfield. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. If you get hit right away, you've got you've got a good position, and then especially. Oh, well, Mate's got some different black dice for him. Mate is, um, but are they different sizes? Oh, he's trying to show him where to move the dice. Oh. That if they put him on the black thing, that we can see him, so. What, what was the actual roll? Uh, there there was wasn't an actual roll. Okay, he was just showing that. What, what is the actual, what is the roll now? What is the, what, what, what just happened? Well, those we can see over there without a glare. So it's Frank on roll now. Frank didn't double, it doesn't consider doubling this. Yeah, I it still doesn't seem like a cube now. I would have considered doubling this. Interesting. Yeah, I don't... Okay, now this is... He doesn't want to... Uh, he could consider hitting, but... It slows down from making the board, at least, so it's got that merit. Yeah, but yeah nothing I really mean, does if much. Hit, and it's, if he's hit back, unless it's double ones hitting back. It's scary to just give him his whole roll and park on the 11 here, though. There is an offense. Yeah, you could park on the 15. Thanks, Monte. You can probably do the 15 and then bury, bury a checker. Bigger and rigid? Ridged. Rig. Oh, rigged dice is how we get to see him. I see. Thank you, Mate, for the rigged dice. Okay, yeah, and so he okay, was supposed now, to hit there. Unfortunately, now hit cover. Right. We give up a couple of rolls. Like he this. had yeah. eight hit cover numbers. Yeah. And, and so it's not that. This is only a, that was only one, you know, two ninths chance that he could do it right then. Can't move but he any didn't of the want to play checkers. six to two, and he didn't want to break his ten point. 
Do we just want to park a checker on the bar point here and hope to make another part of the prime to help us get home? I think Seems so. Reasonable. I think so, just because that is the quickest way to get a menacing position up front. Yeah. And Two four is going to hold all our points for a roll. Nice if shot. If can do that, then it makes his overall task much really easier. Really needs Frank to crack here. I think we're hitting off the edge. Again, there's just no way yeah, this can really go wrong. Yeah, you can't make a point, so you better hit. Maybe 11 to 9 with You better hit and you better uh, think, of a, think about a play the 2. 11 to 9 would give 21 yeah. ways to cover the 2 point. I don't want to play 8 to 6 because and, my 4s uh, are out already. I guess 6s are yeah, out and, too. And uh, 8 to 6 would give yeah. 18 ways to cover the 2 point and 2 ways to cover the... No, 3 Both ways. No, close. 19. Those, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not counting double 6s. So yeah. Add 1 to those 2 point covering. He's got 22 ways to cover. 3-3 three, three is safe for is, a roll. That is 1, yeah. Now Kent's problem is that he's he's got to escape four back checkers and he's got yeah. precisely sixes, fours, and twos to do it, and three two is a bad two. Um, so you should probably switch and switch either switch from the four point to the one point or I don't know what else. I mean, you can yeah, break I can't a, imagine a playing a single point. three and having a four-point board to allow myself to find mobility. No, I, do, I, so I would. I would. I would I think switching feels like. I it. would switch to the one point myself. Seems reasonable, and we still have it's our. It's a five-point board. We still have and our you're, you're going to have to get lucky to escape anyway. Somewhat lucky. Yeah. Everything else and cracks so worse. Yeah. Eventually, finds that, and Frank can't perform. Does not. Come in and Kent hopes, hopes for five one isn't five a good one, one either. Is pretty icky, and now, now this has got to be a double. Got to be a double. Can't it be like too good in this kind of position? It can be. Well, I guess it can be, but it's yeah. you know misses a cube again though. It's yeah. at least a cube. Put it that way. Sure, pure in two days seems nice there too. I like the play. Yeah, and, and it's like yeah, well, fifty eight pass one thirty two. Now, now, now he might. Uh, now he probably plays on. I've heard that always, logic from plenty always, of players. Uh, well, almost always. He can, he, can, he can usually claim. Yeah, a lot of players get confused whether they're too good or not good enough and just play on in like a lot of scenarios like this. I suppose he should just uh, make his... Uh, your, I uh, guess start clearing safe, from the, the back? Play or, I, I would just know. play 10 to 6. I'm not sure yeah, why I we need to play 6 can to still, yet, but He that's can better. still claim this if he wants to. Yeah. Count the shots, whatever. And true, true. It, I, I wouldn't be eager to take this. No. I don't know whether Frank believes it's not good enough or to, to double or too good to double. Or Seems like it must be too good at this point since uh, XG was okay with the play. I don't think we can afford to use the ace to play because fours are going to leave directs, and there is still some risk of being hit. So I think we just no, give could, up the 10. He could. He could. Yeah, giving up the you got to give it up sometime. Yeah. But he could equally have played 9 to 4 and yeah, only to give it up good. later, but then you're unhappy if he escapes. Now you're happier because you've cleared your 10 point. This is ugly. Four is no good. I guess we can play nine to four or six to two and play safe for all, sure. I would. I, 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 don't, see, I don't see any reason not to. It's, it's ugly, but safe. So we got some formula from might Bill have to here. break something, right? He actually misses a cube on that one. No longer yeah, too good. I, I mean, yeah, it, it's like... Now Kent has buried two checkers. He had no choice with a double three. And so Frank should not be particularly worried about the scenario where he gets position doesn't hit. look a ton better. Oh, clears well, two clears points. Beautiful. Two points and a stroke. Yeah. But it makes it harder to clear that nine point. Sure, sure. And what will Kent take a double from here? This I have no idea. I would not be inclined to. I imagine we go from the front. It creates a four for better or I, worse. I would go from the front, yes. Yeah. Uh, what is five four is very nice after this. Yeah. Six That's one is forced. safe. That's okay for now. Yeah, so I, I would still be uh, thinking hard about doubling this. Yeah, yeah. Just because. Yeah, he is missing some sizable cubes now. Yeah, and even now he's only got a 23 number shot. 5 2 is forced. No, well, the 2 five should go forced. closer to minimize shots. He saves, yeah, that does minimize. He saves four shots. Gets closer to home, too, so he cleans up more next roll. It's, it's better, see if Ken can turn this around to the better board. Oh, and he's going to get a chance at it. Wow. And if he hits, he, he tends not to be as close to covering. Yeah. I mean, there was a hit cover. All the way around to the there were two hit 12, covers. I think? There were two hit covers. Oh, he's going to spread 20, out. 20 to 4 and 
22 to 4 if he stayed on the nine point. 2 1 fans, and now Kent is still going to need to do some work to get back now ahead he probably, in this race. To claim. He probably is going to leave his four point slotted, is my guess, because there's yeah. always the variation where he gets hit and, and hits back on the one. Huge part of claiming this game, too, if we can get closer to having that strong of a board. Uh, so does would, he want a direct cover go, on the 10? I would though? just go 14 10 and uh, 20 18. 14 10 gives up 6 5. So True. maybe flooding the outfield in some okay, way. Well, you, yeah, you could yeah. go to the 16 and the 12 or something. I kind of wanted to be, yeah, somewhere. I wasn't sure about giving up the anchor already, even. But, uh, so 2016, and actually, XG wants to lift. Interesting. Lift? Oh, boy. Uh, well, I guess, I guess it thinks it wins enough races. Eventually. And maybe, 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 so, so Ken's saying, okay, I'm going to play the four here, or let's look at it. And like the four, for sure. Ken might have found the... It's a good fight. Found the right play. Wow, I would, I would never Gets found another that. fan, still down 18 pips, so still has work to do here. 16, 13 well, seems down, nice for coverage. Down 18 raw, but then, uh, then uh, um, Frank is on the bar. Yeah. And there's actually a Danny Kleinman formula to compute the effect of that. And I used to use it a lot. That sounds in my, useful. In my youth. Um, I think we're still trying to contain more than like minimize gaps. So however we can do that. Two Fs times n plus one divided by. Oh, we can play six like sixes and fours. This is pretty six nice. Minus yeah. yeah. So it doesn't cover on the six four quite right. as well. Now, Frank finally exits it. Only to get hit with a four-two, and now now Kent is actually looking at a possible double pretty soon. Still down Not, five. The well fours. Now, never mind. Now, okay, he's got he's got um. Forced. Yeah, he's got a lot of returns, and he misses. Five sixes so in one of them. Stay. It's a really bad miss too. Yeah, and now he's just clears just, a ton of contact. Just playing. This is not too good. Yeah. He's Break gonna planes. double. Yeah. And should be a pretty straightforward pass for Kent. He lets it go. Two is safe. Tied, on, tied it to all. Now we had a kind of a blowout in our last match. I think it'll be 3 2 now, but. Oh, 3 2 now. So as soon as he scores it on the board. Score? Yeah, you can go tell him to do that. They should. Okay. Yeah, there they go. They got it. They got oh, it. Yeah. People tend to remember that part eventually. So Ken Goulding makes a standard conservative uh, reverse split, as they say. Um, the He's going to get hit number for it. the back checkers rather than slowing the bigger number, 4-3. And Frank rolled a 2-1, a nondescript, but he played it right to head loose and split his back checkers. And then he rolled a double one and a good, good reply. Not sure what to do with the last one. I'd though. play 23 22 for interference with a builder on the nine point. So. Yeah, in case he rolls a 3 1 or something like this. But yes, or, or yeah, or, or, or yeah, 4 2 or whatever. It's actually slightly better on 4 ply, anyway. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> 5 3. I just want to check her in the zone, I'm pretty sure, here. Not bad, not bad. He just. He just 13 to 5. Yeah, we could actually split 23 to 20. Interesting. Yeah. Could have run as well to 15, but. I'm going to make the ungapped prime. Interesting. Why Why the 8 to 7 shift? I guess it well, blocks the checker. The so, so I it's think a big the mistake, answer, actually. The answer is that a Kent likes purity. Yeah. He's got a whole video on uh, pure play. Yeah. XG which is really very illuminating for people who don't know what pure play is. XG really wanted him to just uh, step up and get moving from the back. Yeah, so what So what did he have? What was that exactly? I, I forget the role that Kemp ace, had. Ace-Ace. Oh, Ace-Ace. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So so, so I guess a lot of these, um, it's, a big, it's a big turnaround now if uh, Frank manages to hit, which he does. Yeah, and step up 20, to the edge, 24 yeah, to 22, up, I think. Yeah, up to the edge. You got to do it sometime. No other two helps very much. Yeah. So just go up, and you can even think about you can think about doubling once you're, in, you're you're really in position to escape if you're up on the 22 point. I mean, you can say, "Oh, I'll blitz. I'll try to bring more builders closer." But Frank, yeah. 
I think this is right. Yeah, three up, this is quite threatening. Yeah. Six two enters with one. I'm not sure how takeable this is. Yeah, that's, it's, if he stayed on the bar, I would have doubled, but here I would try to think a little harder about it. Clear double, clear take still, though. Okay, still. I'd right. be afraid of the take here, though. Yeah, I would take, but. Okay, he's made an improvement. He's going to think about it again. Chicken. Yeah, he might. He well, see, Frank and again. Still he's, same territory. He's conservative, so he yeah. now he can hit loose, or he can just say, "I'll just bring two builders somewhere." The blitz is scary can, though, because we do don't do really hybrid. want another checker behind the four prime, so we so can the, just play so the race. A, you know, so this is I would I would not do that. Switching to the two point, the idea would be to say, "All right, it's easier for me to cover the six point." Yeah, and so what we should do is point, just escape the prime here. So you, you could actually escape the prime. I, I guess what, yeah. what you're saying is play this, right? Yes. That's yeah. what he just played, 22 to 17. Because you got to get out of that. you got to get out of there sometime now. It's just a clear double now. I can't even see. So Frank again. Yeah, it's doesn't, actually does not just double. shy of too good. Shy so of too good. So he isn't even making a mistake to wait here anymore. Yeah, so it's, wait. And this, this works out really well if Kent misses the shot, which he does. And so... Now it's too good against three on the bar. And that's, Seven covers that's, if that's dice actually on checkers good. That's legal. A, dice on checkers counts. So okay. now Frank is a five-point board against three on the bar. Can't Looking good. Fails to enter. Double fives is an anti-joker. Four two. Yeah, we do love being on the nine. Yeah. Hate being this loose, maybe, but yeah, okay. Now a double six closes the board at least with a six four. Mm-hmm. And a double four, in fact. Now he exits. He's got out. He's out with a six. I would at least. Seems strong. You could you could build another builder, which he does, but it's, double threes would be a disaster reply for Frank. Five one. Now he should go out and get off the double three. I think, despite despite um, losing it's, a double six to close the board. Enters one. Six two is gonna go for it. Yeah. I, I. Do we want to lift to the ace though? It seems a little. I would not. I guess I would, we could this late. I. I still. Three, it's really hard to recover if you have three on the bar. Uh, we actually uh, should lift to the ace. Oh yeah. really? Oh. I yeah. guess the idea is like okay. We're close why, to home. Why? Yeah, you're close to home, and you could just. And we also still have a centered cube. Uh, so if things uh, go poorly, oh, we can claim. Cube, that's right. So a phantom three-point game is not worth much. So 14 to, 14 to 6 with this 5-3 avoids a blot on double 6. Yeah. That might be the only one. And he'll see this readily enough, he does. Finds 14 to 6. There it is. Rewarded. Played against the double six and he rolled double six. And now he should clear his five point, obviously. For yeah, when we would lead ourselves so awkward and odd on the outside, we need to just clear the front <laughs> yeah. point and have more safe ways to clear the six next roll. Almost everything leaves uh, or many shots the other way. Plus, it gets Got a, a few out. bad numbers, including that. He should just take three off. Yeah, with two on the bar, we're not reducing shots by clearing from the rear, so might as well. And Mike he's, he's actually, if he's missed, he has a safe 6-3 and a mm. safe 5-3, mm -hmm. playing the 3 first. 5-2, okay. Nice and save for The Frank. other way, he would not have had that. 4-4 four, four is going to play nice. A teeny weeny backgammon chance. Yeah. A zero backgammon chance. No longer. So this is, this is a 100% this is a gammon. gammon. Just to make sure. And Kent exits. So now, two more points, only two more for, Re for yeah. Frank. He neglected to double. Yeah, uncubed. So he got a couple opportunities to get in and now double that's and a, take Now that's there. a way to lose matches, is not to get four points when you win gammons. Yeah. You only get two points. Unfortunate. A way to win is to get eight points when you win again. Or, or 12 points when you win a backgammon, whatever. But you don't want to double too late. 3-1 to open, nice for Kent. It also means we're going to have to do commentary forever on this match, Marty. 
Oh, no. Play a lot more games. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the advanced division. Everyone's scared to double. There's a lot of games. Interesting. Not touching the back checkers at all there. I kind of liked either split. Two six reaches. Nice shot. I like Ken 3-1, but hmm. he got hit, e even against the split back checkers. Yeah, they're really close, but it's uh, slightly better to split there. You can play 24 to 21, 6-5. Oh, 24, uh, yeah, that's, that's a... Finds a slot to duplicate threes. Okay, play. this is interesting, yeah. And now 6-1, I think he should still hit loose. There's some point to coming up, because it's... Your, we have you some have fewer checkers back. There. But I guess it can, uh, challenges fours that cover by exactly. stepping up. Exactly, you duplicate fours to hit 24-20 and to cover. Oh no, I meant uh, by stepping up 24 to 23. Now oh yeah, you yeah, you, yeah, you go, you challenge the eight pointers. There's only eight yeah. in the zone. This is correct though. Uh, <coughs> 73 wrong to step up. Two six. Maybe and it's Ken, time for a bit. Ken says, split. "All right, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna break my anchor. I'm gonna see if you can." Uh, oh now. Uh, now, Frank said, this, this might be a little premature, but... This is quite a bit too early. 166 yeah. early. Yeah. So now he can cover and hit, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. But even now, Ken has got lots of ways to make a second anchor. Hit back, stay in the game. That's as ugly. Probably just going to go 13-8 if I know him. Um, I think so, yeah. Having that third to, checker on the 24 He wants that good. double anchor in Frank's board. And so Blot's all over the place. Frank won another the cube there, but the there's, with no points in the board, the threat isn't actually that much when you hit. And another attacker on Kent's side of the board is a diversion. Oh, this is a beautiful against shot. Against a point prime? play. Yeah, that's pretty good, Yeah, to put it mildly. Makes the bar and nines and escapes the checker. Five point prime. Kent, Kent rolls a bad, step up off the a bad double five. And now Frank is glad to have doubled early. Yep. <laughs> It's still recoverable if he can make one of those an additional so, interboard play. So now Ken is trying to uh, tempt him into into making into hitting a, another this is checker. This attack for sure. I think maybe that was a misplaced temptation attempt by Ken. Because I do not think that. Oh, there, there he goes. All right, bingo. Now he's got a now he's got a back game. It's a bit. It's a bit dubious now. It, now Frank can just bring two checkers down there. That's. I agree with that. Because if you want to hit me, yeah, I'll find KG. You're gonna have to break your point. But you would have this done it. This can mostly. slot the four. More important yeah, than making the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the pure style. Five four can just bring two checkers in. Bring two checkers in and lift the blot. I still would lift it. Yeah. I would uh, play that. And then why not? Now, he, it's interesting. He could stack on the four point. I'm not sure why that and would then, be. Then, well, it would be to clear the nine quickly. Yeah, but might with, be harder to do But later. I'm not sure you want to clear the nine quickly. Might give you some flexibility. And you kill a six, though. Yeah. You, this way you kill a six, which could be important. Ken hopes for a good number. That's an average number, I guess. He makes, he makes a point. Now, he's thinking about... Breaking is 22 point for timing. I hope not. Because Are that there seems any block like numbers? Yeah, five four. In a lot of games five four is a block number. Yeah. I think we just have to. Sit I would have done this pray. as well. Yeah. I would not like to get pointed on on the over there. Three two. I think we probably stay stubborn and. I mean, we could just clear the nine. It's hard for our opponent to win when they hit from there. But stacking up the you four just play is safe bad. like this and hope four he breaks two, his okay. board. Maybe I prefer Which he doesn't. Two bit. one is nice. Wow, surviving. Yeah. And now he's got a, he's got a few blot numbers. Six five, six one. Six two is not one of them. Just six, six two is good. It's fine. safe and it yep. puts a spare in very good position and it keeps the broken now. Kent run, and runs away. And real decision now, and he's going to run on it. Yeah, keep the board. And now okay, uh, that's scary. Frank is wishing to point on that blot, and he's of not course. doing it. But he is going to clear his uh, nine point and create four builders for the open yeah. three-point. No need to hit loose or anything like this. We're out now. He's hoping to lose. exit from the 22, which he does not do with a 4-1. I mean, Ken has some decent, not decent, but he's got he's got some winning chances. 4-3 is great. He's got a... Yeah, his eight-point game will be timed a, now. A sometimes well-timed one-point game. 
And this this makes it a little less likely because he can now he gets to move. Just a lot of pressure on a six when uh, Frank clears the bar point here. But four three is good. It reinforces the four and it puts a spare on the three. And Ken is urgently hoping for a six, which he gets. Very nice shot. Now he's got that gives him lots more timing for his ace win game. Yeah, it keeps him from losing and too many gammons too. Frank rolls an excellent double ace to clear his six point and distribute smoothly over his four, three, and five. Yeah, five to three, yeah. So there's no blot numbers next. Kent rolls a very good two, one to, to maintain time. He says, I'm gonna cross, sure we save I'm gonna cross the boards to try to save the gammon. Boxcars, four off. Double ones, close, closer with the outside checker. Four, one. A little awkward. Four to three. Yeah, we leave a bunch of threes that leave shots. <laughs> what is our other option? Six, five, six, four, five, you, four. You can play three to two and leave six blot numbers. You could go. It must be either way, yeah. He could move, he could move uh, four to three and leave seven blot numbers. Yeah, it seems like the distribution is a little clear, smoother with three to two as well. Four point, so there's less double jeopardy. Because there's the clear, example, but we have five checkers on the three as for, well, which is uh, Yeah, that, well, that's the extra number for blot. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, now they're very close, the one. but yeah. By yeah, I would better. expect they'd be close because you get more checkers off. And now he's he's happy because he doesn't leave a blot and he clears the four point. But he does have more of a chance to, and uh, Kent's going to escape if he can. Get as far as possible toward escape. He's still hoping to save the gam, and he's really hoping to win after being hit, after hitting. And he runs, runs out of, he doesn't want to, make his one point necessarily. A two would be welcome. Now he's just going to save the back end and not waste any pips yet. And now it's a gammon. That does appear to be a gammon. So Frank goes going ahead. Too. He goes ahead. What was he? Was he ahead? Was he ahead? He was ahead three to two. No, he's ahead five to two. Was he ahead five to two, and now he's ahead nine to two. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So ten away to seventeen away for Frank. Mm -hmm. So Ken doesn't learn. He should have learned after about all these decades of playing that you have to hit those late shots in order to win tournaments and matches. Conservative four one. Ahead of the match, play conservatively. If the, if the alternatives are close. Looks like it should just make a point. 4-2, same idea. 4 point a little bit better than the 9. 6-2, does this, oh, it makes the bar point. Beautiful shot. Both sides developing really naturally. 2-2. Two, two. Probably point of the two point. Rather the than tempo build, could be worth something. Sure. Rather than build and uh, build something like make the play make B the nine seems to be the nine and step up and try to escape. Yeah, the nine and step up is. But we're down in the race. Is reasonable. This is pure yeah. because it does yeah. not make the two point. So yeah. Kent is a, an advocate of pure play and he, yeah. he just makes the purer play. The tempo worth quite a bit there. And actually, the tempo, strongly the te yeah, with, yeah. With, with with now the the drawback of not making a three point board and putting your opponent over the bars, you get the full roll to do something. And he could have equally, but he, he made an anchor. But he could have attacked anchor on the swarm point looks or, strong, yep. or run away or whatever. So, but so now the small now lead Ken's for Frank. An anchor, so they both got advanced anchors, and now yeah. Frank says, "All right, I'm Frank gonna, leading the race though. I'm so. just going to roll double fours yeah. and and come home. Just around to the ten, I think is probably our best. Yep. It's easier to clear the 10 than the 14 is, is, is on the, the 10 point has three safe landing spots right now. And the 10 also forms a landing spot for the uh, In 12 points ahead, I think he could have a double here. I don't know 50, if he likes the cube in holding games like this. But uh, it still has work to do, so it can't be too bad to wait. 119, 12 pips ahead, yeah. I'm just practicing my counting. Yeah, 13, 6 seems pretty natural. Just simple so plays 13, eight, for three, Frank one. trying to get home. 3-1 three, one is interesting. 3-1 keep keeps the builder okay. on the 8. Yeah, so slightly better, it slightly you, it better. gives you a 3-1 to make your five point. Going to take his time to think about it. He could just make the ace. Maybe he's considering that too. Yeah, but he, he wants to clear the midpoint. So yes. He wants to strip it. 
Yeah. And, you know, so that's, that's the best play. Yeah, so he found, Plank found a great play there. And feels like two in to me, or two off the nine. Yeah, I agree. Slot the bar. We don't really want the nine. Doesn't interact with our three well anymore. And three one, one beautiful the shot. Number. Now we should have a lot of cubes coming. 16 pip lead. Let's see what Kent does. Gets six back 10 lead. of it. Oops, well, six is probably not enough, right? Yeah, the four so point could, can still could, be a cube. But. He could, yeah, so he's playing purely, and he, he's not afraid of leaving the blot on the midpoint because only, Interesting. only yeah. one, two, one, one. It seems like an overplay here, though. Oh, but only one, two, one, one are horrid. But if there's anything, then it's only downside, right? Like, what does he gain here? Well, he, six one. He's got to break a. He's got to break a forward point instead of leaving a four number shot. So he's got to break his two point. It looks to me. Or I think that would be a little better than breaking the, breaking the seven point, break the eight point. I mean, mm. eight to two, eight to seven instead of breaking the seven point, which would leave fewer spare checkers. Mm -hmm. or it would leave. Brings checker, two checkers, checkers in, in though. It brings two checkers in, but but. That's not the primary concern. You're still moving checkers forward if you break the A point, mm -hmm. and you've got spares on your, you got a spare on your seven and a spare on your six instead of yeah. two on your six. Makes a board point too, but yeah, this is the better and, and play yeah, by but, a but you can, yeah. So so it's like, well, you might you might have to not leave an indirect shot or something if you. So, so now he can just, uh, if he's far enough ahead in the race, he can just go ten to eight twice. Uh, it's only going to be 14, but I still think that's the play. Um, but unclear. Maybe he needs to block sixes and fives more. They're almost tied here, They're like right at the break even. All right. Case well, this is, this is this this provides more blockage against the right. Anchor. Two so, competing ideas. Yeah. And uh, and Kent saves a six. He goes 13 day. Doesn't waste any pips bearing in. But seven to four, 13 to 11 was a try. Nine pips, no cube. I think we do have a double now, probably. But uh, it was up nine one. before the roll. Yeah. And if he comes in, he's got uh, five one. What 80, can this do? This could make two points and keep a six outside. Does that help? The distribution. No, looks I, I'm bad. thinking that maybe he should just clear the ten, but mm. because maybe he's far enough ahead in the race. It was only 15 pips after the roll, so it's, it's tricky. Best play, yeah, clearing the 10 is best, though. He's had 15 pips now. now so now he would. He's he ahead would. 12 now. He's had 12, so double. So double, I mean. Yeah, but he's been there for a couple no, rolls. But there are no block numbers, and he can clear his 10, and he can clear his 9. Play. I mean, 6 5 is, is bad, right? You could the roll be before to. was a break even decision. This is basically a break even decision, too. I, yeah, I think it's, yeah, and, and Kent might, there, there's a variation where Kent makes the wrong response to the double. I mean, I'm not saying he will. He probably will, mm -hmm. he probably will take it with no, with no problem, but, but he, uh, even the greatest players make mistakes, you know, and yeah. that they, that they might mistake, make a mistake on a given day they wouldn't normally make. He's going to roll it, okay. And again, a conservative decision by Frank. Now he should just clear his 10 point. You know, I know he can count the pips, and he does probably. Get scared to do when the sixes turn around the game. Three one. Eighty-two to ninety. Does he even need to save the six? He just plays in. Yeah, this seems reasonable. Well, to me. it's yeah, it's getting to be diminished returns on saving a six. I mean, because if you save a six, you. Now he misses a large cube after you don't, that sequence. Yeah, right, exactly, because he was he was more ahead. He just played a 4-1, I believe, yeah. illegally. Mm. So he's got a 3-1, and he played a 4-1. And, and Kent's, they're talking about it. And now they're going to ask us for guidance. They're going to ask. They might come and ask us. Kent's, Kent, and Kent's right here. This is the original position. That's not the original position. Oh, now they're now they're. Are we allowed to say anything? This is the original position. That's the original position. Kent's Two right. on the six. Kent's right. That's the original. Position. 
and then he and then uh, Frank played it played four one. He rolled four three one, but he played four one illegally. Okay. So Kent's right. There were four on the sixth. All right. You got to clear this up. So that's a that's either three to two or six to five is fine with me. I would have played three to two. Kent actually, actually had a pass last sequence too. Yeah, and then still he's not doubling. This is so six five. So that's the trouble. You you uh, now you have to clear your seven point. And I think if you kept a spare on the six, you didn't have to clear your seven point. And I think maybe that was desirable not to. But anyway, I mean. Not to double Five this. One. Perfect. There's not a lot to of double this is really was not to double that before the roll was really bad. I think maybe he's seduced by his by his uh, lead he in the match. He's too good now. Yeah, well, it's yeah. Too good now. Got to right? be careful. But now he should just play safe. And I'm not sure. Maybe he could take two off here. Oh, he could. Would you take two off and then still be too good if he fans or something? Yeah. Super but now, close. now he's now. There's no doubt he could. Okay. Now and well, all right. You're you're not arguing over very many gamins. And now he's got sixes, fives, and fours leave blot. Six one is great. No blot numbers, two more off. Stays on the bar again. Safe, no blot numbers. Comes in. Yep. crossovers three off now that's good because it's down to six checkers a one double could be the difference oh three one no crossovers he should play uh he could go to nine and ten i believe but yeah i believe yeah, so i never know why but i think that yeah is yeah no but three one is bad right that's i think there's a swing on three one and that's mm. it but he couldn't get anything with double set. threes. He needs, okay, so he gets gammon on gammon, wow. undoubled gammon. That was. That's another way to uh, win yeah, two he, points. Well, he could have won four points had he, I mean, in that same variation. True. He could have doubled and Kent, earlier and Kent could have taken and he yeah. would have four. But, of course, the whole universe would have been different. The hands would have been in different positions and the dice yeah. would have been different. It would be an indeterminate result if you assume that <laughs> something in the past that happened didn't happen. That which happened after might not have happened. <laughs> it's quantum mechanics. In the, the, the Heisenberg uncertainty or something. I'm t talking like I know physics, but I really don't. Now we got a 4-1 for Kent. And now he's way behind in the match. He's behind by nine points. He makes an aggressive opening 4-1, which is generally the, the right five, idea. Nice and Kent is very comfortable in positions like this. Pure this covers, and, at least. Pure and slotting things and putting your checkers where he, he want, you want them. And Sure, just safety a checker. And, uh, Frank has Frank the simple properly, racing advantage. Properly safety is a checker. The screen goes dim. Five one looks like maybe another split is it, from the back. Oh, it's it's uh, is it suspended? Is it is the feed messed up? Oh no, and now he it's does back. split out to the bar. I like he that. Split, play. He played six three, and he I think he now is it is this uh this must six be six three can hit twice. Oh, oh yeah, just, can just twice. Run. So Frank is really in the six, game. Three. It seems reasonable. Yeah. And now he's got nine in the zone, so he's happy to Good hit reply. twice, hoping that Kent does not. Return it, which he does, but even now Frank can can make the bar point, his own bar point, but he does not do so. Maybe he could play, 13 to 8 is He could play purely with 13 8, which would leave um, 26, is it just 26 shots. Another block. This leaves this a commensurate sure number of shots. shots. This leaves a commensurate number of shots, more blots. Yeah. The big difference is a double six. And Ken's going to get in an early cube A double cube six now. is lousy. A, 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 an early cube is great because Frank's incentive to redouble is very small, given that he, he needs eight points to win. 
and if he redoubles to four, if he takes and then redoubles to four, uh, Kent will have the option of. Uh, three, two if he is takes and redoubles response. to four, then Kent would have the option of redoubling. Yeah, so an advance, so an anchor is fine. Ele 13, 13, 11 is fine. Two, Kent makes the the anchor on the twenty-two point. Uh, two six from. Two six, two six from the bar makes the bar point threes for. Is gonna extend and now the double threes nice. for Kent a Joker. He makes a four point prime. He's very happy to double, and now double six becomes a great. We well, used to be a great roll for Frank, but now it's a crummy roll because it's bad for timing. It gains pips in the race, but he's got to escape his back checkers before he can race. So Kent says, "Do I increase my building power eight to seven, or do I come up to the?" Yeah, mobility point. doesn't seem like the key here. I think advancing seems good, but 22 a little bit better. Okay. And now he's, he, he has extra coverage of both the inner and outer boards by staying on the 23 point. Two sixes is going to get moving somewhere for White. I, I would get moving point. from the 24 point is where I would get moving yeah, from. Yeah, staying split seems nice instead too. Of, uh, instead of leaving two on the 24. Now Ken Interesting was, decision. Ken might, Ken is thinking, should I hit or should I make the, my four point? He's, I don't think he's, I don't think he, he's thinking about making his the 20 point. I don't think he's making thinking about making uh, mobility is so nice. I really yeah, don't know. I struggle. I, I with like that. this very much. I yeah. like I like this much better. So so he should split with the two and you know and, and he knows or, that uh, he's yep. gonna split and Candace's got a bunch of return shots and now he can just make the 20 point which he does. Best anchor available yeah. And now that decreases the blockage uh, against uh, Kent's back checkers. Kent's position coming together nicely. Huge swing on a deuce for Frank. Now he, he could leave two blots forward and point on the three point, or he could just clean it up. And he could to play it loose on the three point, nice or he could go to the eight point. Yeah, eight he could deuce. go to the eight point and dump behind. That that's actually a play. He's going to go for the attack instead. He goes okay. to the attack, but then he gets. He's sorry he did because he gets hit back. Steps up to the I edge. Have, I made the Kent. wimpy play six to two, eleven to eight. I think that would have been mine as well. Now Frank fans. And looking good and for Gammon Ken for Ken now. loose on the three with a 6-4. Yeah, it takes him off the edge of the prime, continues the attack. And anchors. That's a little bit of life for Frank, but he's going to have a hard time timing an ace point game here. Now the, the, the stream locks up again. And now Kent's got a 3-1. He'll probably just... Uh, Covering the board feels worth it. I don't mind unblocking the sixes out. Yeah, I would... Yeah, he could go 13 to 9. He says, I'll keep my five point prime in any case. It must, must he doesn't want to risk keep breaking. Keep, he doesn't Seven want to, to three, risk a little bit. Now better. he can make a full six point prime if he rolls a six. Or cover from a the very rear good, no a very tracks, good yeah. five point prime if he rolls a five. Needs to start getting those back three checkers moving, though, before some sort of disaster occurs. Two in, five behind, or down? Well, maybe down is fine. I would go down because I don't want to. I mean, you want to clear the midpoint eventually. It's pretty tough. Um, and they're quite close. If it's you do it, of... if you put a checker deep into your board, that's not good for later. Right. It's bad for later anyway, because yeah. Frank has got his one point. He was he rolled that inopportune double six. The issue, of course, with playing behind is that you might have to volunteer a shot. Well, with playing down is that you might get attacked, and then the blots around to be picked up. So. So Frank. Both uh, are tough, yeah. Frank. Alex to leave no blot outside. 2-2 two is going to hit somehow, I think. Yep. Yeah, he's going to keep his five-point prime. And the dreaded 2-6 from the bar does not appear, but the dreaded 2-3. This is okay, not a good he's, one. Now he's got to come down, which minimizes return shots. You can play with one less slot by playing 6-3, to three, interestingly Yeah, but, enough, he, but he wants to. He doesn't want to be hit, so he... 6-3 oh, he to three is better. It's better? Yeah. That's so odd. It's I'm less skeptical. blots. I'm skeptical of that judgment. Yeah, but you're, there, there's fewer ways to, to get hit. 20 ways to get hit versus, uh, you know, any two, you know. 2-1 two can seven, advance the uh, anchor, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what is it like? like uh, I don't like think 19, we want to hit. I guess it was 20 versus 19. Yeah. Probably just having to clean up three days. We're just in damage control mode here. Well, you could actually play the sneaky 13-11-3-2. Yeah, that's actually very close and does win a little more, but I'm, it's hard for me to even be in that headspace. I'm not sure I'm thinking I'm going to win this, you know? 
six well, the, four the maximum idea would mobility be to, seems the fine. The idea would be to yeah. gain time to improve your positions on either way. I feel like you get a little more mobility just clearing the 20 there. I'm tempted to do that. I, I, I don't like, uh, yeah, maybe. I, I don't know about that. It's, I don't think that's the biggest deal, but. Yeah, a little bit better play to do that. Uh, what did Frank just roll? 5 3, 7 2, 7 4. Okay. And now. 2 2. Kent, Kent could play, he could actually play uh, 20 to 14. Oh, we can't try to play illegally. Oh, that's clever. Four, 14 to 6, but it's blocked, so he says, all right. I I'm not sure why he feels like he needs to keep the anchor, though. I'll play. I don't either. He might He might want to oppose the 8 point. So he should play. Now I think he should just play up and dump to the 1 point. Mm -hmm. Because you really don't want to be. Yeah. You don't want to have extra men hit and be gammed. Now I think he should make the 14 and go 3 to 1. Yeah. A nice spare two. Finds that quickly, okay. Two dead checkers is enough for him to start yeah, playing open like this. I think he gets most, most um, contact this way. And now he's just going to go. Two gets to just clear the eight. Yeah, not too bad. He comes in. He's done well not to get hit anymore. Four, three. He can just go like 14, 10, uh, 4, 1. Sure. Or he can go 2016, 4, 1. I think we still want to keep contact, though. Yeah, I don't know why we want to give him room, but... Maybe, why not? No, they're dou double attacking the midpoint. And now, okay, he probably just, again, he should probably just In take board it to its logical conclusion. And, yeah. And, uh, Could clean up 4-2, to two, but I'm sure switching 6-4 to four is fine, too. You might actually get to keep double that. double twos breaks the... Breaks oh, he the, cracks. Breaks the seven point. There's basically only one way to play it, too, yeah. Well, unless you Maybe we could, could stay back the on one the 16th. Point. You can jump sure. to the one point. Or stack up the three, but I imagine that he's going to clean up 15 or 16 to 14 instead. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm. Oh, seven to three I is might, a little bit. I might have left. left yeah, a, keeping him back there for the I extra might have contact. Kept him back there because, uh, now I, I would run. I would just run. Uh, yeah, it seems like required. <clears throat> and we can reduce shots by continuing, so sure. And you're, you know, you, you don't have another, you don't have a checker sent back a, 13 pips, but only uh, 11 pips, or mm -hmm. whatever that is. 10 pips. 5-1 almost gets a shot, an indirect anyway. I don't think he wants uh, I it. I don't think he wants to hit with a 5-2 or 6-1. No. A double 6 would be nice. 2-1 two one two one cleans up, beautiful. And double 5 five, five is, is going to Now he block. is going to hit if he rolls an indirect, I believe. Which Could he work. does not do, but he does cover. Six two covering is not too bad. Preparing for the six, the inevitable six five or six six. <laughs> and says, I'll bear off. off. Sure. I'll, I'll peel against the deuce point anchor. Two down here, trying to save yeah. some gammons. Frank yeah. should have an easier than time doing that. Yeah, Ooh, well, Ooh, well, this now. makes it a little harder. <laughs> now it's a, now Ken is happy to have that fifth checker off. Still a favorite to save. I think we just run one. We can't afford to waste any pips. I think way out. Yeah. I would, that's what I would do. I would take the chance on double twos, double ones, two one. Mm-hmm. You might actually get a shot. Much later. Three one could peel two or play from the back. Or there must be a I'd, bunch of deuce shot back. levers. I'd, if I'd we, play from the back. I, yeah. I don't know. And Kent does, even though he has a double. Four or five, six with a block next. Oh, time. how did he play this? Oh, he took one he off. Okay. Four off. I got you. I was thinking two from the four. Now I think you should cross to the five just because. He was actually supposed to peel two. He found a middle play. Oh, oh, he peeled two. All right. Yeah. That was the alternative for me. Yeah. Now he's got to peel two. <laughs> Nothing else. Peel two looks good there. And is this enough to just save the gammon now? I would run. Run like a rabbit. Yeah, we aren't trying to win really with our gappy board. That's my play. Mm -hmm. Should nice be a big favorite well. to save it after that. Yeah. Oh, no longer. 4-4, four, four. not so clear. Yeah, now he saves it about a third of the time, it seems. Five yeah, must be gotta in. Go, he's got to go 11-8. He doesn't have double three to, to save, but he does have double two that way. Mm. So he's got no five help. saving doubles. 
No. Five four, not enough. Not enough. All games ended in gammons today. Eleven six. Some of them are worth four points. A little closer. Eight away, thirteen away. Feels like I'm sure much closer to in reach for Kent here after being 17 away before this game. A strategic break. Short break? Ooh, I'm going to join him. We'll be right back with more of this match in a minute. All right. I will sit here and guard the equipment from the cool. marauders. Okay. Limbo, limbo. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Frank's ahead. they get they get a lot of money maybe yeah. break from this second round of the sunny Florida super jackpot. The legendary Kent Goulding KG versus Frank DiMaggio from New York State. Plays from time to time in New York City with the, 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 big, the big people, the avid New York players. And Kent plays anywhere and everywhere, probably. Kent's coming back from the, coming back to the playing area, and Frank is not, I don't see him anywhere, but I'm sure he'll be back soon. And we will resume. Smash that like button, sports fans. we got on here we got 24 people watching thanks for joining us y'all unless that's not up to date I don't know should refresh it 24 is the number oh cool it looks like uh, other areas of the bracket Joe Urso must have knocked out Petco and he's playing Michi in the background there. Oh, yeah, I see them. Joe Orso has the yellow shirt. We know Roberto advanced elsewhere. Yeah, Roberto beat... Um, I'm not sure who he's playing. Oh, well, what's his name? Uh, Ray Fogelman. Yeah. I forget who he plays in this next round, though. Yeah, I don't know either. Saw that on the board earlier. Bracket should be available online. I think Ian found it somewhere. Where did he say that was? On the USBGF website, yeah. There's a YouTube channel called USBGF Broadcast. No spaces or anything, or just one string of characters. Frank is making his way toward the tournament room, and he'll be sitting down in a moment, and we'll resume. Frank DiMaggio, blue checkers, bottom, 11 points out of 19, he needs 8 points to win, and Kent Goulding, top, white checkers, needs 13. So
So that's a substantial match lead, five points for Frank. True enough. The hand is imperturbable. And we'll just try to apply um, technique and logic to... Uh, With the match lead, he's going to go for the running yeah. play. Okay. So that's right. Seems that's a simplifying play to run with a, an opening 6-4. And now, Kendra's concerned whether he should slot the five point with an ace. Well, I think it, normally, I, I think to... XG is... Now he's going to play a... What, oh. might, what he thinks... He might think it's unfamiliar to Frank, 5-1... Not too far off either. Five one, uh, twenty four to eighteen. This is probably. So I would, I would be te highly tempted to play six to five, thirteen eight, six to five. This must still be okay one. to just make the three point or something like this. But I guess the tempo with the blot in the outfield is okay here too. Yeah, no, I, I would, um, I would probably make the three myself. Eight now threes. I would, the I would, standard blitzing play is I actually quite a bit behind them. Gosh, this is a, this is. And even with the match lead, I do want a cube here, yeah. Yeah, it's probably not too good, so. Yeah, that's more the question, though. 60 yeah, shots. Because he's got another, he's got a check or escape to the 14 point. And, mm -hmm. and Ken's Ken going to take well, it, I'm, though. I'm behind in the match. 216 error there. And yeah, that was right. And it's, but the, the thing is that if he had a blot in the inner board instead of on the 18 point, yeah. Ken might, it would have been an easy take for Ken. Quite a bit I believe different. this is the right play that uh, Frank made. Uh, favors and 24 to 21 for some reason. Oh, 24, yeah. yeah like so, this. yeah, it's a hybrid. He wants to escape. And he does, yeah, okay. So now now Frank is Kent fanned again twice in a row now on a three point. I still board. like checkers in the zone for this. Though. And so he, 13 and he, to 11 seems 13 nice. 13 to, to 11 is nice, but, but Frank elects yeah. to play 11 to 9 to, Very close. to bear on the open four point. He could have got another checker aiming yeah, at the you like to make point. sure now that you hit there. Five two, I believe he's supposed to hit with a two now. Think instead so? of make the four, yes. You don't have to leave a blot in the board, so I would go for the loose hit when down. How far off is making the four though? Not too bad. It's actually only twenty nine wrong. Uh, Wins more by a little bit and doesn't win nearly as many gammons though. So normal score it should be very yeah, clear to hit. And if Frank believes that Kent is a better player than he is, or is playing better today, more accurately, then he should be playing bigger. And now, of course, he, it doesn't matter who this you can are make or the where point you are, this you time. just make the four point. Kent vans again, and now, and now Frank makes the Five point for a five point board brings a builder from the eight to the six point to aim at the open two point, which is proper technique. And now five four, he's he's he can bring another builder in range, thirteen to four. It's nice to keep the sixes and threes close to the board though. Two six from the bar, all guess I got one, brings, twos, in, brings in one checker, and there's a double one that's going to switch three to two nice. twice and then. Just advance from the back at this point, I think. He'd probably come all the way up to the twenty two point. And then even your double fives, which doesn't move that back checker, closes the board. And now Kent's in with a 5-3, and now Frank is hoping for a 5-3. It's a 5-4, so he's going to hit with a 5. And I think he, yeah, he comes down for an extra builder to close his board. And Kent fans. And it's a massive favor to close the board. Double fours does not do so, but it escapes the back checker. It works. So he either goes to the six point or he goes to the, the five and the ten point. And I would do this because. Looks prettier. Yeah, you don't. It, it's safer as well. Three, four, a beautiful can cover. four, three. Beautiful to six, five, four distribution of spares on top of the closed board. And Ken has got not. He's not done anything except. Two, this could two, take two a checker off, but bar. maybe we could also play super safe and just play them both in the back. I would play super safe because I think you're going to win a gammon whenever yeah, six, you three, don't three, get five, hit. Four, a little better. So I think this is the best double one. Yeah. And this uh, these three two is just going to clear his six point. He should not, because otherwise he's playing for the back gammon, and then that's against yeah. two checkers. On, tough on to the do bars. against two checkers. Very though, tough. Yeah. The okay. trouble is you might you might lose you might you know. some chance of saving the gammon there, but still yeah. tough work for uh, Kent. It's going to be tough. Uh, I think Even maybe Kent sixes. could have, with, with slightly more accuracy, could have 
moved to Checker was seven point. Hmm. But it's like, if there's any difference at all, it's got to be tiny. And I don't know which one would have been better, but I, w I would have personally gone to the seven. But And two, I would have gotten eight to six. Mm -hmm. So that's 13 to 11. Again, there's like essentially no difference between. He got a crossover. He didn't waste any Baron pips. And now he's going to go. He's going to cross twice. And Frank might have. Uh, it's at least, to, you know, again, it's like a no swing for Frank and essentially none for. Can't. Now it's. That'll do it. It's gammon. 100% gammon. <laughs> so Kent got gammon there for four, and now four away for Frank DiMaggio. Scary score Kent for Goulding. your opponent to be at. Still going to have a hard time sending the cube. But taking and sitting on it is kind of exciting, especially if you can get into a gammonish position. Yeah, we might see some super back games here. Yeah. And Kent starts with a 6 2. Now he, I wouldn't turn past him to play 13 to 5, but. Not a bad play there. Either. Either. I don't think he would play 13 7, 6 4. 3 1, like just a real the points, yeah, but he's going to consider hitting. But Kent played a normal 6-2, and now 3-1, he should just make his five-point, and he does. I think hitting actually wins more gammons when you're the trailing player there. 5-3 uh, can just clean up mostly, but... He says, I'll, make, I'll make a point. This is not so bad with the score. A second point to count. Yeah, a little bit better to do that. 6-2 yeah, is going to hit, though. I think play B would have been either safe or... Yeah. I guess we can kill the six from the bar by cleaning up seven. I, I, I would just lift just the block. Down. I mean, I, I mean, uh, Mate would yeah, well, hit. Mate's yeah. back to shares inside. Yeah, he, about he hitting. already have hit. You see. Okay, it's a good play, Mate. Thank you. Seven Thank to one. You. Mate, no. fair, everybody. Seven to one is illegal. There we go. So he's, his his decision is whether to lift the block seven to five, which Nick Blazer and I are saying we would do, and Frank does do it, or he could have okay. left the bar point slotted and, and moved. 13 to 11, trying to make a four point prime. 4 I two would, to I cover. Would, I would send the dice. You would send the dice. <laughs> I, would, I would roll, I want to roll 64 pips in the race. Send them. Send the dice. Yeah, so oh, we got a blitz Frank now. Frank is going to okay. say, I double, did I double five blitz work so well last time? I'll try it again. Unfortunately, won't be able to double, I don't think. To, okay, the anchor saves all these thoughts, but. Uh, if he stayed on the bar, I guess. if I were blue, I would just play on and yeah. hope to win a gammon, luckily. Yeah. Yeah, 13 7 was my play. Least blots. Yeah. Apparently, a little better to slot the five. Interesting. Oh. Well. All right, does this just keep going? No, we need an outfield landing point to get this midpoint home, don't we? I like this play. Yeah, I, I do too. He's a bit, Kent's a bit stripped outside. So. They're actually like super tied. But, um, yeah, okay, so now Kent's going to go 8 4, 8 7 is my prediction. That seems nice. Yep, no shots in well, the front. Well, that's a good point. Shot outside. Because now Frank has got a problem. You know, he's got, do, do I leave a blot outside? Do I go 13? It just makes it two. Why not? Yeah. Well, because. I mean, four four is going to get closer in the race, but still down. So he needs to keep contact somehow. Maybe just seventeen to nine is an instinctual play that would kind of help both those game plans. Yeah, I would do that. I got a broken four prime in front of that, a doubly broken four prime in front of that anchor. Mm -hmm. And you got, yeah. So this is. Um, and what is, what is the race actually? It's going to be uh, down seven after the play. Yeah. 122. Keen says 1311. Okay, thank you. 29 and 26 is 115. Yeah, seven pips. Yeah. So what, is, what does XG say? Yeah, I feel like XG has been right, right about the pip count XG like most of the time. Yeah, I believe. No, so I'm not talking about the pip count. I'm talking about the play. Yeah. Oh, I did it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, 17 and 9 it likes. Yeah, cool. it likes this. Okay, I like yeah. it too. So. Next candidate would be 9 and 2. You can develop yeah, the Yeah, 9 six. and 2 is the... Yeah, that, for me, that was, for me, that was play B. Uh, 
I think he should just clear the nine point. I think so too. He could have switched from the six point, but then. Not sure we want to make that doesn't, our... that doesn't. That the, the, the it's actually slightly better to, better to do that. Interesting. So Keep now I think I might, if I'm Ken, I might make the four point. Well, I still can. But Ken says no blocks, baby. He still has Keep the point. a four point board. I kind of like this too. Yeah. Play safer. Yeah, that's it, best it, play. Nine four is close. Yeah. So now he should play thirteen. Uh, 13-7 and think of a four. And I think I would make the three point. Yeah. There he goes, yeah. Five point board, a little too scary to like hit without cleaning up those blots, so usually not gonna hurt. Four one, for example, I don't think can He'd do probably it. probably break the seven point and make the three. Reasonable, yeah. I mean we could just play the eights and keep two. everything in place. But. Well this is I, I would I don't know. I, I, I don't I don't see the seven points being better to break valuable seven. enough to. Yeah. And now, okay, he can. Now, since he can't avoid a direct board. shot, he'll leave a few more numbers to be hit, and he will uh, make a, a he closes board. And now, Ken has nothing, no blot free number except to break the nine point. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Frank still with a nine pip lead before the roll, so I think safety is a nice priority here. Yeah, run away. And he'll be looking for an opportunity to leave the 20. Just now is not it with the board and everything. Yeah, like and, that. and Canada's got a bunch of numbers that leave indirect shots or the like, you know. And, and that closed board, as long as Frank can hold on to it, is a good incentive for uh, Kent to play safe. I think I want to make blots in board, but we're going to be tempting uh, Frank to leave for sure then. Yeah, it's tempting to. To play 17 16 and 7 4. Yeah, 7 Because you leave four, a, you leave a, a 6 to... 5 and a double 4 as lot numbers, as I mean, hitting numbers. You can just play 17 to 13 as XG's preferred play, actually. Oh, 17 to 13, is that fewer? That, leaves a, that it's duplicates just three, a double five and 4. four, four. It duplicates a double 4, but it leaves a 5 3. And that's it. That's three numbers. Okay, yeah. so that's the answer. Three numbers. Yeah. I didn't immediately see that that only left three numbers. Five, three, and four, four. Yeah. But four, four hits twice. Yeah. But anything that gets hits once incurs a risk, a great risk to hit twice over the next few rolls. Still so basically break even to just play seven, four, two, one instead. Okay. No shots is. Yeah. No shots is a good incentive to play. Yeah. Some. Uh, plus plus one, like seventeen, thirteen, a little more. So Ken is thinking, okay, yeah, so this was this is what play. I thought yeah. would, at first would be right. Oh, 5 1. All right, so now he can works. play. I think he's he got to come he out. Can, he can play. Yeah, he can come out. I would come out because Breaking our board is it's very unlikely costly. he'll be closed out and then gammoned. Yeah, no, and he says, all right, I'm going to play. Out. I'm going to not. He doesn't want to get. So now Kent should probably That's just... That's the difference between being a favorite and not being a favorite there. Yeah, uh, yeah, really right. Swing. That's right. So Doing the seven to cover, I think, is best So you can't, you can't be too shy when you yeah. have a closed board and you're putting it as a three-and-a-half point board. Five, and two. Then, okay, now that we've started it, I think we've got to stay He's safe. happy he saved the five, but yeah. he doesn't have any more spares until, unless he has to break his board or his anchor. No and longer have the protection six, of that five. perfect six point board against just the three. And now will he board. leave a six five shot? I think he will. I think he should play seventeen to six. Yeah, outfield coverage seems a little and he more does. important. Still down twelve pips in he the race. He wants double four, double five, six five. But a lot of wastage on Frank's side too, so the race is getting better while we do all this as well. Six one, five six to one four. Six one cracks. Five to four. Yeah. Now Ken is going to consider, Ken is probably going to double right. I don't know. I double this. I double that. He's still down in the race. I I double it. I don't care. I, <laughs> I I'd see what what uh, what Frank is made of. <laughs> Does he want to take? Does he want to take? I think at so. the score. I feel like it. What's with what a, with a four point board and with the possibility of leaving two blots. Yeah, I don't see a lot of gammons in this. So I, it I don't see like a lot, but I see I see a, some that might scare my opponent. Interesting. Yeah, it's like a break-even cube, actually, too, okay. but 450 take. Five to one. Three one, yeah, we've uh, decided our plan here, so we're, we're just picking up lots, I think. 
now I think maybe. Well, we cover with the two. Maybe. Or cover with the five. I don't know. I like the spare on the six. I like the I like the uh, outfield assassin though too. Yeah, keeping that in place is kind of nice. So we could cover with both and leave it out there, but yeah, it feels but a little strange to bury six to ace, you know? Yeah. Yeah, better to just play 16 to 11 with it. The race is getting important now because it's it's relatively close. Um, and, and thanks <coughs> to all the Sorry. racing, bring so it closer in. <coughs> no, I'm good, thanks. Is there any chance that there are I mean, less shots the stream, staying? We could come out... We get directs when we get hit with the six, yeah, but they all yeah, lift yeah, too, yeah, okay. so maybe so, not. So, so, so 20, 20, 25, sure and, 25 and three yeah. is 28 shots. This way there's a, oh. this way there's a. XG doesn't care because you're passing. 20, yeah, there's 26 shots or whatever, 20, 24 there, um, four, three there. We'll see if Frank finds the pass here now. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be taking this. This is too many damn shots. And gammon and gammons. Yeah, there are actually fifteen percent gammons here now that he cracked and came out this way with the busted yeah. board. But the race is still close, okay, he's gonna let it go. Yeah, he missed the opportunity to break that twenty point and mm -hmm. mix things up. Four away, twelve away. Yeah, well, more more excitement. Just a recube and a backgammon for Kent, right? And then we're there? Yeah, he can backgammon. A backgammon four cube. Oh. If Kent wins a backgammon with a Q on four, that's the match. That's got to be the plan. So he's in range. It's like the, the tying run is on deck or something. <laughs> even. So Kent, of course, plays an aggressive you may need a grand slam over. to get it in. But yeah. Now Frank ought to split. The conservative play is to split with a. Oh, well, he splits with a two. This is not bad. It's probably play B or something at sure. the score. And Frank Kent is probably going to cover with a six and hit with a three. Yep, there he goes. He's got a better board. He's behind in the match by a lot. And Frank says, ha ha, I'm going to make a point of my own somewhere. He did make this 4-4 a little bit worse, though. I guess maybe all four to the four could be a play here. You mean three to the four? Yeah, all three to the four. Yeah, or he could play and he could play nine twice and six, or he could play... You can make the two from the ten. I hate making a six stack, but a two the, and a bunch of outfield the, blocks could work, two. too. Well, but but that that actually only, if he makes a two, he's only has, he only has the back checkers as a box. You yeah. go ten to, ten to two, six to two. Ten, two, six, two is the winner. Yeah. None of them look very intuitive, though. This is I mean, probably ten, I've seen ten to two and six to two. Things like I'd be right before, so... Right. I now I now know that it's possible for it to be right. Versus, sure. Versus utterly despicable. So. <laughs> so now he should just probably cover the three point. Yeah, it reaches. Why not? No real need to split into this structure here. So Ken should be happy to sit on his twenty four point for quite a while. Six four. Does this link up anywhere? Away, not no, quite. it goes to the eleven. Makes it around though. Yeah, sure. Small racing lead for Frank. 5-4 hits, that's a reason to lead for 24. And Ken's missing uh, cubes on the way here with the board advantage and the fly shots. And a fan, and I think he's probably going to have lost his market after this sequence. Did XG say he should have cubed before this roll? The two rolls before. Two rolls and now before, he's too good, yeah. actually. Yeah, I, I was thinking he might be too good just because he, 100 he could good. always cash. Or, or he could cash a lot if, he, if things yeah. go badly. Like it, like let's Frank's say a Frank anchors or something, but but Ken cashes. Sure. So could be. Uh, How Kent big was the margin like of conservative of play to uh, make sure he gets to play more backgammon too, cashing games that are close decisions, things like that. Well, there's always a chance that, that Frank would make some flaky take. You know? Sure. It's not like it's he's you're not like you you think he will, but you think yeah. Even a small chance. That's a will. score. He can probably still play two down there. I, I'm sure this is fine as well. Now, now this is a common mistake. Is to is to play is to run with the six four and make your two point. Yeah. I will say though that with a big lead, a, a play like this is more likely to be right. Twenty nine shy. Six four can just make its way around. Unfortunately, yeah, he can, he the can best. Make his way around, or he can make his uh, twenty anchor. If he makes the 20, he has to volunteer. I don't yeah, see yeah, why we no, want to do well, that with the racing lead. Well, 
Yeah, uh, but that is better, actually. But, but it's, it's actually, it's, 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 it's good for uh, mixing things up and complicating as well. Sure, sure. But now, okay, well, this is now good you got for, a simple game plan. This is, yep. yeah, this is a simple a simple game plan. It's, 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 it's strong, though. So, may, so now, Start two what, points. Should, what should Frank do? Interesting. He, I could would just slot, he could start his four point and do this with three. Go with yeah. 13 times. Or he could just bring a, a second checker down. All of them are going to be pretty close. Or the he could, contact's or not he in could go imminent. up to the 22, but then he has to count the race. So one, uh, one, 145. He's down eight after the point. 145, um, 137. Yeah, it is eight. So. But it's not so bad. So this would have been a, a worse number because it would have been an indirect shot. But now Morrison he's just going to play safe. Nice. He's ahead in the race by 15 with Frank on roll. Should Frank stay put? I make think a board probably point. so and make the four point. Yeah. And if he's going to escape, he should wait maybe for a natural escape all the way. He chooses to run is, the, Yeah, he's behind the race, though. Yeah, by running to a like losing race hits. doesn't tend to be the idea. But it's not, you know... It, and its favors don't get damaged much, and you it's, you simplify your game plan. But against it is your you know your your racing one behind. You're making a bad theoretical move, mm -hmm. and, you, and Ken, Ken doesn't have any board yet. And if Frank stays put, he might get the occasional indirect shot, or hopefully later direct shot. And Ken, and Ken's going to take Ken that double. He says, "All sure. right, I've got a hybrid. I can." I might hit and cover. Yeah. Or I he has might, market loss there, I'm yeah, sure. It's a nice borderline die. cube. Easy take for Frank. But it's not, but it, it, as a whole, it's not gammonish. Yeah. And Very I'm true. not sure that Ken wants to gamble it up. I'm not. I'm not sure that 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 tenth point for Kent is as valuable as that seventeenth for. Very true. Very true. If you look at the increment. Yeah. Of equity. But I, I, I don't know, but I'm just, I would, have, I would not have doubled in Kent's position there. So we got 108 for white, and 124 for No real blue. contact here, so just maximizing race regardless. Yeah, so it's, so Kent is, Kent is happy he doubled now, it would have been doubling, would have doubled in. Happy to and break contact, point. given that he's ahead in the race. Yeah. Six four gets a little closer, but not enough. I think he should go ten to four with a six. Yeah, we need some checkers on the four for distribution yeah. here. Yeah, the ideal distribution for non wastage of fifteen checkers in the airboard is five on the, the seven on the six, five on the three, and three on the four. So in bearing in, you you want to aim for that structure because. You're going to come down to a pip count similar to that position I just mentioned. And if you do come down to that pip count, you want to be in a position where you waste as few pips as possible. Bearing off, you don't, that means using higher numbers than, than necessary to bear off the checker. Like Kent, getting getting, getting a, five, to come in. a five point off of the six. Or so six this is just five, a standard race. Kent, are, Kent's rolled a double five, so he's a big favorite. And now Kent rolls a six three. And a 5-4 is good for uh, Frank. Not good it enough. doesn't too matter too much what he play, how he plays it. This is fine. He could have played 11 to 6, 9 to 5 or something too. We're almost at that ideal Barrow position. Doesn't matter too much. With that three, I would have played nine to six myself. Kent rolls a small double one, but he's got a bunch off already. And he's got way fewer pips, and six two doesn't even bear off. Guess. Six to four or four to two is about the same. With, with, as far six as I'm to four concerned. seems to keep most sets working, so that'd be my instinct, but sure. Yeah. Three to one is something. Three to one is bad. Not too but bad. It's not, I mean, the equity right. swing isn't big because Frank does not have much of a winning chance from here anyway. But I would have done that too anyway. 
Before this roll, he's up 16, he's up 19 with Frank on roll. He's up 15. <laughs> Now Frank, now Frank shouldn't waste time. He's got plenty of bank. I don't think either of them are any time risk, but yeah, uh, I guess I guess not. Yeah. You know. Six four seems like it makes a lot of sense there. Again, a bunch of bunch of sets that work. Now five to two is better than six to three in that position. Interesting. For 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 APC. Yeah. I studied it a while, hmm. you know, many decades ago or whatever. <laughs> now he's more at risk of uh, wasting a pip with a six. Interesting. Yeah. That's the main reason. Got it. It's not as smooth, you know. You've got two, yeah. two, two, and one, and you had one, three, two, one in distribution and numbers of checkers on points. An ugly, ugly, suggly, wiggly. Now two to the five is probably right. I think so. Because you, you got seven checkers left, and you cater to three off them, double fives. And now Getting grim. All right, still well, it's still, an it's still possible, but Kent has to start with an ace here. Yeah. She doesn't, so. That'll do it. Okay, now it is 10 points for Kent and 15 for. Four way, nine away. Yeah, four way, nine away to be more succinct. So five to nothing to nine. Looking for Kent to continue his aggressive ways. Not sure why he doesn't want to split here. Interesting. I, I think he probably doesn't like the play. Now, the, now the XG would have recommended 24 to 22 with that deuce instead of coming down with a second builder. Gets the hit back, even but with Frank, the third check Frank on the 24 two with it. Frank on his 10, 11, and Kent hit one, and Frank came in and hit one back, and now Kent just Five, three. I guess we can, uh, reinforces, reinforces his eight. eight point. I like that very much myself. Double two is a good two. number. Maybe we make the 22 with it? Yep. Four and 22 with a double two. Classic Hard to get Gammon with the 22 point. Smack O on the 15 the point. Yep. And a five two. I would, we could make the 20 or you can hit loose on the three. Making the 20 looks pretty strong when our opponent has the four point if made. You're, if you're, a, if if you're leading the batch, yeah, I would. But he's would. way down in the race, so that yeah, maybe I mean, points towards I hitting. If I were behind, if I were in Kent's shoes, I would hit loose. If I were in Frank's shoes, I might just wimp out and make the 20 anchor, but. 20's a little better. Yeah. And Kent's saying, I'm gonna build for open points and set everything loose. Yeah, those are really can't close fault, options. Can't Six fault to two. that too much. And then now that we have two anchors. I guess we can yeah, play yeah, eleven. I guess seven we can try fine. to make the try to improve his anchor, or, but gets pointed on. And now he's gonna he's gonna face a double very soon. I, I predict, or a play on followed by a double, or a play on followed by a gammon. I would okay. So Frank likes his chances I don't I don't yeah it's a take even at the score oh a take at the score well all 44. right so does, oh. does Frank know how to he's doing well he's got 56 pips of timing all right so this is the Decent play board. this is the play that I would make as Ken build for the nine and the seven and that's all right so there we now we got to switch away from the I think we got to switch away from the back end yeah, that would be down to 44 pips of timing, so making the bar point seems very nice. Yeah, and then just escape the other the other checker. From sure, the, and we can kind of simplify and wait. Yeah. yeah, looks pretty reasonable. Kent's still happy to have doubled, I think. 
Yeah, yeah, it was a fine double. Is he going to have? Like is he going to have? Uh, is he going to have? Uh, Oh, he's going to find Oh, now, okay, he's okay. having fantasies of aggression. Fantasies of aggression. In other words, he, he makes his board when he's only got um, eight in the zone instead of escaping his other back checker to the 13 point, which was a spectator was commenting on my comment. Um, three, and three, now what's I would make the 10. This? I just make the 10 and uh, just play safe. And you know, to eight. Yeah, just play not? safe like this. Yeah. I don't see anything stronger. It's a landing spot for the midpoint. Five, four, okay, five, now let's, let's, go, let's go to the 18 while you still can. You don't want to get... He says, I want... Four doesn't look good I'm going to make though. my board. Yeah. And Kent says, all Small right. mistake this time. I, I guess I'm going to have to... What's he going to do? He's going to go... Ten, he's going to move... Uh, he's got to leave a shot already, so he's got to play... forced. He's got to play... He's going to play 10 to 4 and oh, 8 to 5. What am I talking about? 10 to 4 and 8 to 5, or 10 to 1, but I would play 10 to 4, 8 to 5. That probably gets the closest to Switching home, yeah. to the two point looks bad. Flat out bad. Yeah, we'd have to volunteer a double shot to clear the mid now. We can maybe make that easier by by attacking the block behind later. That's so reason I think I like it's play. reasonable to clear the midpoint, even, even yeah. in the face of a, a Only more 44 shots. 44 behind, yeah. So he's got uh, 15 hitting numbers, of which double one is not one. Now he's got um, to yeah. advance his back checker. Very important to and say. Think about that the up. other three, which is probably six to five twice, two to one, or something weird. The other three are not pleasant. Yeah. Which might lead him away from it again. Yeah. Oh, he said, yeah, you're right. He, he's led away from it. Well, let's, I wouldn't be too surprised this right, but I wouldn't do it. 22 okay. off. 22 off. Yeah. All right. Okay, now oh, he's regretting that he doesn't have the timing to play around without breaking points. Oops. It's not going so poorly for him, though. No, 10 to, 10 to 1 is forced. Yeah. Virtually forced. <coughs> but he does the old flip, flip the checker over on top of where you're going to go in the general area. There's a nice one. Now he's got this extra one out. Now he's got a little timing. He's got a four-point board. And Kent is, this is one of those, pay me now. And he's really, there's really no alternative. This is minimizing shots. Yeah. He had to play eight to two. Even when hit, though, there's a lot of life afterwards. So. Yeah. What is... I what, suggest 12 to 11. To make sure we don't get hit on fly shots so often. Yeah, it's only leaving right. And, and Mate hits, okay. I, I'm suggesting 12 to 11 so he can concentrate on escape more safely than otherwise. Because mm -hmm. otherwise you'd say, all right, I'm, I'm gonna, I have a few more ways to make my six point, but only a few, and, but, uh, but it doesn't count for much because you, yeah. you have more ways to be hit, you only have two ways to be hit. Now a five one, I would just go to the mid to 12 point. Yeah, none of these plays are particularly Because when, when you get hit, unless it's double six, which is a killer, then, then you, um, then you have a direct shot back. And this is like, well, you want to, I mean, the 11 point is a long-term building power. Mm -hmm. you get, this is a few more ways to make something, but it's not, that's not worth much. You're, you're more concerned with getting your back Probably checkers going. So now I would make the eight and go 18 to 16. I mean, you got to start moving those back checkers for control. Afraid to give him up, I, though, I so would, he's going to well, cap I on his position. I wouldn't just, I, you know, you have to start moving. He's not going to keep fanning yeah. forever. Hopping to the outfield with a six Ooh. is a big risk. Ooh. Ooh. Is it hopping. time to leave the 22? Yeah, I suppose so. Yes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, just go, uh, just, just don't go to the 10 point, just go to the 14. I would go to the 14 and hope for, uh, hope to clear the 18 in some good way. Mm -hmm. Give myself a well. You'd have you'd have um. So you give yourself a double four to uh, make the six. But the other way, you give yourself you give yourself. Imagine we're just slotting uh, a four two. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I agree. Loose hits in board aren't so comfortable for Frank, but he might need to do it with the big racing deficit. Six five does nothing. Gonna have yeah, to fourteen to three. I guess this. Yeah, only leaves indirects, that should yeah, be fine. It it's quite a few. Yeah, five, oh yeah. Five numbers. Two blots on board. Five numbers and two blots on the board. And mm -hmm. 
and uh, and nothing hits and covers. Four four hits, but it four, can't four, cover. Well, he can he can switch to the one point. But he I think says, that's what he's going to do. He says no. He's going to he's going to he's going to go for the bananas. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I think switching to the one point seemed pretty key there. Yeah, XG really liked the switch. Now he just, I guess he just covers the one from the, well, he could, he could cover from the five, or he could go mm. six to two, three to one, or he could. Maybe covering from the five is a little better here. It's all right, week. it's all right, it's more shots. We leave the gap higher, though. And so long term, it should be nicer to have, it's not four, the deeper It's four contact. shots versus two, but it's more, mm -hmm. it's a better structure. Yeah. You, you, you bear off faster. <laughs> I, I would, I, yeah, I would switch from the five. The distribution just looks really awkward. Just the four that we have to play along with three days is why I would like to make that. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, and you know, if you, it's a more, it's a probably it's safer, probably for the long term, safer as well. Almost a little tied. bit. Still a little bit better what? to play six two three one. Interesting. Oh, it likes this better. Okay, well, well, you don't want to be hit. And yeah. You the scorer argues for, the scorer I guess, doesn't particularly argue either way, but oh Ouch. well. Clears that was points. bad in any case, I suppose. Yeah. Shots here hurt eight, a little bit. Eight shots. Of which four, four one, one is not. One Six two is a blot now we're number. Back to maybe you win it again. Three two is a minor blot number. He can stay put and leave eight. He could advance three and move two, which would leave. Um, Strategically, ten. it feels that would leave automatic ten. to get closer. I would do to this. Home. I would do this. Yeah. Because I, I, I move three pips closer and I leave two more shots than if I stay put. Mm -hmm. So that's usually a good trade. And it's a good trade for cleaning up from here. Yeah. Your worst number is going to be uh, double fives. And your second worst is going to be three two. Eight. Well, three two is worse than double fives. So. Yeah, yeah. Three, three two. And, and this, this leaves you. Um, 11, 11 shots against you and more, less, fewer ways to safety. So I, this is, it's not close, I'd, I'd leave it on the eight. I'd leave it on the eight, I wouldn't leave it on the 11. I'd leave, I'd, I'd leave 10 shots here versus 11 on the nine versus uh, eight on the 11. Two one, get a miss. Two one is bad. Still can't four, get four to one. Yep. No reason to leave a direct. Thir Thirteen time. shots, but I wouldn't leave a direct. There must be a lot of other shot levers afterwards, though. Yeah, it's actually a mistake. You need to play eight to six. I was just noticing. Oh, eight like to six and one off. Is that? It? Is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, because yeah, you get one off now. Now Kent's on the gammon. On the gammon try. So four in and s no, no four in and six cross. Not not. No, no, oh. Duplicate, you duplicating lines, you're crossing close. two. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you cross, you know, so 6-3 so should go to the, uh, this is fine, and then either this or 14-11 is good too. I don't know. This is not too important anymore, how you cross. But that duplication, see, the duplication of the crossing two is not good, right? Mm -hmm. And he might have actually played 14, 10, 8, 7 or something weird. He would have had to calculate, but now he's got to cross twice somehow. And it's not clear if this, if, if going to the 11 is better. He uses all the pips, so I would have been. And that's a gamma. That's a gamma. Yeah. There we go. We got a really close match that's now. That's a gamma. Yeah. Yeah. 14 to 15. Wow. Four away, five away. Yeah, yeah. It was right. Yep. These are the scores I wrote about. He was up 11 to 2 at one point. Well, now it's close. Now, so we get the excitement as Nick predicted earlier. <laughs> A long, exciting match. Yeah. 19 point matches are usually long and often exciting because there's so much backgammon to them. A 2 for Frank and a 2 for Kent. The cube goes automatically to 2. No, just kidding.
Ooh, a 4-2 for Frank. Four away versus five away, so the four away player can offer aggressive gammonish doubles if, if the position gets like that. The five away player does not want to make an aggressive double unless the five away player's position is gammonish. He can somewhat. I mean, there's yeah, still yeah. the lack of recube. So there's a lack of recube, but, but then there's, you know, there's the, the value of getting four versus the, versus yeah. for the four away versus the five away is, yes. is greater for the four away. I think they both end up sending aggressively. Yeah, so, so in, in gamage positions, they both wish to be aggressive, but in non gamage positions, the trailer wishes to be less aggressive than the leader. I believe, I believe that's right. Mm. But if you know more than me, then <laughs> please tell me. Um, so now we are hoping for double ones for Mr. But that's a l crummy looking. Developing strangely with neither of them splitting. I think uh, maybe lifting's okay here. I really don't want to get hit against the four You can play, you can just. Yeah, I had in the race, so let's just hope to do something and later. Any run. Not only nice. that, but Kent has got an inflexible position. Mm -hmm. He's got five on his midpoint and two on his 24. Yeah. Just and four and three? A, a four point board, yeah, four and three for me. The, the other thing Feels is you, weird. You, you could go like a nine and 11, but you're leaving three blots and you know, yeah. you're significant gammon danger. Feels like all the hits are very costly in this position. Yeah, six, two, one, three, any four. So Frank says, all right. And Kent says, no double. Not gammonish enough yet. Yeah. He says, I don't want to break my anchor against the raft of builders Rolls, down there. 3-1, yeah. Plus he's down in the race, four, so yeah, he has, four, two, uh, he can wait on Now I've got a four point board too. So Kent's happy to sit on the 24 point and make Frank be the one to break. So Kent's probably just gonna go 13-6, yeah. Yeah. Versus leave a lot of fly shots, just a lot give of fly Frank shots, an excuse to leave. Fly shots or whatever. And four two, now I think Frank is gonna do this. I would, I would not, I, I wouldn't hesitate. The A2, but I fine. wouldn't hesitate here because you've got some potential. Yeah. And now I believe 13-10, 1310 duplicate at least it duplicates a 6-3 heading and a double three oh, is mm. good no matter what. So it, there's some duplication. Now 6-2 is not great no matter what. It's, it, it's, it's a good hitting number, but you don't want to start stacking checkers up. And now, well, that means he makes his bar point. Yeah. That's a pretty huge shot. Really needs a six or a three soon. Does he see it? Because he's looking. He's looking, looking, looking. Mm -hmm. Will Frank DiMaggio see that he can make his bar point? It's scary when a player looks and looks and looks and doesn't make what looks like a natural play. But now he sees it and he makes the bar. Okay. A case of delayed noticing, maybe. 4-2. Oh. Doesn't accomplish a lot for, uh, for Kent here. What's the best he can make of this? Well, he can make his nine. Yeah, it doesn't really look worth much, though. So I'm inclined and to keep my midpoint and keep the sixes blocked. Well. Double threes as well, so we so can play could, nine, you five, could, ten, eight. You, you could do that, true, yeah. It's all right. And um, we're just trying to wait for uh, But Frank it's only two builders lead. for the bar point, so Ken is thinking about this. You could leave five shots, five shots out there, but double threes would be duplicated. Sixes are great too, though, you know? And so boxcars is, is better, yeah. way better, in fact, yeah. This is best play, though. Okay. So, yeah, and he's three, he has three builders for, for his bar and for his four. Mm -hmm. And Frank has to decide. 3-1. I think he's got to go for it, doesn't he? I don't know. He's, he's not a favorite to cover. Well, he's a favorite to cover, but he, he pays for it. To cover? Oh, I mean if he goes 8-5. Oh, you mean the split. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this seems like yeah, automatic. Yeah, the split. We just yeah, have no time. yeah, yeah. Because otherwise you have to start breaking things. And yeah. You don't want to. Yeah, so, so if... Is the position volatile enough and strong enough for Kent to offer a cube after split with a three and three to two with a one? I don't think it's that sensitive of a score, but there's going to be a big swing on the next roll for sure. So maybe just on the volatility, it's fine in the same sense that it would be for money. But when he closes the point, he still has two checkers uh, close behind quite yeah, a bit now of structure. This, is, a lot of this is pathologically safe. I, w I think that bar point is too valuable to give up, and I think yeah. this is a double right here. Yeah, this is just, uh, there's no timing for the it's ace. Just we're a, just it, it's yeah. just a real, a lot of things can go wrong. Mm -hmm. 
It's actually still shy of a cube, but I beat shy of a cube, but there's a bluff value. Oh, with the plus plus, it came down. It went from there's like a strong, almost a there's blunder. There's a strong bluff bluff value. A blunder yeah. blunder not to double. It went from almost a blunder to double to like break even decision. On break plus even plus, decision. Yeah. yeah, and and. But so and this the, feels the like market loss about, already. The thing, yeah, it, well, it's at least market loss. And, I think we have to play you know, safe. It's a, it's bad because what is he going to do? He's going to just go, yeah, stack his checkers up and. What are you hoping for? A double out? Or are you hoping for a? He he plays on and then you Here get double sixes or something. Or? And it's almost too good. You're right. I think he made the right play with four three anyway, but yeah. But I thought it was bad to it was bad to uh, mm -hmm. it was bad to uh, give we up. We have an exciting scoreline here now. Lots of fun things can happen with the cube at four way four way. Both players have the perfect one gammon value, so as soon as there's gammons for either side, disproportionately, we can send cubes earlier. Have to pass a little earlier when we're behind. Yeah, there's a countervailing thing that um, it applies mostly to non-gammonish positions, which is that the uh, take point of a recube is higher the than oh, yeah. usual. It's like one third or something. So yeah, yeah this, is the, this is the money play is to, to slot and apply with a six one, making the bar point with a two, slot with a two one. It's right by like 0 0.02, 0 0.03 or something like that. It's, yeah. it's not that close, but 0 0.03 maybe is the Right, closest, still right at the score yeah. too. And this score would be the same, right? So now, does he hit or does he does he uh, cover? I, I, you're, normally you hit, so. Yeah. And this looks pretty threatening already. Yeah, so, right, he's got a lot of return shots. Sixes, fours, and twos, and there's a, there's a great return shot, one six. And Kent has a great, that's, I guess, I suppose he anchors up. Yeah. And we could clean up, but I mean, it's just so nice to have that and not worry about it. It's still ahead in the race. Do I, do I care about my advanced anchor? Yes, I do. Okay. I think he's right to care. Mm -hmm. And there's a 3-1. He says, shall I hit or shall I make my 10 points? And Getting I shall seems hit. nice when you're down in the race here. Yeah. Turns that around. And the twos is beautiful. Making the four point or hitting. Yeah. He says, I'm just going to hit. He didn't even. With all he, the blots around, he, that he, seems he, pretty strong. He thought it was right. He didn't even, he said, I'm not even going to think about it. It's pretty close. Oh, and gets a fan? Yeah, this is going to be a very strong cube. With and three back, can he still play this? Yeah. It's only a direct five. There's only three back. We still have an anchor. I'd probably play it, yeah. but. Uh, Maybe at the score, you can let go, though. I don't know. Yeah, it's, 13 it's, pass. Oh, wow. Right so on the borderline. Uh, yeah, nice uh, find. Yeah, it was, it was, it, he did pass quickly. Uh, And 13 is a lot, is a big margin. Pretty sharp pass. Four-way, three-way. Frank gets to get in the aggressive cubes. Yeah. Four down. I think one still splits here, though. I believe. He's going to go for the slot instead, OK? Use the score to decide that, I guess. Four should, now, does, does actually like the three down or the three up? At that score, at the That's score. a good question. I think three up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. By so a it's, amount. so a little known, a little known trick is to, when you hit a slotted five point with a four three, you can bring yeah. both checkers up. Mm -hmm. And oh, so Kent is fan. Six six from the bar. Ooh, we six should, six from the bar is, is three uh, back. I guess we have nothing with really, no better board. Yeah, point. I we should pause and think. Now he could. Yeah, now he could hit a second checker, or he could just with three back his buying board. timing structure. I don't, I don't see the, the loose hit on the ace. I don't know. 24, no, 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 no I'm, yeah. I'm saying 24, 15. That was much better to get the third checker back right. moving, yeah. Um, yeah, Marcy. I'm so, I thought, I did, well, I, pro I had promised her earlier, but I forgot about it. She reminded me, I'm sorry. But you, if you want to take, three, three if you want to bet anything on with us, the back checkers, you, you could make a Marcy's four prime. Sniping. Maybe just attacking is fine, though. So then you'll have some Eight equity. to two. And I promise I'll, I'll send you an XG file with comments in it about the Yeah, my, well, I didn't, I, I saw it, I only saw it like lately because I've been really busy and stuff like that. And my, my one phone is all messed up. My other phone is not. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I just, I'm talking on mic here. So I apologize for talking to my friend on, on mic. Uh, 
Frank. Marty, Marty the uh, clueless man. Good yeah. find by Frank. 6-6 six, six fan. Kent doesn't realize he shouldn't fan against a This looks board. like a strong double here. Did we miss this potentially? I don't know. The three this, back? This, yeah. this from here, you mean? I don't know. It's Maybe. It's, it's a little bit. He's got three back against two, and Kent has a better... Uh, a better yeah, it's way shy. He's not even a favorite. So he should yeah. run with a 6-5. And he's, the structure is better. He's right to keep it in the middle, and yeah. Kent... Again, he fans. Now it's getting, at least it's getting close. Yeah, we're still shy here with uh, not having solved the 24 point at all in the Empire structure. Now he could he could either run or he could make the bar. Yeah, which solves more? Maybe running. I don't. Yeah, running is attractive. This is attractive yeah. too. Now this is way behind doing something with the back checkers. We're out of uh, time to make plays like this. So I guess we're not if you if you've got a structural weakness. Yeah. He partly repaired it with a 6-4. Now he should 100% run. There's no no double hitting, no single hitting, just run. Misses a cube there, finally. He missed a cube, okay. Because he had smaller. such a, he had yeah. great attacking chances. Is why yeah, the gamins are much higher with so many yeah. checkers. Now Kent just runs. Now, yep. now this is, you know, this is more doubtful because now his gamma chances are way less than they were. True. Now should he just come around to the 11? I would step up and see the light. I would step up because okay. it's so it's so key to get out. Yeah. But but to be fair, Kent's builders are not in. Okay, that's cocked. I think. Kent's builders are not in. Uh, Kent's bu Okay, so now I think Kent just comes down with a three and up with a two. You can maybe. just make the five point two, but I think yeah, here. but then that invites a double maybe. It's strong. I mean, I, I the five point is strong. Makes a better board. True. When that's missed, that, yeah. The more you, well. the more, the more you talk, the more we talk about it, the more I like making the five point. It's really close, but stepping up an eight to six is best. Oh, really? So okay. So yeah, he wants to, he wants to get out. Even though he's down in the race, the freedom. How, how does this compare? Stepping up with a three and down. This appears to be a blunder. Okay. Now I believe he should hit loose with a five four. And we miss a big cube here now. Oh, That's oh, yeah. Point. So, that this is a this is an object lesson in the four away to three way score. If you are the four away player, you have to be very aggressive when gammons start floating around. And if Kent fans, I mean, finds the best. But play. it's a it's a market loss. But he three three is interesting. Five prime. Yeah, five prime. And eleven to eight, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And now what do we have? Almost nothing. Yeah, you, there's too, it's too hard to escape now. Yeah, he's not the favorite now by he should a long just go, shot. he should just go and make the four point, I suppose. Sure. But he says, no, I'm going to hit. Hmm. Wants to buy them. time to escape. But like this yeah, again. so there's the, the trouble with this sure is it, this, yeah. it, it maximizes the long term chance. That was the best play. Kent to, oh, it was. Wow. Yeah. Not well, by a lot. But amazing. Yeah. But that's a nice find. I yeah. guess I guess they had 15 ways to hit the other way. Yeah. A hit is pretty disastrous. That way, he only had 13 ways to hit, and he had nine ways We're to stay down on the bar. In the race so I guess now, that's enough. So the cleaning up seems fine. Yeah, I like that play. And, and now, now Kent has to think about it. It is possible to pass a three-way or four-way, but he has Kent to be very can, careful Kent with can that. Kent can play kid. on if he, if he wants. I mean, he can. I'm not. Yeah. So, so usually, three, when you're three asking way, about way. about playing on at three-way, four-way, you should cash. That's a good place no, to do. No, usually, if you're no, usually if you're asking about cashing, that means you have a good position. And if you have a, that good a position, you're probably you're usually winning enough gammons to play on. Mm -hmm. And are you here? I think Fair maybe enough. you are because I think you've got a lot of caches. Yeah. In the offing, but he says no. I'm just gonna. It is a play on, but it's possible says, for I'm pass. Just, so. I'm just gonna cash, and, yep. and that's it. How much, go of, to two how way much of a play on was it? Uh, 139 on plus. plus. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess the danger of playing on was low because of the cash equity. Yeah. Wins the opening roll, should make so a So he's going to play, it. he's going to split. Now, of course, two away to four away. The four away player has to be really aggressive and be Quite conscious of hit. doubling opportunities. So if... Is he going to think about hitting twice or something? No, That's a little bit of an twice. overplay. No, you only made yeah. in the zone and you don't want to... It's just, you just want to keep flexible. You don't want to create weaknesses yet. And this is great if you get missed. Like, Ken has, has a, a... He's going to... 
play for the uh, for the anchor. This is this is no, this is good at a normal score. It's probably yeah. right here too, is my guess. It's a little shy on three ply, but fine. Three ply, shmi ply, yeah. I, I guess uh, it's Frank has already great. missed the cube here. Oh yeah, this would be a cube a for sure. This would yeah. be a cube here. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, it would be. A, this is a cube because you. The, the advantage of turning the cube is that you get a gammon, a doubled gammon wins the match. Yeah. A doubled win draws even, and nice your, your opponent has no recube equity because the cube is dead. Three two, I think, is going to have to anchor here. I think. Anchor, yeah, it's, it's too long term strong, and if you hit loose on the four, no, the loose hit is better. Yeah, it's, it's better. Okay, well, it gives up a lot of gammons. Not a normal score kind of play, I yeah, don't think. Don't, but uh, at this yeah, score, I mean, you Kent, don't care. Kent might win an undoubled gammon by accident, but yeah, but Frank shouldn't but, have to let him well, do that. I think is the idea. And he's going to try to do it anyway, like this. If he ever gets the chance to send it, he can yeah. cancel the gammons and play for wins instead. Does he hit loose or does he make his bar? Hitting loose looks pretty weak. Why, when we have four checkers back, we can just have a four prime and kill mobility, you know? Yeah, that's nice and strong and safe, for sure. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, that's a nice try trying to hit with the two. Yeah, and I guess it just comes down. Really? I would well, he might, he's trying for the 21 anchor. I guess. I don't think we have time for that, so I want to play out, and that's a yeah, sizable I mean, mistake, yeah. So third, Covers. what's a sizable mistake to come down? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, and so you're not right quite about, a blunder. But you're right about the timing. Yeah. Well, okay, so no now he's got to come out and find a one. We can hit loose if we want or advance it. I don't know. I'm fine with all. Uh, yeah, 21 to 16 is the most important part. Yep. Yeah, better to hit loose here. Still some chances to make that back game and things, but we need the mobility first to pull that off. Uh, what is he? Oh, he doesn't. He played come out. seven okay. to two, and seven to two is just a. Okay. That's almost like you're giving up. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, anchoring is it important to do that here? We could. It, well, what it's, else it's, do we it's have? It's helpful. It, it helps. Uh, it, it stops uh, Frank from converting to any kind of attacking attempt, like a blitz. I guess we could just play thirteen to eleven with it. Thirteen eleven would be fine. I, no, this is this is live. This is a live stream. Oh, what did he play? Oh, 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 on Galaxy? No, I, I don't think so. I think it's. Well, I missed the role that YouTube. he hit with here. USB Jeff is a channel. I think that's where it is. They can correct me if I'm wrong about where this curious, is being like, shown. Yeah. Because they had the evaluations of Galaxy. Yeah, well, they, well, we've got XG going. Nick's transcribing. Nick Blazer's transcribing Three, this match as we as we go. You betcha. So, he, no, so Nick has got, he's looking at Extreme Gammon, and he can, uh, he can see what the bot thinks. And yeah. I'm sitting down because I have a bad back and blah, 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 and I, <laughs> I don't want, I don't need to stand up and look at XG, and that's a small screen anyway. Who back game? Frank DiMaggio has, has the coveted 24-23 back game. And he hopes not to come in for a long, long while. 6-4, he stays on the bar. Kent wishes to make a prime, which he does. And he advances to the 20 point. So, oh, double ones. Now that advance to 20 point is great. So he goes, he enters with two, and he probably just goes, I don't know. I don't know what he does. He, I guess if he, if he makes the, if he makes the midpoint, or the 12 point, he makes a 12 point that gives an anti joker double three to Kent. Double three would not move except from the seven and eight points. So that might be worth it. Because his timing is likely to be bad even if he gets hit. So I would go for the double three. You know, it's a very desperate maneuver, but. And double one would force him to break a point, a single point, and his fight and his full prime. So he does it, and let's 
What are we howling? 13 to 11 is better there. Yeah. Oh, 13 to 11. Well, a good amount, yeah. You know, the ball uh, doesn't necessarily yeah. know, but, but 13 yeah. to 11 has the advantage of, of uh, forcing Kent to hit with more numbers. 5-5 five, five is going to mess with his timing quite a bit. Only 79 pips down, needs a lot more. And yeah, he said, he'd rather on the be on the bar and not playing a 5-5 five, five instead of here. It's a playing disaster, a yeah. I think you got to give up the 12, though. I'm not sure about making the deuce and stuff. Uh, yeah, I would still keep the eight point for double three equity, you know, yeah. instead of just, I mean, you're saying, well, I'll, oh, I'll have a better inner board structure. This, this way I you're saying, all right, you play, can hit yeah. me with a seven. Mm -hmm. Unappetizing Very double close. five. Gives him a little hope, but it's going to be hard for, yeah, maybe uh, he just, for Frank to time maybe for just sure still. So. Goes to the ten point with two. And, yeah, simple plays are yeah. fine here, I think. Killing, killing kill one sixes. six. Yeah. No, yeah and I, I guess he just makes the five point. Yeah. And Frank hopes for large numbers from, from Kent, like 6-4, mm -hmm. semi-large. And small numbers from himself, like 3-1 or 2-1, or there's 1-1 one, one is small. I guess he goes 12-10. 12 12 to 10 looks 10 nice, for, yep. So this is neat. 82 picks, so. And a double three. 94, well, okay. Well, what do you know? The, uh, their, their break's an outside point for Kent. So I don't think it's going to be worth doing a oh, seven to four? Oh, he breaks two. I don't know about breaking two. Yeah, this is a little strange, Breaking too. two is good for later. But Allows okay, for now, a lot of mobility, here we go. yeah. Now, now you ought to just stay on the 17 point because two six is it's illegal to hit with two six for Kent. Mm, interesting. And you're going to make the four, the wrong long run, you're going to make the four point. So you don't want to make a two point. So this is, this was a little bit of a duplication of covering numbers, but it doesn't matter. Now I think he's going to hit. He's going to hit to delay board building. The idea behind not hitting would be to, uh, well, you could smooth five to three if you wanted to. Spares on the four are valuable against a one two back end. 23 to 16 was like basically tied with his play, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. The double. Yeah. You, you save a. You save a, a, a number of a hitting number, I guess. No, you lose a hitting oh, number. Yeah, you, you actually prevent hitting. Yeah. So, given that we know that. So this just potentially times this. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be inclined to hit at all here. Mm -hmm. I guess centered cube. Maybe you want to try to win again, but I, even that seems dubious. Is this good? Five to three. Is that any good? Yeah. Ten six five three is great. That's okay. the uh, the best play. Right. Hitting is a uh, blunder. I guess a spare on the I guess yeah. a spare on the six is desirable too. Six two, we can make the bar point, I guess. Nah, I, I don't think so. We want to like break it anyway, but uh, this uh, is fine with me. Six, okay, now he just clears. Yeah, he clears. Very nice shot. Six He's one. He's gonna have almost no chance of getting to a cube in this game. Now Frank might, Frank will, uh, he might have a double even right now because he could lose his market. But well, he can just save his gammon by hitting two. But he could two, save so his gammon as yeah. well, and yeah. it's so. But he could lose his market, right? So two checkers off, I guess. Must be close. It's not clear though. Now he should definitely. I think he should. He should double this because. I think so. It yeah. might be a take, but it's. It's a huge take, but uh, borderline yeah, cube. But okay, but will can take if, if he probably he knows the equities. I'm sure he knows. Well, there's the no gammon. He knows so when the match equity table. That's right. Yeah. So he's and he's got work to do. He's got a mm -hmm. he's got work to do to win. He's not. It's when not. You get lucky. Win. You just win the match here. Otherwise, it's fifty. Yeah, so again, yeah, five six, five six cover. Yeah. And six out, and suddenly, again, Kent's looking really strong for Kent. Favorite, on six. You know? Yeah, five five, not so much. Four two, okay. Yeah, we're gonna lose go. it and take nice that six play. away. And if he hits back, he's gonna often have to leave a leave a direct return for a second shot. Now he should Man just in come into covering range, I believe. Especially since one six leaves a direct shot. I think double fours. What is double fours? Covers. Double fours covers the seven point. 
and an Indy six conversation. You probably just go forward from the. Yeah. Go forward Runs from the. Pretty much a yeah, that then gives him a double five to. Oh, he's going to think about bringing he, in to avoid the one. That six. gives him a double four to cover. That gives him a double five to cover. And a nine, a five four covers. Five four covers there. Double threes covers the ace point. I don't know. Oh, he's going to go fishing? Yeah, maybe. Maybe he can go fishing. Yeah, I think he should just cover the ace. Yeah, I'm not fishing for a gamut, but fishing for extra winning chances. Yeah. Yeah, he might just cover. You know, he's going to. I don't know why he's staying back with, a, with that. There's the, the extremely annoying variation. You hit a second checker, you don't close it. He makes your one point and yeah. wins from there or something. Yeah, anchoring. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go to the seven. No, no. Seems fine. I don't know. <laughs> Three covers, okay. Oh, nice so that's a game for because Kent. now he's, it's better for his bear off, and it's better. Mm -hmm. and, and now he's still he's going to fish by staying on the. Oh, he rolls a couple of deuces. Well, there's a couple all at once. <laughs> I think three to one maybe is better. Than Saves more yeah. threes to play, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. All right, back to it. Just trying to get in range of the closeout. Four to hit loose. Ooh, he clears the four point with a vengeance. Okay. Six, All right, four now closes. just may, now close, just close. It's great to close from the seven point. Yeah, still thinking there, about trying doubtful, to shake another it's loose. It's doubtful. Yeah. You don't want checkers on the seven as you bear in to a closed board. Of course, of course. So we might as well use one to close the board. What's Kent got two off? Yep. Okay. Trap play must still be on his mind, though. I'm trying to get it's more a long checkers parlay. and get It's a long, yeah. improbable parlay. Yeah. And it doesn't gain that much. He's still like very yeah, high percentage after it gains a closeout. Because he's already close to winning now. 93% if he just closes out. Yeah. And he does it. Okay. Now seven to six is highly desirable. Ian asks if the cue's been given. Yeah, a few times this match. Now we can avoid a, a double six blot by going 16 to eight. This, this also avoids a double six blot. The distribution looks bad. And he could have gone 12 to four and paid off to a double six. Now it's good. This he can go to the 10 and six, four. Six to four. Yeah, this, this is the best. Nice. That was a good roll for him. Yeah, fixes and now that. He can, now he should just probably go 10 to three is my guess. Oh, why but not safe, six to five? Well, safety is, safety is, is okay. I mean. Yeah. You could bear off more checkers, but this is good. Now he, bear, he bears off one. Four off, five to three looks nice now. Five yeah. to three is. Yeah, could get to DMP after this game. Looking good three for Three one it. is a great roll. He can bear off from a four point. He will yeah. too. Yeah. No real fear for safety against he wants only a, a three two point one, board. I guess. Yeah. So I'm indifferent as to the best play here. I think yeah, was, clearly some point is safer. But you got an extra checker off, and yeah. he's only going to hit you about must have been close three and a half percent of the time from that other position. Clearing from the rear a little bit better. Uh, oh, now there's six blot numbers. That is not that is not one. So now it's going to be going to get to DMP most likely here. Keen wants to know if XG insists on trapping till the end. No, not in these positions, not when you're 93%. No, no, XG, no XG makes closeouts in these positions. I know that part. Yep. It's not always right, probably, but it's it's probably right more often than a human is. <laughs> and we'll see if they actually play this like a DMP game, too. 
Oh, he resigns, okay. Well, Kent, Kent might be, he might be on the tricksy side. He might be, he might wait and hope to, hope to catch Frank in a bad pass or a bad take. Yeah. And Frank. Well, you have to hope Frank for a bad is pass. More likely, Frank is, yeah, yeah. A bad take I, I doesn't really do anything. Yeah, so I, I guess a, a bad take. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could lose your market while trying for, while trying for, for a, an incorrect pass. Yeah. And then they could incorrectly take. I mean, that's, right. That's and what then I mean. it transposes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it transposes, but, but then, but you have the luxury of, of, of not doubling until they, 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 they have, you, you punished yourself. Now, now Kent is probably not going to, uh, not going to double here. He will. Oh, he does. So Good for him. Yeah. He doesn't believe in messing around, I guess. Nah, me neither. I do. As advertised in my book. I, I mess around all the time. Yeah. I've, I've gotten some good coups by messing around. You got some what? I've, got, I've gotten some good coups. I've gotten some good errors on people. Even, even like strong players. Yeah. Of course, I've made a few in, in trying. Yeah, as long as I but always I've take made, them. The magnitude, of, uh, the magnitude of the errors I make tends to be less yeah. than the magnitude of the whoppers that I... Sure. I rarely, but sometimes, gain. But if I never pass in these scenarios, yeah, then you yeah. can never gain anything on me for True, doing it. Yeah. So now this is this is interesting. What's the DMP play? Do you just make? This make looks a, pretty strong, but it's yeah, only switching. But switching is always really strong too. Yeah. Yeah, a little better. Three to two. Oh, you can uh, do the switching hit three to two. Miss that opportunity and set eight to seven. Oh yeah, yeah. That that was the, that was play B. Yeah. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't hit on the. Uh, Hit on the what do you call it point, the 20 point. Mm -hmm. 20 is about 60 behind. Yeah, it looks bad to me too. This can make the four point and step up probably? Uh, he, likes, he doesn't like to step up. He's, he's gonna, yeah. I'm going to concentrate on my board for a while. That might be like, fine as well though, given yeah. that he's like down slightly in the race and he says, it's not really right, under a lot I of priming he, pressure. I think he should probably just, you know, should he come out? And, or should he make the bar again? I think he should make it again, probably. Yeah, once you have the ace, you don't really like the bar as much, but it is checkers in the zone, so it's why checkers not? checkers in the zone, it's a landing spot for the mid, and it's, you know... And nice distribution so roll. He hopes urgently for double threes or double ones or double twos. Oh, bango, eight, nine to, nine to four. Yeah, why not just go for the attack here, I guess. Well, we're outboarding, we're ahead in the race. Because so otherwise, he's to. not on the bar, right? And he's, he can yeah. uh, anchor, run, attack, prime. It's not clear that we're winning if we don't hit. Yeah, no, it's not at all. Nine to four is, there's no gammons. What would he rather, what would your opponent not like to see? That's the question to ask. Mm -hmm. I read that in Louis Young's book, Playboy's Book of Backgammon, <laughs> published in about 1977. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Nice play. And fan. Gets a fan, okay. Frank and in the driver's seat now. 3-2. 3-2 uh, is nice. Covers. Should come up. Come up while you can. Yeah, we really need I to escape. Believe. Get the hell out of there. I don't think bringing another checker for the closeout is quite as important. Yeah, it's not bad. The other twos aren't so bad, but I, mm -hmm. I would come up because you got to get out some time. And he's like, you're yeah. okay. You won't be hit with a two five. But this it's is like, not well. a bad play according to XG either. Very close. <sighs> okay. Well, all right. So now run away. Should he hit or should he should he step up? I would step up. Interesting. Well. Hmm. Now what does XG say? Hit. We have no covers, so it's less attractive. Right. But the two is definitely a lot of wins if they do roll it. So it's it's really unclear to me. Five to two wins by a decent margin here. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. So yeah. Frank does it. Nice play. He does it. And two he gets it. But it would have been bad anyway for him. Right. We're probably sad after that 2-1 if we don't hit two, you know? So. And now he should probably just come out. I don't know. 4-3 seems quite reasonable, yeah. And Hoping Frank a in a rush double. to try again. How about to the eight? 
Just going to go for the safe play, play instead. Safe. Still has the racing lead, so there's some... I want a small double. I got a box six, star. Six, now, now you better come out. Yes. Three of them and for he sure. Knows this out, is I the fourth. Yeah. The fourth is, the fourth is what he wants to get right. Can't afford to crack and leave the outfield wide open on a two-six or something like this too. Yeah, I don't know if he's okay. running or not, but yeah. Oh, could be the fatal lozenge. Ken's in a lot of trouble here. All right, I suppose he goes. I suppose he just leaves a, a double two return hit. Uh, seven five seemed interesting. Okay, seven five is interesting, but this is good too. Yeah. He's got 20 ways to hit, plus he's got a few, Six a few other ways. 6-2, way to leave no shots now. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yep, just winning the race. The fatal lozenge. Okay, now okay, he goes Okay, there's a little hope for Ken now. Yeah. Ooh, Six, nice. Six. I mean, it's bad for, it's bad because it puts three behind, but it clears that point. That's the main problem. Solves the main problem. Should create some ways if, if he can get well, a he's shot. Got, he's got a bad 6-3 immediately. Yeah. But with three behind... Uh, he's got a bad 4-4 four, four immediately. Frank's not going to have many checkers off when he leaves the shot if he does, Yeah, too. okay. So now, well, he's got one checker off. Mm -hmm. There's one. 6-4 is a double blot number. Ken says, blot in let advance, me slot sure. my sixth prime point. 4-3 is, I clear my four point, he says. Only safe play. And 4-3 is icky, 6-4, six, 6-2. Six, As advertised, only six, two four checkers is off. double icky. 6-6 six, six is, oh, that could be the fatal lozenge. No, now he hopes tough. for a double, six big off. double six turn. Okay, he's going to stay back, I predict. Uh, does Slot he the need one. To, why does he need to... Keep the anchor. Aces, is it? Aces and 2 1. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why not, I guess. I, I Yeah, I mean, it it's, really like, hurt. it's like the. You are still a big favorite if you make the 2 and slot the 1. Mm -hmm. You don't have your prime, but you do have your. Uh, right. You do have a 5 point, the best 5 point board, and you have a. Called the Beast. You have yeah. the Beast with a with a little beast lid on the 1 point to cover. <laughs> You save a six. You're happy, happy as a clam. By comparison, if he rolls double ones, he can't win the game, win the match immediately. He says, "Any one is what I want." What is I got. that what he wanted? Yeah. Well, he's got. It's. It, I wouldn't toss it back. Now he's <laughs> got to go, despite the double one. He says, "I'll cover that one point. It's the last thing I do." Six the five end. will do it. Frank DiMaggio has won a double match point against the great Ken Goulding in the round two of the funny, for, funny Florida super jackpot. Came down to the wire there, okay. So Frank advances to round three and Kent is out. I believe and we have dinner break until six o'clock now right. and then we'll be back for more backgammon then. What time is it now? It's only, well, it's like 4.50 already, huh? Okay, Might yeah. be a little bit later, we'll see. All right. Well, but, that's uh, good. yeah, we'll have around three, I think. That was uh, exciting. The idea is to finish up most of these events before the, uh, by the end of the day here. So I think you'll probably get to see the finals of this coming up tonight sometime. We'll be back soon in an hour or two. Thanks, Marty, for your help. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, <laughs> you guys can check out my website and stuff. That's an FTH board out there. We got Chris Lloyd here. Um, all these sponsors help us make these cool streams. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much for participating. We'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody. Uh, pretty decent in there, I think. I'm more just doing it for the plays. I'm not trying to average or like advertise any of mm. Let's see. I guess I should hide these.
send it. I know I'm not a good PR guy. Oh, I thought you played pretty well in general, though. There was uh, 8.86 if you care about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what did he put? Uh, 5.31. Tricky match for Let's see if I have... No, what's your email address? R-I-S-E-B-A-L-L. -L. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do have this. Rise ball, I remember this. <laughs> there really was some... I used to be a fast pitch softball coach. Oh, okay. My daughters played softball and they could actually throw rise balls. Nice, I got you. Let's see. Bam. All yours, my friend. Yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Good luck in the rest, man. Congratulations. That was a close one. <laughs> oh, shit. I think you finished the event pretty much. Okay. So yeah, I did say one day. You have 10 uh,
手はないのかな嫌なのかな嫌なのかなさあ、いやいや Yeah, we can come here. We can come here. Well, it's a direct shot. We just got to have a. Okay. Well,、like、I'm、this. saying we did the other play on the grounds that we didn't want to go. Well, we didn't.、Uh, we, said we have a choice. This, this, this race is far from dead. We do hurt ourselves a bit by doing that. I think we should try this. One down,、uh, so I think staying. Well, yeah, yeah this looks good. You want one checker could be attacked, but it also gets in his way. You、right. can't, you can't put lots here. Like you would, yeah. Are we ahead if we get away with it? 
Well, ahead is a relative thing here. You know, there, there's three, awkwardness for both, pos both positions. Yeah. This we have to, you know, we're going to have to play again yeah. next turn. This way, there's. Yeah, I like the other one. Come out there. You like that? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> but for him, yeah. You want to leave? So, Good. Oh, Careful. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Snap back. Snap back. Snap Snap back. Snap back. Snap back. こんな感じで。はい。2と2か。これが普通。2で入って1って言ってもちょっとあるんですけど。力入れながら。まあ、戻るつもりはあったら別に。そうですね。これで1と思います。そう、さばき。あ、さばき。あれ、あの、以後。いや、それで、さばったか、手筋とか、そういう言葉を作る。これはいい。あ、これもできなかった。どっちにしましょう。いや、でも、何期待ですね。別にマイチョイス。ピンとくる。ね、セイティング。いや、そうですね。ちょっと全然見えなかったですね。ほら、ちょっと。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ
グルダ3枚でここを作りたいってじゃないなんですけど。どう思いますもう私、悪くないと思いますが、うん、ってしょうか、うん、あと五六と構造だけが入ってます Yes You're a good man ラジオサンゴチいやー、これしかし、うん、困ってますねヒットできないですね。これでいいんじゃないですか。まあ、相手からタップルが来るとね。これでいいんじゃないですか。これでいいんじゃないですか。3でカバーされたらちょっと怖い。この子だけだって。それはあんまり大したものなそれをね、あの、カッツされることはつまり、相手はプライム作る気持ちはあんまりないんで、カッツする。結構これギャモン負けいっぱいしますね。いやでも僕はよくわからないんでそれでお聞きしてるんですはっきり自信があったらすみません聞かずに決めてます<笑>
Inclination is always hit, but oh. maybe 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 well, not here. Maybe, maybe, maybe not here. Yeah. Maybe it, not it here. Could work. It a better board. Yeah, but then you know, yeah. So their position is. We got, 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 got. I think we should. I think we should hit them. We got nine in the zone, so that's good. You happy with hitting?
ました。サンサン。おお、ユニューだ。<笑>
这一句就是那样的，就特别温暖。
I know this one. <laughs> <laughs> you saw them do it. I saw them do it. I don't know if I like it, but I'll do it. <laughs> I expect it. <laughs> You left your name tag. I pushed the crawl down. All these blots? Yeah. Okay. okay. You only hit one? Yeah. <laughs> How's that? Good. で、向こうは2としてはい。
行きますか。ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハいや、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本当に、本
I was thinking the latter, although I saw the double five track, well, or at least double yeah, five block. Yeah, you know, well, I think we're going to end up playing double fives. Well, maybe not. You know, we can we can set up four two five one stuff like that. Yeah, I just think I'm not sure it's uh, making that four points. Blocking, mm. making this point is something. I, there's a lot to be. Well, what do you mean? Something like that, or even even something like that. That gives us, you know, five one is catastrophic. I just think having a man on the one point. We can do that, block double threes, set them up on 2 1, and make this. That gives us a little bit of. That gives us a little bit of business. Oops. Yeah, this may be the best after all. Yeah, they got uh, two, three, fours, sixes, fives. We're not, we're not blocking the great big doubles. We get a little bit of we get a little bit of stuff on two one, but mostly they're gonna and double ones. Well, double ones are gonna sweep that, and they were dead on double ones. This gives us something, yeah. But that we don't get as much coverage if they, you know, come around here. spread back there a lot. Yeah, this is a... I just think that's our better game plan. So you want to make all these pairs? You like that? Yeah. Alright. Put some night work. Okay, so this is the one. We won. <laughs> Once again, we got him on the 4-2 and 5-1. Disaster. Yeah, yeah. 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 Do that, just do this. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, You're up. Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe making an inner board point. Like that? Yeah.
questions whether that makes sense to uh, that's the yeah, let's bring, bring, in, bring in ammunition as close as we can, covering as many points as we can. <laughs> What's that?
make him earn it. Two chances. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh. Thank you. Have we saved the gammon? Yeah, we did, uh, first objective was bad. Yes. Oh! We may get in a redux. Yeah, hold on. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my. It's not unreadable, yeah. It's, uh, uh. Well, that was fun. Oh, it feels like we won. <laughs> feels like we won. Way over there, still playing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just the one. Just the one. <laughs> Oh, 
Or, or, or we can lose. Or, <laughs> sure. Or we can lose. No backgammon. Close though. Look, look, look. Ah, how are you? I'm 
Ichi Ichi Michi. <laughs> I know what what do you want? <laughs> ichi Ichi <Yeah>. Michi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> はい、はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
これ2枚、これが2枚飛び出そうなんですけど、はい、ちょっと見てみましょう。はいい
今出なくてもいいそれがよくないんだけど。
Nothing else tonight? So they didn't do your talk, I assume. Yeah, we postponed it, you know, some other time because we just couldn't squeeze it in. It's not Karen's fault. Where was the? It was over here. No, it's all good. Can play the five one here, but I don't know. No, actually, I think you're right. I think the five, I think the five one actually would have done that. Yeah. So I think the, the only question is, I'm not. Uh, they did. They cheated. Uh, I think we had this point, but I'm not certain. I'm not certain. Didn't at one point we slot it and then cover it? The three six out. They had a three and we six weren't out. counting on hitting them with any of those. Oh yeah, we were. Yeah, we had we had I just don't even I think I don't know where these two checkers yeah. are. No, they're not here. They might have been there. They're not here. That's too that's too awkward. Can we um Yeah, they you can't, will get you can't, the recorded match. I didn't know if you had a quick way to backtrack backtrack it. Um, I don't have a quick way to back. Yeah, then don't worry about it. Start yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. I think you guys could play fours. Like a double fours. Good play. Yeah. <laughs> you got away with it. Good play. I think you were on the roof. You came in with one. And then you made the board two and two. Maybe. Yeah. yeah I think you, you were right. taking a while on it, and I think people just forgot.
Five four. All right, you smart. Good to start whenever you like. All right, we good? Five four, you saw it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Joseph Urso on playing on bottom, David Leibovitz on top. Uh, I'm not familiar with David. I think Joe Urso, I've seen that name before. I think it's Chicago. Chicago. New York player, possibly. Yeah. But yeah, excited to see how this match goes. We got a long one, 19 points here. They've been patiently waiting for that doubles matchup to finish to play this match. Or two, gonna make a board point, I'm pretty sure here. But it can safety a lot. Okay, interesting. Uh, small race and lead. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're nearly tied to two plays. 5-3 makes the win pretty naturally. Okay. Still very even race. 6-2 with one checker back. We just want to run and try to escape the freedom. Try to advantage. Mm -hmm. the freedom while our opponent still has two back. Not going to work though. Right? It's going to hit. Miriam. And it's going to need to strip the midpoint. Maybe we're three to try to escape and make an anchor. I don't really want to look at 6 either. It's only 5 before we give up. Nice builder. Look at this. Next, must feel likes familiar. Doesn't want to step up and give Joe, up. this is my wife, Miriam. Uh, very interesting. I'm not sure why that would be. It seems uh, difficult to find that we add. It builds very nicely. It threatens uh, quite a bit. We've just started. It's a 19 point match. So, ace in, 5 down. We don't want to provoke contact in ring high. Yeah. Want to sit there? I want to sit here. Still needs to Joseph get those back checkers working, so I don't see much here. Uh, but making a five point could be a market. Is that Karen? Yeah. Certainly has the board advantage and a small race advantage, uh, but it's important as the checkers back advantage. So he's going to run through the threats here and see how often he can lose his market. And XG has this 44 shy of the cube. Two must be a good shot somehow. I just went down. They wanted to get some on TV. I think it's a nice shot. We don't really like leaving the shot in such a close race. And actually, I actually prefer hitting up the ace there. We don't want to teach you matches here on TV. Five is going to bring David Klein back into this game. Four three is going to enter one. And now, what does David have with the racing lead? Uh, Ten in the zone, twelve in the zone. A blot around to shoot at. This looks really scary and like you know, it's sky high. Blue still has a little bit better of a board though. And he's just going to take the roll. Okay, this is a small double there. So the one's going to hit for sure. Maybe the two should hit as well. To, uh, Enters and anchors, okay, all our cube dreams are gone for now until we can escape. Four or five is perfect for now uh, about to hit. And now he's got a pretty commanding lead in this position. Just the race alone I think is enough to double. There are some gamuts here too. Uh, we could get unlucky and dance quite a bit. But, uh, probably has a take here with, with how much work there is to bring this home and fill in gaps on these things like this. Uh, does find the cube and send it. And it's actually a 171 pass. 17% uh, gamut, 76% wins. He's just going to give up, yeah. I don't know. Those are tough for me to let go. I guess Blue Board is a little bit, but uh, Joseph Sharp on that lets it go. Well done. Unclear if we 
should just make the three and keep the eight along with it, or if we want to make a better point than five. Uh, tricky decision there. I'm stacking you know, really bad here. I had to be quite close, and yeah, three, three wins by a small number. Okay, so the five enters and the two gets to hit loose. Try one more time. It's our last pair on the six, so it's not so exciting, but uh, have to go for it. And you got a fan out of it. Okay. That's a nice little uh, tempo gain here, but still down in the race. Not much better aboard. More checkers back, so I think we've got to take a run for sure. This is a very strong follow up, putting two in the air. And fanning with both, I think, would be good enough for me. Entering with one, though, seems pretty playable, but. There is a huge threat in rolling a six and sending a third back and only having two back himself. Um, so maybe there is enough to keep this going. Uh -huh. This looks pretty strong. And snap take on David's side. It seems to be plenty of work left to go here. And it's a six and miss. Yeah. Uh, lots of game here. Makes an anchor and lays down. I think so. <laughs> Shots by playing back to the deuce with the two. The checker is pretty out of play and behind the anchor, still leaves a lot of shots. Um, I like the pure you know, duplicate sixes in a way that he's not turning anyway. Um, he's still here. Uh, we'll see if he decides to try to play something that looks safe like eight two, but I think we just have to go for the potential upside. Two five can hit. I guess he's thinking about a considered trade of um, his anger, but I think that's pretty okay with the third back and the back forward, and only nine in the zone. So, yeah, it's a Gets a fan out of it. Okay, that's very nice. Five long is finally going to hit the zone. Yeah, I mean, now I have four back now. And another fan. Another board point, but he's going to bring a bunch of material in. So I'm just uh, really happy with that. Ooh, double A. It's going to make it second like anchor. Doesn't have to find him to sit on this uh, ace deuce game, but he's going to try to find it by slotting really pure. I like this play. Very naturally found too. I think it's still worth going for freedom by hitting, but that's going to make the timing viable potentially for David if he can dance a little bit. Okay, we're in the ballpark of time. He's going to make it happen. He's going to want to David hop out to the bar play with the five and six five, five cover, or two covers. Okay. Nice shot for Joe. Progressing nicely. Four five for David. He's going to make it happen. Five three is probably in. Well, maybe in. Two down seems like the natural play, but I would think about slotting the big press on the side of the game. Maybe the prime team makes it. No, no, it's an hour like and a half. Right 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 Six five, okay, no. So he does have his uh, playing out for timing, and I think he should stay there too to give him trouble like, clearing the 10 points. We don't really mind being so much. I, I like uh, David's play here as well. His deuce, I think, maybe hit in, into the uh, six, and then he'll have to be hit. Oh, he's going to leave any fly shots. Interesting. I think he'd rather be hit again. He's still far there. Eight to six back before we shouldn't hit at all. That's the time he's going to play. Ace deuce. I'm not sure which one we want to be on here. I guess the, eventually our opponent's going to clear the eight. We'll have more ways to escape from the higher number. So my inclination would be to come in on the 23. Uh, entering on the 24 can't be too much. So just clears from the back. Okay, okay. Play. Slide four, which is a higher now. The 11 to 
six, eight to four, which I guess is the hard pass. But also play to the deuce, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Double five, okay, gonna clear another point. And now we're time, David, if you can roll a six or a one to five here very quickly, six two is gonna be good enough. And he's got very strong winning chances now. Ended up with uh, plenty of board purity, got a little help with the timing of the race, and uh, has good winning chances here now. Three off, five off, four off, there. David just looking to come out and uh, make the bar point. Didn't want to do it in one roll necessarily. Still has timing concerns here. A little fast, but definitely can make this roll. I think the three is just coming off. I was struggling to put a six checker there to be clear. A lot of double shots that can potentially happen later. I think we should just be ripping here. Cool. Yeah, he goes down. Five, three, and then yeah. into the, into the deuce. Maybe he did it twice, but he doesn't want to, wants to save the six so he's not forced off. Reasonable idea. Really not sure there, because we're getting pretty deep with the spares, so it's scary to uh, play that way. Level five is going to take two off. Okay, it's not a bad time to leave with one if it goes that way. So the two six and three was okay. Six is going to force off the front. Do we want to stay to be played out or just hop both out? Um, what six four is getting a double shot either way. Interesting. I'm not sure. Get a lot of shots. Staying back needs to be the default. Though, so. Is this the right place to leave with another anchor? It doesn't get the option. So I think just playing 12 to 7. Okay. I don't think we need to worry about that. It's not going to play 23 to 18. 24. Oh, perfect. And for sure we need to uh, break the 24 now and create two things and make the shot. It wasn't for sure. We shouldn't, because we actually want him to have to save us some dudes to create a better situation. 3-3 three, three cannot get off the back yet. So I don't think we go about waiting for the shot. Interesting. Maybe it doesn't help to stay with one more. I'm not sure. But he's going to stay and hopefully he is reduced. Of course, 5-2 and has some chance of hitting to save the back gamut. Just saving the back gamut. Hitting can save the gamut pretty easily as well. So, shot there. Probably slot the back and then play 15 to 13 to cover it. That's very nice. Threatening to see the time. That was you? Yep. Yeah. Double check if I made a legal play. Five on covers. So I don't know. What happens? It's just a game. Somehow I think you rolled double sixes. No, that's the game. That's the game, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't move. Six two, next chance David gets. He'd love to hit the five while keeping the prime to take a shot at cover. No such luck, so we can just shuffle the back check as well. 4-3 comes in and gives another... No, it gives him to Disney's point for that. Three one will gladly hit on the ace. It gets hit and gets circulated. No big deal. Jason Briggs? Just looking for yes. a six or a five to cover. And we'll get the air off in there. A little awkward for the distribution. And David's going to be very willing to leave shots and be very off here. So the ace is coming off for sure. I'm not sure which allows uh, most checkers to be bared off next time, but I imagine 6 to 4. Hey, uh, 3 1 is peeling as well. So you're going to keep taking checkers off and keeping as many board points as possible. I think about holding a point, but we don't want to give our opponent away that much. Anyway, okay. Transposes more or less. Six three, yeah, okay, we can't leave. We don't want to open up another board point, so we're just gonna win. One. Um, we probably don't mind leaving the checker on the five now, playing three to do. So yeah, he's gonna recirculate and get a chance to check out. 
said it's part of back in online, Joe? There's such a thing? Yeah. <laughs> I play online, too. Down in the race, I'm not leaving that. Wow, against this much, this seems like a really big play. I'm not sure we can actually afford this, but this is best. We need to come off the anchor. This really surprised me. I don't know if I'm this way. I would probably destroy my position. I grew up on live back end, obviously. Uh, and so it's going to uh, go with Joe and just thinking about it here. Uh, there's a lead in the rain. Well, he's slightly down one tip. Okay, I guess after the roll, given that data is ahead of the race, he realizes that he can't keep the 22 point in an even race and needs to run at some point. Uh, what better time than now? He's still 73 shy of uh, Q. Part of that play is just not having a midpoint, not being worried about being in the outfield by indirects. The indirects are not that comfortable anyway. 
Five, four, and six, three. There's going to be a lot of returns from the bar. So it's safer than usual. Even if we get pointed on, then it's only a three point board. You're usually going to enter it as some sort of chance. Wait, they're playing it on an FTH board that you can go find over at Gamut. So, uh, nice creation of John Pierce. It's really cool. It's really nice in person too. The leather is like a very nice color. Along with that color. Sorry, I've never asked you your name. Andy, Andy got Chris and Lane David. Well. Nice to meet you, Andy. And a cheaper option, mostly close boards right now. But I guess there's uh, that Gamut player involvement in that. We'll probably see them at more more tournaments now. Gets in this early cube and David's not taking it. Okay. Six two is not the best follow up. Just gonna have to play safe and under a lot of pressure they lose the yeah, easy and race for sure. Playing legal moves, correct? Uh, he's rewound the position illegally and they haven't noticed, I guess. So it's slightly illegal. Thank you. 
Through two breaks contact. It was perfect. So it was all the way to the 14. I had 18 in the race. It's the race. 5-4 is going to keep contact, I think. He's going to have to play a little bit on me. Uh, not too bad for the racing distribution to play you down And it forces Joe to find a different play with 3-2. Nice and low from the five points to save as many shots as he can. Okay, that's a good for this position. Okay, now, now David can play a wide open. Just leave that bottom line. Six threes can make it by play though. Still some racing I think for David. One set should really turn this game around. I think four would go into the four point. Yeah. Five should bring two checkers in somehow. Maybe deeper, I think, to the left of five makes sense. Four to three is taking the checker out. Five, four, six to two with it. Why not? I want to leave the gap in no fives to use that would be forced to the ace. We're going to take two off, but uh, David's got a gap on his five as well as a huge race to to sit down. It'll be tough to catch this one up. He does have the better distribution, though, and Joe obliges with a miss with that four before clearing it as well. So it costs him an extra roll. But uh, David immediately piles up and misses on the back five. Still in this game, though, the UPC is actually so difficult. Yeah, I think maybe this is better distribution to waste that bit by playing on the court instead of starting to create a gap on the game. Drop for each, okay. And White finds himself in a four roll versus four roll position on lead roll. There are misses here though. He can roll enough aces where it's going to be an easier take anyway, but that doesn't mean he's trailing in the match too, which is a little more incentive to get in. So I, I think this is probably a good key. Uh, oh, way short, 139. Okay. Distribution matters more than I thought. If it was stacked up all on the ace and the deuce, then I think he has a fairly clear cue and a fairly clear take. Uh, but it's quite a bit different when you have three on the three. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised to see him send this, but I, I can't imagine Joe passing it. Uh, Blunder there, but he might end up with an extra two points out of it quite a bit of time. That 6-4 is a huge start. Uh, in this sequence, I think he would have lost the second two. Um, so he feels happy that he sent it. Those twos don't get him too much closer to winning. They, they take away the misses at least. But still a chance to roll a set. To win or chill. Yes. David plays through here. And 6 4 not going to be enough. That was a tricky one. He gets an extra two points out of it by this evaluating. What's that? Moskowitz. Uh, not louder than the background noise, sorry. What's that? I can probably talk louder over it too. I'm not sure but it is pretty noisy in here. Five two. The thing is, the background noise yep. is my mic, so we can't really do too much about it other than like getting into my beard or something. Yeah, sorry, yeah. 
2-1 can cover the 11, and then uh, the ace is unclear, but I guess we can challenge the 8 point. So he's just going to run from the back instead. That's also an option to not give his opponent good sixes. Uh, I think maybe a point seems much stronger, though. Yeah, 22, 23, 13, 11, that's there. Two, this is a strange position, though. Um, I understand why it's confusing you. Hit and step up, and I think it's time to split. Yeah. Also, splitting the place that's safe. We're not under the gun. Uh, we're not under the gun. I'm not sure what other people are doing. safe play, but it looks pretty long-term ugly. So we can duplicate the hitting sixes with the covering sixes by making the ten like this. It gets a little closer to home. And it feels a lot more flexible than playing six to two. So maybe it's worth the risk here. It's a bit scary to do, though. I think I would make this play as well. But uh, no, six to two is clearly best. Here hearing it's a four-point board is just too much in this position. One thirty-three mistake, and it gives up uh, quite a bit more gamins. Interesting. What are you looking for? Uh, it's over there on the table. Yeah, I don't. Are the microphones different? They are. Yeah, I can try that. One. No, that one's not plugged in. Mine is picking up background. Yeah, yeah. Music? Music? Maybe it's the board mic that you turned on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
No, no problem. Yeah. We're trying to figure out the song for y'all. Oh, did I miss a play? Oh, shoot, I did. Let me catch up on the transcription real quick here, actually. I hate this and that stuff. Let's see, where are we at here? Where are we at? Still same idea. The cube's still centered here. Okay, does uh, Joe have enough of a racing lead to start thinking about double this now? Maybe. Possible. 5-4. I think this is just going to have to play safe. He's going to play into the four point here. Uh, no, it just, just me. <laughs> You're good. Uh, three one, play six deuce. Interesting. I'm surprised he's like uh, spending so much time on this five four. Unless he just hasn't picked up the dice from his yeah, opponent having to move 5-4 and trying to figure out the cube situation. Um, but it seems fairly clear that we can't afford to volunteer anything here against the five-point board. Oh, the next one is going to be Yeah. The broadcasting, so you can go check if you'd like, anytime. So we got... Yeah, I'll tell you what I know. 93 to... Extra back, yeah. I imagine we should be sending here. Send the cube now, okay. Gets it in. Looks like a strong cube to me, and I'm less certain about the take pass, but I guess it's the board impurities. There's gammon threats though, I don't know. This is a really tricky one to me. We can end up just cracking our board next time as white. We can end up being pointed on when losing a gammon somehow that way. Not so likely. It might be enough that we can let it go. Man, 
I'm finally caught up, and it is a huge take. Okay, four and a half percent gammon deficit. So there's only seven percent gammons here, so it doesn't add too much. Uh, plenty of bad rolls, and he's going to let it go uh, and miss out on that 130 take. Difficult position, understandable for me. one um, typically still a split even at uh, like a slightly well slightly leading so yeah but I don't know it's a preference play they're close enough five down after that spot I'm happy to spin the two still I do believe the challenge that block sometimes when it covers he's gonna think about it a little bit though and whether he should play down instead six three is gonna cover and hit very nice. Regret splitting now. 5-5 five, five fans. Wow, and a huge advantage right off the bat for David. Is this enough to cube? Sure. Turns it over this early in the game. It should be a take. Joseph scoops it up. 6-5 is going to cover and down with the 6, focusing on the attack. Okay, he could also get the back checkers moving. Both very close. Decides to commit to the blitzing game plan. 3-6 fans. Now he's had, he did that for sure. 6-3. Okay, we can't really do anything about the blitz now, so now it's time to spin the back checkers. The 6 down looks great, though, to interact with that blot on the 24. The 2 in and the 3. Maybe we step up just to avoid creating another blot. We don't want to be up there, though. It's scary. We're going to be pointed on a lot. Uh, but when you get away with it, there's upside, so... And 5 one's not going to be able to hit that, so uh, I think maybe just out to the outfield and clean up 8-7 to seven kind of thing. I think we can start to play simple here. Oh, he's going to volunteer from the outfield and challenge, okay, and go for distribution, too. Uh, not a bad play. 8-2 to two is fine as well. Uh, might play a 16-7 and seven a little bit behind there. 4-3, yeah, we got to go for something. Just uh, not hitting twice allows us to be closed out so often that buying a little bit of time to try to make that anchor is definitely worth it here. 4 1, still can't cover it. Or, yeah, I still can't make the 21. But we can cover the ace now that we've blotted it. Is it better to do that or pick up another checker? I think having the board point seems stronger. I'm not completely certain now. This is actually a blunder. Very interesting. I guess he really needs to buy the time by hitting in the outfield to make that anchor. And putting another on the roof does that most effectively, okay. Enters with the deuce and makes the four now and is punished for that. Two four is going to anchor at least, okay. It's in a small improvement. And he's going to go for the hit with it, has to leave a direct no matter what, so why not put him in the air and maybe buy some time to hit some more checkers. Five has to come in, so maybe 22 just hand advances to the 21 for mobility. I don't see a huge reason to clean up H7. Not too worried about our opponent playing a six out, but this is fine as well. Six five is going to cover, I think. Oh, it can hit. It can hit as well. And potentially escape a checker. It's kind of like the free roll, but uh, yeah, we just have to camp on a 23 point anchor. Okay, makes sense. A little too big, too many gallons against such a strong board. Making the midpoint looks pretty strong here. 6-1 is going to work nicely there. 4-1. I think we're still trying to play safe here and wait for our opponent to just leave so we can build our board. Be ready for a shot during the end of the game should we be so lucky. 4-3 is going to try to escape now. Okay. 3-2 can hit and slow that down. Still can potentially win. Only behind a 5 prime. So we can close the board out and start rolling some 6s. That can be good. No priming value, though, unfortunately. Enters in 7-6. Okay, 6-3 is going to make the next best point. Very great shot. Joe Claude is way back into this game. 2-1 is a fan. Okay. 6s. Some of them are they. 4 is just going to make a board point. Uh, now at the 5-point board, he's going to have to use 6s to run for sure, though. Out of time for anything else. So if he can roll some 6s in time, he can still win this game while uh, David continues to dance. We're not going to have a cube until he does at least one of those, I'm sure. 3-2. Maybe just 2 in contains best, actually. Um, 
Yeah, this seems like the reasonable play to block three five, but we have no contact on three six. Three enters, okay, keeps three five blocked. That works out well. Now Joe is going to need to attack before uh, before he can think about running. Five's going to hit. Does he? I think he probably needs to leave it slotted by the time to run off with the sixes. I think he really needs to close out. So lifting just puts him under so much pressure from entering, entering three. My instinct would be to leave it there. And play, yeah, either five, four, eight to seven are both fine. Um, yeah, we can shift four to three. Three to two is a sizable error for that, for that reason, but all the others are very close. These are difficult decisions, so we of course don't want another checker back, so it is risky leaving it slotted. One six is a miss, okay, Joe is surviving a little longer, still climbing in this game. The six out, okay, maybe now we can think about lifting with the deuce, now that we've uh, done a little bit more of this work. It's tough though, we're still going to need a lot of time to find more sixes. Yeah, I think we need to leave it there. I think XG prefers, uh, yeah, eight to six, just cleaning up the block there. It's just we have so much work to do that. How are we ever gonna close this game out now? Now that we've buried a check or two. It was hard enough before we did that. So what can we do here? We can clean up a checker. Sure. I don't think there's any like strong duplication that we need to go for, but maybe just uh, 17 to 16 would be okay too. I don't know. And another fan. Okay, and Joe wants to think about the cube. I think he's still under quite a bit of pressure to get this home. Maybe I want to escape the six first as well. Uh, 74, no redouble. But he is trailing the match with makes a little earlier. And actually on plus plus, break even no redouble decision. 61% uh, to win and 12% to damage. How do we find this? It seems like our opponent should still be able to take after we roll a six here. Uh, but he is ahead 21 pips, so I guess not actually. It's just such a huge race lead when he escapes that as a six is a pretty clear market loss. Uh, escaping followed by a fan. Maybe even getting the, the 17 point block to, to his own outfield is enough to lose his market in a way too. Contains very well. Sharp of him to be thinking about the <laughs> And he does send it. We'll see, I mean, with the pure board and five prime in front, not a ton of gammon risk here. We'll see if David can find the cube, but it's not a pleasant four cube to receive by any means. He's gonna take it though, okay. Four one doesn't do much. He's gonna have to stack up five to four as well. So one of his weakest. But he gets a fan out of it, okay. 5-3 is gonna make a little more progress towards safety. Really needs that six before cracking though. And this is why David had to take, is that his prime can just hold like this too. No six, he's gonna lose the, the board and still needs to roll a six before David enters on the three or six. One more fan is gonna buy him a little more time, but it's a very close game here. 4-3, I think we can take, okay, we're gonna stack up the A's on these spares on both, that seems fine. 3-5, a huge shot. Um, can we just come out and contain? I don't think we need to hit. Yeah, so this seems fine. 5-3 allows his opponent to crack a little further. And did he roll a 5-2 or is he? did he pause to think about the cube here? This uh, looks pretty scary. I think the main market loss is when Joe loses another point in his board and he can kind of blast away. But uh, setting an 8-cube is pretty tough as a score leading. Still see enough life for Joe to play it out, I think. Yeah, 31 shy. This is probably a redouble for money. And so he is going to get it in. Actually, on plus plus, it likes to keep up the score as well. Just bare, barely. We'll see monster take for Joe taking a re-cube that he can send back to 16 uh, and play for the match potentially. Um, but not crystal clear that we can take this. It is a take to money. We'll see. He's going to let it go. Okay. So David be able to take that game back with some good cube work. With, uh, with an, uh, like right on a borderline redouble that he was able to get a pass on him. Very nice. Swing factor for my take was 6-5 for you. I 
for eight points is scary for sure. And so that's going to go to nine points, ten away. Strong lead for David. We'll find out if he's right later. Three two open, trailing this much. I think you can start to play two down. Sure, that seems fine. A little bit better at the score, yeah. Four two is going to make a board point. Nice shot for David. Need to play in the hole. Four one can make the bar points. Four. Nine five is good. Oh, they're going to take the points now. That's a good idea. On David's clock, though. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time trouble. Six five, nothing better than two down here. I don't think now that the bar points blocked. Six four is going to hit and continue. Sure, sure. Nice start for Joe. Let's see what kind of reply we have here. I think we got to go for the double split. I mean, we can't enter on the 24. It's just two stacking on the three checkers back there. It's such a problem. Uh, the tempo hit, I don't think it's worth it enough here for consolidation. Um, and so we could have split 24 to 23 with it. And just the liability of three checkers on the 24 is enough for Joe to send it. I agree with that. Uh, fairly simple take, though. And yeah, borderline Q. 4 2 going to consolidate some plots after entering. Pretty strong. 3 6, definitely we need to play the 3. We need to do something here. So he sees his only six apparently he thinks is to play down to 13 to seven. Probably better than playing to the deuce and giving a double shot, I'm with that. And so, but the three is the part that looks mandatory to me. Hmm. What is it? We actually should have hit eight to two. Interesting. Tempo's worth something there. One six can just top pass and make a bid for a racing in freedom. Four one can hit and cover the bar, something like this, sure. Or it can make the best anchor. That must be stronger here. This seems a little too loose. Uh, but he's going to go for offense here. No outfield presence when uh, you have three back in that 24 points. Seems like a real problem. So I would have been inclined to find something else. Three down as well. Okay, and pointing on head. Threes look good. The distribution looks awkward. Wonder what the better play was there. Maybe hitting loose or something like this. I wasn't watching. I didn't see anything. Five three can make the five point, but it leaves a direct six. Is this really the best we have? Joe one four. Three three. What can we do with this? We can point on head. We can cover the A's. We must have to hit somehow, but making the five point seems really important to keep like the pure structure here. So maybe that hitting loose and then just break the nine along with it. I'm not sure what else to do here. And nine to three and not leaving the additional shots is actually stronger here, okay, by quite a bit. Tricky one to find, I think. Less blots and with a blot on the ace already, I guess the purity is less important. Um, one, one, okay, opportunity to clean up. Hits, I think 10 to eight is mandatory and then six to five for distribution seems nice too, sure. I like the play. Three, four, I don't see what else we can do other than hop out. I think we have to try. We're out of time on the front. No time in the mid point. Two, one can hit. I don't see a reason to play it some other way. This looks nice. Three, one, where is the cube? The cube's on David's side too. Yeah, he's got a lot of work to do, okay. Makes an advanced, or the most advanced anchor he can make. So that's uh, pretty nice there. Uh, four up and clean up. Yeah, we should just go for mobility here. My first instinct was 8784, but I don't see any reason to kill those checkers um, when they're doing a fine job where they are. And the 24 to 20 really is the key to this position. So we could shift 8 to 7, but um, 8 to 7, 8 to 4 is stronger. And actually, 8 to 7 is really strong regardless. Interesting, okay. And so he's just gonna put the checkers pure with two board points. Okay, how can that go wrong? It seems fine. Joe's gonna go ahead and hit the higher one and leave the deuce points slotted. That makes a lot of sense when we're getting into these kinds of battles. Sends a second checker back too, which might help uh, David with his timing quite a bit. We'll see. I think he's gonna have the timing for a back in here though. Four, three, yeah, this is gonna make sure that they don't make a third anchor. 
And I think we want to cover it too, make sure that our opponent doesn't make some better anchor with the 23 points. 4-4 four, four, gonna fan. And could end up overtime really quickly if he can't enter before Joe brings this around. 6-2 uh, wants to slot the bar point while he has a chance. Yeah, it seems reasonable. Take a bit at picking up another checker and going for more gammons. Ace-4 enters one. Not a bad roll for David. 1-1's one, gonna hit, great shot. And we can block the bar points. Maybe we just bring it into five or something. He sees six to five for distribution first, interesting. So he's already thinking about clearing. I think that's quite reasonable, I guess. So we had a fan and a six one. Six is gonna play in, okay. One five enters one, okay. And Joe trying to scramble around before where David had any chance to build. Five first, and why not eight to four? It seems like a nice time to clear. Pony will have to break it a lot, too, to do that. The fives for sure. Yeah, I like this. Six one, okay, that's gonna hop out to the bar point. Create problems if Joe can't safety these checkers. Six six is gonna do a fine job of that, though. A lot of gammons here. Yeah, this is forced. Two four, this can uh, get another checker mobile. I don't think we need to make the deuce point urgently, so I wouldn't be thinking about that. I would be thinking about getting my back checkers moving. But okay, it plays that way. Interesting, that seems to be best. I would have been tricked. According to XG anyway. Three two is just going to advance. Yeah, nothing better. But well, we can play up 24 to 22 still for mobility. More ways out there. Uh, I'm not sure I'm a strong believer in the, what is this? The three and four off, okay, got it. Six, five. I think we wanna go from the 24. I, I don't really understand the theme of trying to keep a spare so that we can hit while still keeping the ace. Um, I don't know. I hear people talk about that, but I'm not sure that that actually Pans out so well. 6 2 is a great shot for a white. 4 4 is going to slot the 5 for sure. And then what else do we have? Yeah, you're more likely to run into something like this where you're stuck breaking an anchor now. Um, and you could have just had the checker mobile. I don't know. 2 1 looks like it's going to be forced to leave a shot. What is the nicest way to do that? Maybe we should just make the 3. That seems like it solves the gap forever, so yeah. Seems to be XG's preferred play as well. Probably reduces shots as well. So if he plays this way though, he doesn't always clean this up. Uh, I'm not sure how many shots it is, but uh, it's very likely he rolls something. He can roll 6-5, six, 6-4, five, six, four, five, four, things like that and leave the shot again. When he just makes the point, then he's almost always going to clean up next roll. Yeah, I think when you play them both from the four point, you have the same problem. I think when you play four to three, two off, you have the same problem. But I guess my play B would be to take a checker off and at least get closer to bearing off. Doesn't look at the best play. Often the reason we uh, don't find it, we don't consider it. 2-1 is going to hit, okay. And a five in is huge. Finds it, but has to hit twice. So a second blot was strong loose. Okay, 3-1's gonna enter and hit. And now David looking pretty strong in this game, but uh, Jory has six off? One six, ooh, this is gonna keep a lot of life in the game too. Ken's still in a gammon here. And the impurity having the deuce with no five is gonna leave him a challenge too, but uh, okay, ace four just has to come to the 20, I'm pretty sure. Can't stand to have all those checkers stuck on the 24. 4-2 is going to, well, what does this do? Does it really help to advance to the 20 at all? I'm not sure. We can just get closer to home as well. Maybe, I'm not sure why we don't want to play the 4, 14 to 10. But, 
Yeah, 24-18 is best here, interesting. 14 to 10, 42 is worst, okay. But yeah, stepping up for mobility is very strong. Okay, nice find, Joe. Maybe he can link up with that checker too, now that he's got them closer to each other. But 3-1's gonna hit. And best ace, I seem to see, I guess he can duplicate the five by advancing 11 to 10. And I'm inclined to go 20-19 and leave more shots when our opponent fans instead. We like to be six pips away from the point we want to attack and make. Five, six is gonna hit. Great shot from the bar. Neither player willing to quit here. Six, three, okay. We need to figure out how we're gonna get things moving. So yeah, three in deep for the double anchor again and then out to the bar looks very strong. So we got the back game again. And Joe with a bunch of work to work around. Uh, why not hit? Yeah, might buy us, find us some way to be missed and get a checker home and safe again. Dealing with only two, with only one blot instead of two would be a huge improvement here. Uh, three, five seems to miss. Can enter on the three and make another point. I guess that's the strongest we have. Frustrating roll though, and not everything for Joe then is gonna, some numbers are gonna be blocked. Um, one, four, six combos, I guess. Yeah, I think blocking as many numbers as possible and giving uh, that checker some difficulty getting home. I guess also we'll have to leave it there on something like a 5-1 or a 3-1, since it'll take away the playable ace, and his opponent will have to play that all from the 20. So I, I think uh, making the 19 looks pretty strong here. But he's looking at a play B here, interesting. How close are these? Bar to 20, 19 to 16 is second. Um, is that what he came up with? Yeah, 30 behind, so not too bad. But I, it's hard for me to see the upside of that one, I don't know. I would have to play with that one for a while to understand. 6-1. Just duplicate something, fives, sure, okay. Six one is gonna miss again, wow. That's, a, oh no, the one hits, what am I talking about? And then the six off the 24, sure, I want all my checkers active. He could bring another into direct range, he could make the 16, I guess, but having the 24 and 22 seems pretty strong to me right now. Four three, finally a fan, okay. And David's gonna recube on this with no five point made. Interesting. This this seems ambitious. This is 260 early. So this is actually he's at 78 and a half percent. But your opponent would have a pretty clear money take, I believe, because white or sorry, blue still wins 10% gammons in this position. Um, but at the score, when an eight cube might come back, we're in big trouble. And okay, unfortunately, Joe doesn't. Uh, isn't aware of like the score dynamics of the, all the match equity there either and is going to let another big cube go trailing in the match missing another opportunity there good find from david to figure out that he could cash that game or he just got lucky i don't know And opening with a 3-1 here. Eight away, 16 away. Big deficit to come back from. Six three looks like it's gonna, oh, hit loose, yeah, yeah. Thinking about white there. With the better board, white not, gets a fan out of it. Leading eight away, 16 away, needs to wait a little while on the cube. Two one can cover and split, looks pretty strong. Big advantage for David, maybe a fan's enough for a cube even at this score. Uh, maybe this is too. What can 3-6 do other than just hop out to a losing race? Not a fun position to be in. 4-3 is going to... Ooh, where's it going to hit? I guess in the outfield. Why not? We don't. I think uh, hitting must be better than anchoring with so much better of a board. 2-4 is going to be able to hit, return hit. 
So a nice roll to keep Joe alive. 3-2 doesn't do much. I guess it'll anchor, because why not? Lack of other options, but not feeling the pressure to have an anchor right now or anything like that anyway. 1-1 one, one is going to, making the five points really tempting, but so is making the best anchor with how much pressure we're under. Are we really gonna pin ourselves on the 23? Yeah, I think he's gonna have to pause and think about the 22 and just cleaning something up. Um, wow, maybe the 23 and cleaning up nine to eight is fine though with how far behind in the race he is. And yeah, that's gonna be the play. Okay, finds the best there. I don't think it was too far off to just make the 22 though. Two down, sends another checker back. Okay, David back on the front foot. And five, six a fan. It's not a good shot. Four, one. What does this need to do? I think he just needs to go for mobility and get those back checkers moving. He doesn't want to be primed on the 22 as the better board. So I like that he's reaching for it. Out of time to play inside the board or anything like this. So why not just play both forward? I like that play a lot. 22-21 is actually a little bit better, but I mean, okay, they're all super close. Uh, but we do need to touch the back checkers. This is about 60 behind. Just no time to play all offense, but the 3-6 works out nicely. Gets a shot on it now, and now David wants to think about the cube. Okay, he's going to send it to at this leading score, and it's correct here, too. 25, it's a clear money pass. This time Joe's gonna get it right on the initial cube, acting a lot different than the recubes. Oh, sorry, it was a huge take. So uh, still need to take at this score because of the potential for E-cubes. So yeah, running into a lot of match play problems, unfortunately. Getting punished in the PR sense, but uh, missing opportunities to get back into the match too, if we want to think about it that way. That cube can be a potent weapon when you're trailing. Four down, 23 to 22 looks nice. And 5-2, this is a bit of a whiff as well. Maybe two down, we don't fear the, the outfield blot as much with the 22 split as we do with the 23, not that many numbers. And they're kind of well duplicated. Yeah, I like two down, looks nice. 3-1, would have liked to be up on the 22 to challenge that blot after a 3-1 roll. I'm sure that was a candidate as well with 5-2. 4-3, this doesn't do much either. Our four is not good no matter what. So maybe just 13 to six, sure. Damage control, what can we do? Four six is gonna hit in the outfield, great shot. Joe with a commanding lead of this position now, probably gonna have a cube, especially at the score coming up. No good sixes, what's he gonna do? Can he, I guess, oh, he plays behind, okay. To try to reduce there. Yeah, that feels like a bit of a give up play. I expect he's expecting to pass no matter what he does. And that is XG's opinion. Doesn't matter too much what six you play, you're going to pass. It is a likely, what is it, 16, eight. It's close to a money pass as well, but not clear. So that's the score I expect him to be able to find it. Yeah, 169 pass. Okay, but he's gonna, I think, also not quite realizing how much it changes at different match scores either. Um, and not adjusting a lot on any of these cubes I see. So he's, I think that's been the key to him getting in some early ones, not thinking that Joe will pass it, just playing it like money. Like the way that he knows uh, cube action. 5-1, I think, probably continues the blitz. It's loose, why not? Why do we want to let him make the deuce? Uh, he just played a six one. And I think David caught it. Yeah, they caught it, okay. So we're still on David's clock though. But they'll be fine, it's no big deal, but okay. Always nice when they catch things like that, even if they don't seem likely to affect much. 
better than having the question. Seven covers, great shot. Oh, he saved himself. <laughs> that wasn't going to cover with his original play. And the blitz looking strong for four points to get, get a little bit closer here. Two's down for sure, and then I think we want to advance to the 10 to prevent, to have sixes to attack on the four when our opponent enters. More important than cleaning up the blot, 14 to 13 or something like this. Really wants to hit before his opponent gets a chance to enter. Uh, maybe just from the back, yeah, like this. Oh, he could also advance five to four and do that switching play and get more indirect covers. That's an idea here too. Yeah, five to four a little bit stronger, but not by a lot. Three, six misses, okay, and now we're looking for nines and tens to cover, rolls a five. This is a nice switching opportunity too, potentially. But 13-10 uh, looks strong, and sure, why not 13-11 to 11 with it? Yeah, 13-10, 6-4 is a fine play as well. Uh, his was best here. And finds a six from a bar to continue the attack and trying to prevent the anchor. Nice shot for sure. David really needing a four to have a chance at saving the gammon. Sevens and tens cover. We get an 11, okay. What's the best way to bring a checker into the zone? Maybe 2110. Looks like another number, sure. I like that. Two six misses. Now fives and six cover. Double fives cover for sure. Doesn't crack, does it? Oh no, sorry, we had sixes and sevens covering. So the fives cover from the 14, and then we can play two in and just need to get the back checker moving before cracking. Six four, close to a crack. Out and six to two, but he should have plenty of time to get around. Fours is the only problem. Five, five, can play to the ace and take a checker off. Okay, not ideal distribution, but he doesn't need ideal distribution to win a gammon here with so much outside. So a huge favorite to win four points. Two, one, gonna fix a lot of problems too. I think he should take two off, but it is an option to clear the six as well, very close. And this is the value of clearing the six is avoiding a situation like this, where he's very likely to leave a shot next roll. Uh, huge underdog to find something to just play safely here. 6-5 is going to leave that shot, but uh, David not ready with the board at all yet. Still winnable if he can hit, though. Just has work to do to contain. 4-3 misses. And still going to have trouble not leaving another shot from here. There we are repeating again. And this can go on just for the rest of the game pretty easily in a position like this. 5-1 is going to fix everything, though. He should, uh, he's going to resign a gammon instead of waiting around for the back gammon. Okay reasonable. Has plenty of time to get off that. And on we go. Joe playing a near perfect game in that one. That two one Joe played was actually a mistake. When you got some back in the biggest right to take it off there. But just two guys on the roof. Twelve away, seven away. And it looks like they're taking a small break here. Okay. I might take a small break too then. Exciting match so far. Hi, Joe. <laughs>
Cool, am I live on here when we're on break? All right, right back into it. 5-3 to start for Joe, trailing 12 away, 7 away after winning four points to get a little bit back into the game. 3-1, a better open for David for sure. The 6-2 gonna split for sure. Make a bid for an anchor with having the pip lead and freedom. 5-1 I think is just going to hit on the bar. Looks like a pretty natural play. Always tempted to hit uh, on the ace as well, but with only eight in the zone and giving up the eight point to do so, it just doesn't tend to be worth it. Uh, maybe occasionally we can consider it at like a trailing match score, but even worse at, at this leading score. Um, okay, so we're going to enter, make the ace and make the five point. Great entry from, from Joe after that double hit. The six can cover, okay. Good recovery from David. Five, four, can hit loose. I think it's just gonna have to go for it. 13 to, to four here for lack of options. What other four do we have? It also prevents our opponent from improving their prime or potentially easily making an advanced anchor. So I think we gotta fight for it. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. One, six, I think it's just gonna hop straight out. We can't afford to have a third checker there. Wants to play down instead. I think people fear being hit on that bar point, how many shots it's gonna give, but but it's, I don't know, okay. Oh, actually coming out to the 18 is a mistake here. That's interesting. I would not have found that. I, I have trouble leaving that extra checker back on the 24. Okay, Joe's gonna miss a cube here. But uh, finds double fives, which is good for the race, but causes some problems with uh, disconnecting his armies here. The 3-6 is going to hit and continue. Great shot for David. 
Three three is huge. That's going to advance the the anchor for sure. Go for distribution. Now having an advanced anchor in the racing lead, potentially shots. I think he's going to have a lot of cubes next roll. The four prime in front is pretty strong, but he's going to have a really hard time. David is splitting into all these checkers in the zone, so I think it's worth just doubling on the positional advantage here. I don't see much reason to leave the fly shot 6-6 six, six, and 6-5 six, here. So cleaning up 15 to 13 seems fine. Though it might get some double shots when our opponent comes to the outfield, so maybe worth being back there and 7 to 5 could be fine too. It looks front loaded to me though. Probably close. Uh, 7 to 5 slightly better. Good find by him. 3-2, no cube. Okay, we're just going to cruise through. And I think it seems like XG agrees with that too. I'm surprised. Feels like it would be important to get that in, but way early, 50-50 game behind this strong structure. Okay. So they both understand this position really well. Nice stuff from them. And not much else then, okay, sure. He can break instead of stacking up five to three. It's hard to see how that's ever going to develop. So he gives up the eight now to try to make the deuce later. Aces is a great shot, advancing and freezing all those builders. And coming down, getting closer to safety. 5-1. He's going to get a checker to the edge of the prime. Very nice. And then 8-3. to three. And with a racing lead, I don't think David can think about cubing this at all. And further back as well. It might look a little bit like a prime versus prime, but it doesn't tend to play like that when it's an advanced anchor. I don't see any problems for, for Joe yet. And yeah, surprisingly, Black is actually 63% favored here. I am not sure I would have guessed that. Being down so much in the race, it seems like just opportunities to roll a six and hop out are pretty huge here. And I don't see too much cracking threat yet. Uh, I'm also surprised he wants to come off the anchor so willingly. And this is correct too. This is two positions here where I would have stacked up 11 to five fearing being attacked. Um, so these players know what's going on in this position. Very strong with the checker play. Goes for mobility and sits on his prime instead. I guess that has a lot of merit to it. And now he wants to think about the cube again now that he might just have complete outfield control. Still 100 shy, getting really close to a money cube, but not quite. I don't think there either. 3-3, three, three, not the greatest shot for him. This can just clean everything up though and wait another roll. No six from Joe is going to be a real problem. Double twos is not good. Um, this can switch six to four and just put another checker on the deuce. I think that's going to be the best we can do with it. <laughs> and now the cube comes. A little bit early at the score, 75, but it must be good for money at this point. Um, yeah, the numbers seem like a solid double and take for money. So hopefully Joe's going to find the, the take of the score. And he does snap it up. And 6-2. Okay, fans, if Joe can get a 6, he'll be in great shape. 2-1 at least doesn't crack. Four, three, enters and hops out, controls the outfield, I think. Oh, he doesn't want to come out. He wants to be there for cracking numbers. Very interesting, okay. I guess that's reasonable, puts a little more pressure on. Six, three, finally escapes. And I feel like the four, three could have controlled the outfield better on rolls like this. Um, now it's just an eight to hit. Rolls a five, four. And so he has to decide if he wants to sit back or not. What is... Uh, can cover and slot the ace or just run past. Yeah, okay, goes for the safe play. And they're very close, okay. 5-4 gonna safety the blot. And Joe should be feeling pretty happy about his leading race in a regular 21 point game now that he's gotten a checker by. But uh, David's prime is still pretty strong and gonna generate a lot of wins that way. And gonna help Joe crack with this 4-3. But playable. Two two is going to probably just shuffle the checkers on the seven and five behind. I guess we could 
make the ace and slot the three might be an idea too. Looks a little better than, than this distribution to me for some reason, but uh, that seems to be fine. Yeah, making the ace a little bit better. 3-1 is going to crack further. Then what do we want to do with the ace? Maybe we should leave it back to have more numbers to clear up. But, uh, okay. Yeah, 5 to 1 best. 3-3, three, three, just going to shift to the deuce. Okay. Yeah, what better can we do? And then Joe follows up with a... With a 6-1 that's a little too late, gets to clean up with the ace at least, and needs to fade this attack. 5-4 is going to be able to hit. How bad does it want to, though? I guess against the three-point board, we have to try losing in the race, too. It's, I'm pretty sure this is mandatory. And I think the 9-4-5 comes in as well. What is he looking at? What, what is, oh, he's looking at clearing the 7. Yeah, so once he realizes he's still down 2 in the race, I think he's going to find that he needs to go for the attack. Uh, yes, I am transcribing as I go. XG does prefer the attack too. Yeah, I'll let you guys know if whatever I'm talking about is, is off. And I don't think this leads to any cube for Joe. Yeah, XG agrees there, too. Sure, it's tempting, but the three-point board, just not enough, of course. And gets the closeout after a fan. Looking nice. Might even win a gamut on this. Very nice sequence of events for David. So three in, and then do we want to play off or for distribution? Maybe he should go for a checker off to try to win a gamut here, given how close the gamut race is. It's going to be hard to win one if we don't go for it, if we don't play aggressively. 5-4 now, though, I don't, I mean, after our checkers are so deep, I think our gammons are down, and maybe that's just clearing the six is better at this point. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the preferred play now that we missed the opportunity to bear off earlier. And Joe should save all the gammons here, but likely to win the, or lose the game. 5 away, 12 away coming, pending some miracle. All right, 5 away, 12 away. Oh, I thought he resigned the game already. What happened there? Did I imagine that? Did I imagine him resigning the game? That's what I entered. Whatever. <laughs> it's over in my books. <laughs> oh, David tried to tell him he should resign. Maybe Joe didn't see it, so I asked him to roll it out. That's fair. Fair enough. No, you can't. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Maybe some play that I was talking about. If you're talking about transcribing, oh, yes, I can. How do you Ah, it just shows us in. Yeah. I got Ed, runner of the Gammon Guys shop, asking me about the camera over here. It's helping me with my books. I really appreciate that this weekend. Helps everyone selling books. Nice service he does. 5-3. I think he has a site, Gammon Guys or something, and Gammon stuff is advertised up there too. All right, trailing in a four-point board. We're going to have to think hard about a cube here. Oh, I just assume we're making the best four-point board. I guess we could anchor two. That's very close. 
six one gonna make the bar point? Is this enough threat? Sevens can lose, but I mean, trying this much in the match, I feel like we got to take a shot at it. And it's actually a pass already. Wow, that I'm not sure I would find this pass in David's shoes. And having seen like a bit of a lack of match adjustment already, I don't expect him to let this go either. I expect him to play it like money. And this is a very clear, like borderline double even, and a very clear take for money. So I, I'd be surprised to see David not play this out. It's only a 50 error to take it anyway. So he's not gonna be making too much of a mistake if he goes that way. But he does pass and protect his score line now. Okay, okay. Must have been something different going on in the last position he took that was a very big pass. Um, interesting stuff. Five three is gonna make a board point, eleven away, five away. Definitely some adjustments at this score. I wrote about this one in my book actually. I forget which score it's like. It's hard to remember all this stuff I wrote about. <laughs> I think it's more like five away, three away. And eleven away, seven away plays a little bit more like seven away, five away just as frame of reference. Goes for the slot here after the down play. Interesting, you could just split and challenge the outfield. 4-1 gonna hit and can link up the blots in the outfield. That seems like a nice play. 6-1, I feel, always feel like this is mandatory out to the bar, but I was wrong once today, that was weird. Okay, 3-1, probably making the five point is stronger, but we have also the 20 point and hitting is options. Hitting seems weaker when we already have the racing lead and a checker behind. And maybe that's also an argument, why do we need to play defense with the anchor when we're ahead anyway? 24-20, um, slightly stronger though, okay. 2-2, two, two. I guess there's an argument for it at the, at the leading score as well. Uh, only way to fight an anchor is with an anchor of your own, so uh, Joe's gonna go ahead and make the bar point. I think that seems quite reasonable. Six to four was a fine play along with it too. What is this? He makes a double ones, okay, very nice shot. 6-3 for Joe. And a 5-3 here is going to make the three-point, I believe. 5-1 can link up and take all of the attacking threat of our extra checker back away with the worst board. So I think, yeah, that looks good. Close race, too. He can still convert this into a leading race very easily. Um, only six pips ahead for black right now, or for white, sorry. 1-1, uh, one, one, not a great shot here. Potentially this is the best shuffling we can do, but we could also play four to deuce and keep the better point. That seems like a compelling option. Uh, both almost equal, but three to two shift is actually a little bit better according to XG here on the three ply. I probably would find this four to deuce play as well, but they're both close, of course. These are little technicalities. Can't make any big mistake there. Six, four. Uh, this one isn't gonna have to give something up. So maybe we just slot two points by breaking the eight. Looks like our best option. Two dogs having a conversation out there. Uh, we could just put a checker in front of the anchor too, but this must be fine to slot. A little bit better than 18 to nine here. Uh, and with two blots in board, uh, David's gonna be happy to volunteer. A little bit better to just play nine to six here as well. Interesting. Uh, racing leads, so we wanna find some way to clear. So why not just give up the 18, yeah, and play six to one? Sure, sure. Uh, five checkers to clear out though still, so. Nope. Gonna rethink it. I think his first instinct was best though. Oh, there he is. He's in the back left corner in the blue pin down. Julius Bosco. 
Interesting. I wonder if there's some other like place see that I'm not looking at that he's looking over. I imagine he's just counting pips under some strays. I got uh, Dennis Culpepper in the room asking what the race is. It's uh, he is down six pips before the roll, so it'll be ahead 14 after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dennis agrees that with the pip count, it's clear that we just want to break contact. It is hard to see how he's going to play follow-up rolls if he keeps the 18, though. But, like, White might have trouble. So it feels tempting. Yeah. Uh, 14 pips at, yeah. But yeah, I figured he'll find this play eventually and go with uh, the racing game plan, given he's got a lead in it. 6-2. This probably is going to... It could just slap the ace, but maybe releasing the midpoint seems strong, too. Staying a little more pure. Race is still reasonably close. 2-2 is going to make another outfield landing point. Uh, that's going to help the, the cause quite a bit. Looks very nice. I think I like this play best. I don't see any reason to volunteer a fly shot out in the outfield, anything like that. 5-5. Five, five. OK, this is going to give a small racing lead to David. So I think he should just pick up the, or hit the clock after this play with his six pip lead. We capitalize. It's not much, but it's enough, and we got to commit to our game plans that we're winning. And I don't think the contact, you know, eventually that'll play in favor of Joe, really, if he stays back with the racing lead in the most common variations. 6 5, gonna make a slight lead for Joe now. Back and forth in this game. Okay. Couldn't be closer in the race. 6 should fill in the 4 point, and then anything that brings a checker in, maybe 7 to 4 would be nice but uh, plays nine to six instead to get the efficient crossover. Six two, both players are gonna try to smooth out their distribution across the four, five, and six points. So five, three can play to the five and the four, something like this. I mean, lots of options here. They're all gonna be okay. And gonna play to the, okay. Did I miss something? Maybe had a different role than I thought? Or played something different last time? Sure. I'm not sure there. I'm trying to catch up on the transcription. <laughs> I guess it's not the end of the world if I dismiss that. Close race here in the end, huh? Yeah, but he's got pips, I think, to just move three from the six in the business to a ten of five. Look, six to five. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> Funny how that mirror con can work so well sometimes, yeah. you know? Yeah. Pretty close here. Just enough to have hope, okay. It's going to make it 9 away, 5 away. A little more life for, for Joe in this match. Split the standard there. The three should hit for sure. And then do we want to play down with the trailing match score? I guess so. I'm OK with that. Yeah. And two six is going to return hit. Three six is going to return fire from the bar. Lots of shots on that five point, though. Uh, so David with a small advantage to begin with here. 2-1, what can he do here? Does he want to anchor against all this? I suppose so, and can he afford to get a blot involved? Why, why not? Uh, this is an also an option, to just stay split and leave one in indirect range, it's not going to get hit. The, something like 23 in slot seemed reasonable too, but okay, all these splitting plays are much better. 4-1 is going to cover, and then he wants to hit with it as well. Okay, sure, sure. Leaving it direct anyway, why not? 5-6 gets an opportune fan. And trailing in the match, nine away, five away, we got to think about the cube. We're still down one pip. We have three back to two back, and we're pretty impure. So it clearly doesn't look like a money cube. Is there enough threat in here? Do we think we're winning this? Uh, their opponent not having developed at all. Yeah, I, I mean, it seems OK, but maybe a little bit early still. It's actually a 93 double at the score. Interesting. Yeah, he's going to find it and send it. OK. Nice find. and. We're going to get a pass from David instantly. Okay, this is a huge take on this one. A little bit over adjustment there. So nice find for David. Or for Joseph, sorry. Nice find for Joseph. And 6-2 going to open with the split, I presume. 3-1, always tempting to hit after sixes, but making the five points a little better, unless it's the 6-4, and sometimes not true at some scores, I think. I don't know. 
Wins more gammons. Okay, this I think is worth splitting here now that our opponent's got a checker escapes. The five is down for sure. Um, before the board gets stronger, oh, you should just play down. It's uh, not a score thing, I don't think, either. It just wins more, wins more gammons, doesn't really lose more gammons. Um, yeah, so not under pressure to split quite yet when he could be attacking that back checker instead. Okay, interesting one. I might have got tricked by that as well. I think this is going to be required to hit loose, even though we're slightly ahead in the race and outboarded. Um, it's just such a nice use of the ace, but he decides to just step up instead. Uh, very close, fine play, but was indeed a little bit better to attack. 24 to 23 is our best ace. Maybe 6 to 5 is a little better. Okay. 2 5 can hop out to the bar or down. Sure, that's good for distribution. No need to create extra hidden covers. They're very close, though. Uh, what is this? 5 1 is going to make a point. Okay, strong play. What is 5 1 going to do for David? Uh, ooh, very severe lack of good aces. So he's going to hit loose there and also play 13 to 8 with it instead of coming out. Okay, sure, sure. 4 1 going to return fire and Joe going to miss a cube on that one. Uh, better board, a whole bunch of shots. 5 4, this might have been a lucky loser. One way or another, I think we got to hop out here. We can't afford to keep playing around with checkers on the front now that we're so front loaded. And has, this is the only play that he found where he has like a break even take kind of thing. So Joe gonna need to find, at least on three ply, plus plus might change his mind, but it's a .013 take still. That should be the difficult decision here. And I think Joe's gonna find the cube with threats and a better board and a racing lead. He has a little bit of everything here. And gonna take it, okay. Right on that borderline to take pass, so fine decision for him. Gets to anchor up, was hoping to continue the attack, but this will do. Uh, best deuce, sure, down. Not really any good options. Is there any play B? I don't think so. So 2-3 is gonna allow David to hit here now and continue around and, and get a little bit of ground in this game. Now he has a racing lead and one checker entirely escaped even though he's outboarded has a hope of just running and racing. 1-2 looks like it's going to play down and try to contain that checker. Love to have a checker on the 11 when our opponent's trying to escape to the outfield. 1-6, what can this do? It can make the bar point, but it has to volunteer shots. At least it interacts with the blot on the 24 well. It leaves a shot no matter what, too, so this must be our best to make another blocking point like the play. Yeah, just hitting on the ace is an option, too, I guess. But uh, that's XG's second best play, but quite a bit behind. Awkward position he's found himself in, for sure. Very stacky and struggling to come home naturally. So yeah, this seems like it's going to make the most progress toward racing, which is his ideal game plan. Four or five, sure, we can hit for tempo. Our opponent has a blot around. Why not? And then the five, I guess, just comes in. Attacking seems like a nice game plan and gives us time to maybe roll the ace to, to pick up a second blot. 1-6, I think probably just safety one blot and play with one instead of two. Not a bad shot at all for David. 6-2, that can cover our slotted point. And then what's a nice deuce? This opens up double sixes and double threes and leaves a whole bunch of fly shots. Maybe just stepping up or something like this could be better to see the light. Um, slotting also allows him to maybe escape with tempo. I don't know, I'm inclined to just play something like 24 to 22. And actually just running's a fine play too, just 24 to 16 for all these reasons. Um, eight to six, eight to two, cleaning up is fine and everything else is starting to get to be a mistake. It just leaves a little bit too much. Too many fly shots. 2-5 survives it though. Uh, looks like the best we can do with this is just stack up the, the six. We might like a tempo hit, but against a four point board, I don't think we can afford it. Um, Joe can though, he's just gonna go for the attack, try to freeze all those outfield checkers and win a gammon. I like to play with the four point board, what can go wrong? So seven's to cover, 2-1. 
Do we want to maybe just eight to six as part of it, and then we could play 11 to 10 to interact and attack well that way too. But making the eight doesn't seem like the right point, like the right builder here. Um, he chooses to play 13 to 12 instead to take off of the 4-6, but I think it's better to worry about the offense. 2-6 is going to fan, okay. And 1-1 one, one can't cover, but it can make the 10. So I think we're going to do that and maybe play 6-5, to five, something like this. Just uh, It's such a nice point to have. 24 to 23 is okay with a two, but six to five just a little bit better. We don't really like to be on the 23 point with that back checker. Yeah, finds the best play here. Four or five, okay. Enters and makes a bid at freedom. Uh, and gonna need a, what is it, a 10? No, an 11 or a one. And rolls a five, two. Okay, can't hit it. And so a little bit of life for David now basically even race and trying to contain three back, but still has some work to do to to improve his board and bring this home against that back checker, the anchor and goalkeeper formation. Two four gonna enter and cover, that seems natural. Six five can't quite get to safety. So what can it do? It could make a point. It could play safe. No, no, there is no safe play. So we could also tempt the anchor somehow? I don't know. It just seems more, why not make a board point and try to make progress that way, given that we have to leave a shot no matter what. We do leave two blots this way, but we only still minimize number of hits. I like this idea. Actually better to... Oh, we can play with one blot and hit loose and play 16 to 11. Interesting. Interesting alternative that XG finds there. The pointing makes a lot more sense to me. This feels like the human play. 4-3 is going to hit on the bar, though. Okay, that's a great step in the right direction for Joe. Back onto threatening gammons. 4-3, what can this do? This can hop out to reduce shots, I think. Yeah. I like that play. Doesn't get returns when hit, but minimizes the number of numbers that hits. And much better than being pointed on to be closed out as well on something like a 4-1. So he's going to hit the start and then just come off the anchor. Yeah, I think maximum mobility makes a lot of sense. I don't think he needs to play this super safe. Everything else is going to have to bury a checker somewhere, take it out of play. We want to close out and win a gammon right now. We have a five-point board against a three-point board, so we can take some liberties. David finally fans, and Joe in good shape in this one. I think he'd like to, maybe he can just make the 15 if he wants, but uh, getting direct view of that extra blot in the outfield field is very nice too. I'm not worried about leaving shots with it. I'm worried about when my opponent fans, I want to hit that checker. So the best way to hit it is probably 18, 13, and then 16, 15, or something like this. But he finds a way to clean up a little bit and you know, kind of balance attacking. 2015 7 6 is a little bit better. Okay, interesting. 3 3 is a fan, and 6 1 is going to hit indirect. Nice roll. Now all he has to do is close out. He'll be happy if David enters with a 4 to attack and hit loose now to prevent the anchor. What is this? 2 2. 2 2 could switch, maybe. Is it so important to close it out? I don't know if it slows us down enough. It seems like some chance of losing to not do that. So, But I mean, of course, this can't be too bad to just uh, try to close out, leave the point slotted. I think switching would be better than lifting as well. We, we break that gap, though. That's really nice. OK, he's going to look at the lift play instead. 6 to 4 to 2. Yeah, 2016, 6 4 2 is best here. OK, very interesting. I would have looked at the switch first. Gets another fan, but he's getting close enough to around that, yeah, leaving the shot maybe not worth as much. Doesn't need the close out to win a gammon, so I understand why he's looking for safer plays like that. Can still lose against the three-point board if he gets really unlucky. 5-1 is going to play 11-6 to six and then 10-9, to nine, I do believe, to maximize pointing and closing rolls. Might create some awkward 5-5s five and things like that, though. 
Five two is a good one. Shouldn't be any shots on the next roll here. Hopefully he gets to take checkers off. Four three. Does he need to fight hard for the gamut? Not really. So maybe he can afford to play something like seven four five one. Or he can peel. But I think maximum safety seems fine when the gammon's pretty certain if he can just play safe. XG has a small preference for peeling there. Guess his opponent's board isn't so strong to threaten much either, so that kind of pushes you back towards playing aggressive. 3-2, looks like it's just going to clear. Safety again. 6-6, six, six. oh, this can save some gammons. Maybe the gammon wasn't so certain. 4-1, going to take one, uh, two off. A gammon would give Joe maybe, I mean, I don't know if it's his first match lead, but the first one in a while. This is a 5-2, 3-1, okay. Four two gonna take two off, six one. Alright, four four is gonna make a little effort at the gamut. I don't know if that gained a roll or not. I don't think so. Still leaves three rolls, so huge favorite for uh, David, but he can't get two crossovers. That's a big problem. Gonna leave some chances. Joe likely to have two opportunities to roll a set take the lead or it'll be six away five away really close match not sure what the best ace is here is anything I mean we have fours when we're on the eight so maybe 11 to 10 is a little better yeah save some sets sure six four going to bring two into the four and as long as Joe doesn't want a set he'll have to save the gammon four one not good enough Six away, five away. We got people asking for PRs again. I don't like sharing PRs when I also fucked up a game real bad, so, uh, so I don't actually know what it is. But I'm mostly just transcribing for the plays anyway. PRs in one match don't mean that much. I guess in a 19 point match, they matter a little more. Both play in pretty similarly, pretty well. Not Grandmaster stuff, but uh, sharp enough. I think their biggest issues have just been some score cubes and kind of in the middle of the match, though both of them seem to be understanding the score plays very well now. 6-4, this looks like it's gonna point on head. Six away, five away is not a score that we adjust too much at though, um, even with the deficit this doesn't, I mean, it'll change on recube, so there's a little bit of effect there, but, but not threatening to get to the end of the match with a gammon or anything like this, so a little bit awkward that way. Wants to step into it and be attacked, interesting. I guess maybe that's better than starting another blot by a small amount, but 13 to nine seems like a candidate to avoid being hit loose in the board. Five, one, uh, oh, it can hit once or twice. What's our preference? Making the point seems kind of nice, even though it doesn't interact with the deuce that well. 3-2, do we want to keep the anchor or not? I think hitting and being only against eight in the zone, this seems fine. Five two is going to enter. Oh, we could have split a bunch. Maybe we should enter high and go for an anchor instead. No, okay, this is best. Brings the checker into the zone. I'm not sure why we don't want to enter high into those stacks. 5-4 can enter the midpoints. 5-2 can just, could just bring us fair to the six, but uh, we're pretty strict in the outfield. I really want to get the back checkers moving. Surprised that's not more of a priority here. Yeah, now we really need to play 23-18, 8-6 to six was best play there by quite a bit. Um, that makes more sense to me. 6-1 just going to escape instead of making the bar point. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a mistake as well. 6-5, uh, punished immediately by getting to make this advanced anchor. 3-3 three, three going to solve a lot, though. Uh, maybe we're going to put pressure on that back checker, or do we need to unstack the, the midpoint here? Wow, this is tricky. I mean, it's so nice to have the beautiful three-point board, but six checkers on the midpoint is quite a liability, and it's going to be hard to bring home safely. Maybe... Maybe... 
and he finds the best play there. Three one makes a very nice board point as well. Two one can play down to the ten. Five four can just clear the midpoint. Okay, and it's uh, black with a or sorry white with a small racing lead here, but not enough to full commit to it. But I think he will still play safe here, down to the eight and up to the six. But needs to develop that mountain on the six for sure. It's getting to be a problem. Five three can start a point and bring a checker in. How about from the eight to maximize uh, distribution and covering numbers? Four one isn't gonna improve much. What can we do with this? Yeah, just hit loose. We could also just park it in front and get more on stacking. Play to the five and the deuce. Be like that a little better, but playing from the six somehow seems strong. Both candidate moves. Three four can just link up. Uh, well, doesn't want to stay deeper and play for more contact. I guess that's an option, but he can also just hop out to the to the bar point uh, with a close race. That's always tempting, but he's got this four point board that makes me really want to uh, exploit contact a little more. It just feels weird not to link up. Let's see what XG thinks of that. That is the best play to play for the contact. Nice find. 5-2 is a great shot, though. It's going to hit and cover the A's. Uh, what is he? He's clearing. He doesn't see that he can hit and cover the A's, apparently. He wants to also look at... No, making the point. This is going to make a lot of builders for this. Yeah, but just uh, making another board point and dealing with that ace point liability... Now even when you can make the three point, you're like scared to do so because you're going to leave a shot. So covering that ace feels urgent. It also takes some pips away in a very close race. Maybe if he was, I, I can't really think of the scenario where this would be stronger. I think we really want to, and we actually have a chance to bring our opponent higher, entering on the four instead. But we do also risk our opponent entering a little deeper on the 23 for contact. So it goes both ways a little bit. Yeah, that's going to be a 113 there. Uh, and double six is big swing on that, that's forced, but he's got a huge racing lead now. And just needs to clear the bar point successfully to cash in on this game. I don't think he's going to have early cubes even, uh, well yeah, not that much of a trailing score anyway. Five four is going to cover and probably bring a checker in. I think that's better than playing to the deuce, but we could save a six. But I, I think we want to build a board very quickly to capitalize on contact. But fear is leaving the, like leaving something on a six instead. Small error there as well. XG prefers just starting the points. Okay. Um, sure. Tough to run there. Okay. Sixes is going to turn the race back around. Still pretty close, but really impure. So contact, I think, favoring blue here. Joe wants to see all those checkers. What does he roll? 5-5 five, five is going to take care of the race escapes and with the wastage that black has he has a 12 pip lead but more with all that more like 16 so likely to have a cube next roll after this too five two probably counting the race and figuring that out right now and i expect it should be a nice double and a huge pass yeah and he rolls it instead interesting okay This is a sizable cube there. Yeah, we can play six to four for distribution instead of in. Uh, we never have fours that we play in. So we like to solve that with our last one coming in there. Even though the crossover is nice. Um, lost some pips in the race, so he should still have a cube and still has a monster pass if he figures out to send it. Uh, but he rolls again. Wow, this is surprising. I guess he's just counting the raw pip, pip count and seeing that he's only three ahead. But uh, the wastage is very significant for, for David in this position. Uh, gained some pips here. 
so maybe he can find it now. Full seven pips ahead, so I think even if he's just going by raw pip count, he's going to know that he has a cube now. send it and I expect David can probably find an easy pass here but we'll see how he understands racing formulas and distribution and all this but it is it's only he's got like 11 and a half percent it shows how big the wastage can be in a position like this where seven might feel like a close to a, a take pass but I mean this is very bad hard to win much more than 10 percent here for David and he drops it and even scoreline now, 5 way, 5 way. We're going to play a five point match for the semifinals of the Super Jackpot. Funny how often it comes down to this. Two for Joe to open, just our standard splitting play. One four is going to hit, and then option of down or up. Four four. Well, this is tricky. It can hit loose or it can make a point somewhere. Maybe hitting loose twice? Hmm. Continuing the ace seems a little straight, like suspect to me. Maybe we could step up a bit. But uh, that's the best play. Not too often that hitting twice with the, the fours there is right, but uh, picked up two and so many, no other better option. Okay, good response to enter and hit on the bar point. Good find by Joe earlier there. And 6-1, uh, David gonna need an anchor of his own, but entering on the ace and hitting pretty strong. No one has any boards yet to be too worried about leaving blots around. 4-2 is gonna make a point. Why not enter on the 21 and make the 11? And again, pressure somewhat on David to make an anchor of his own. 4-3 doesn't do it yet. It can make a point behind, though, and have the first you know, threat of a board here. 5-1, small racing advantage for Joe as well. So yeah, just getting some mobility with three checkers back when you're ahead in the race seems to make a lot of sense. Contains the outfield in case his opponent hops out to there, too. 4-1, uh, maybe it's time to make a bid for an anchor. I really... We could play down and our opponent doesn't have fives otherwise. I, I kind of want to just play them all in in my, like from the 24 and 22. 13 to eight looks a little too passive here. I'm worried my opponent's just gonna have more checkers in the zone later and maybe a board point. I would like to just split 24 to 23. Oh, this is, I actually didn't look at this, but 22, 18 with a 24 to 23 split is really strong here. He's gonna get a ton of returns from the bar even if he does get hit on the bar. And his opponent, Joe is going to have to break the mid or the 11 to hit most of the time. So, okay, but he finds a slot along with it, duplicates some aces, that must be okay. And indeed, 22 to 18, 24, 23 was best, and shuffling around from the back checker is fine as well. 5 3, that's going to hit on the bar. So now just sixes from the bar hit back as well as sevens. This is going to cover, take a checker off the 23, I believe. And I think splitting to the 22 is a little stronger here than making the 23. Once our opponent starts to make deep points, we can think about making the 23 as well. But it's too easily primed. So stepping a little forward with the better board especially, I think worth it here. Nice play. 4-4 four, four wants to attack somehow. Can it, it could make the three. It feels like a little bit of a waste of 
of this number. Uh, what better can we do, though? I guess, yeah, what is our last one when we do this, too? It's very tempting to just make like the seven and the deuce or something like this. I'm not sure. Maybe there's some better option out there. Uh, seven and nine is actually the best option. We can block that split by playing it that way. Yeah, I, I don't see what our last four is when we attack. It just looks very weak. So I think he's wise to rewind it and look for a better play here. Yeah, I guess this is the only four if we're going to go for the attack. One four, I think, still needs to make a bad bid for a high anchor. Um, of course, we can't park on the 24 and stay there. Um, so I'm entering on the 21 and then thinking about my ace, which appears to be just to the 20 to keep an anchor of some sort. Five six can make the seven point or the deuce point. And with the 24 still made, I kind of like making the seven point here and keeping my my priming potential alive. The deuce is a little deep and doesn't interact with the eight all that well. We're sad we did that after our opponent rolls a four and anchors. So yeah, I like that play. Close behind though is it making the deuce. Four six, we have to anchor. That's where we're gonna start. And then we're gonna find any six we like from there, which is gonna be 13 to seven for lack of options. Not too bad to have to volunteer in front of the anchor, though. Our opponent has to give something up if they choose to hit. Uh, no strong aces here. Maybe we should just switch to the ace. I'm not sure keeping the deuce and playing 8-7 to seven is so much better. We could at least take a tempo away and maybe buy some time to hit that checker on the bar. Make it a little harder to cover. Feels better than nothing. So, yeah, switching is going to be best here. Finds it. Nice play by Joe. 4-2. It feels like down so much in the race we want to enter deep for contact now. And maybe leaving checkers in front is not so bad with our opponent's relatively weak board. So something like 23 and 9 seems okay to me. It's big, but I, I think we have to go for something like this and try to get some priming value. And seven to three better, okay. Thirteen to nine is a big overplay. Yeah, it would be a blunder to play thirteen to nine instead. And optional to just play seven to five with the twenty four to twenty one as well. We can't afford to play so loose. Okay. Fair enough. Double twos. Well, yeah, we're going to start by making the four, and then do we continue and hit or just play for distribution? Both seem fine. With a big racing lead, we reduce the contact zone, I guess, but it's better to hold the four point, according to XG here, by quite a bit. It is hard to follow up on this when our opponent just enters. We're still threatening the deuce point. He might just break contact for us on his own. Three, four, not a lot of options. Could come in higher as well, but I don't see a big difference there. 3-3, three, three. this cannot, well, it could make a point in attack, but it also could just escape for the race. Yeah, probably with the cube not having been turned yet, it's hard to pass up 21 to, to 15 and just try to cube later. This maybe wins more gammons or something like that um, and could be worth it if we send the cube over there, but even that's dubious to me, yeah. I think it wins 14% gammons or something like this, but at the expense of 11, of about the same number of wins, so just a little too loose. So yeah, I think our plan, I think the cube position is gonna help us find it, but clear either way that we should just disconnect and try to race. It's our best game plan here. Five, three, what is uh, David's plan now? Sure, to play like this. I think Cube's coming. I don't know if he wants to take after anything he does. I guess a little work to clear this and bring this home still. 
and it's actually like break even. Interesting. It's only it's like a little bit shy of a cube. This looks pretty threatening with a 36 pip lead though. 19 double. I wonder if you guys can see that ad showing up on the screen. Cool. Backgammon 101. Trying to go through what is market losers are going to be. If I saw these numbers, I'd be way less inclined to send this cube. This is interesting. I thought this was a little bit stronger. Um, but I guess, yeah, it's really like kind of reflects on the impurity of having made that deuce point earlier and how much long term, uh, how it's going to be hard to bring home after that. So if we have the four point, this feels a little more threatening, right? If we're like threatening to make the, the deuce after it. But our threats to make the three point now are pretty weak. He is going to find the cube. We'll see if David recognizes this is an easy take. Does snap it up, okay. And Joe definitely going to have a lot of awkward rolls. And a 4-3, Frank patiently waiting to potentially play in the next match. He plays the winner of this. 4-3 going to point on head. OK, this could be a market losing sequence. Uh, David survives it, though. Three probably just going to come in or start the deuce. Both seem fine. Shift to the ace. I'm not sure why this would be best here. It's actually going to come in as a blunder. Yeah, anything five to two best, eight to five, okay. But this just uh, unslots the point that you want to make the most. I'm not sure what the idea was with that. But uh, five two is going to find some freedom. Sure, sure. Not that exciting when you're so far down in the race. You really just need to make the board. Four two is coming home nicely. So Joe will likely have an opportunity to just volunteer from the 15 point at some point. OK, he gets the cover now and makes six away contact. Is he down enough in the race for this to really be best? Maybe. I'm not sure, though. He could also stay back. XG seems to like it. Not too far off to just play something else like 13-1-8-4 is a good candidate. 5-4. He is not going to volunteer. Okay. Going to save a 6 outside. Do not have to volunteer for a little longer. And David's going to get a little more time to try to make his 4 and deuce point. In with the 4 and slot with the 8. Okay. Okay. 2-5. I think we're just being patient. I don't think he wants to give up his 6 yet. We'll see if he wants to save his 6 that bad. Only 26 pips ahead in the race now. Um, so seven to two, three to one looks like a pretty natural play to me. If we get forced off of the six later, so be it. Our opponent's board isn't that good anyway. I don't think he's thinking about volunteering now either. Six, 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 five, six, one, all covers, six, three lifts. Um, so it seems a bit rich, but it doesn't seem too bad. It does get by with one. So why volunteer when that's the worst we're going to have to do later anyway? 15 eight, actually not a bad play there. Very close. Interesting. 5-2, going to do the natural thing, make the five-point board. We're going to be forced to come around against the worst or against the stronger board now. So regretting not going for it last time a little bit. Not enough to recube, I guess, but maybe it could be. But 5-1 is going to hit. And when our opponent fans, we're going to have a nice claim as, as white checkers here. And four, here comes the cube. And should be a pretty simple pass for Joe. And on to 5 away, 3 away.
Five, three, gonna start with the points. Joe's definitely gonna be sending earlier cubes. Gonna be hard for David to find a cube at three away, five away leading. So we're having, as we near match end, definitely a big impact on those actions. Gonna hit and play down or split? Splits to challenge the bot, sure. Seems fine. Both seem like nice candidates. Aces is gonna punish the, the split though. And I think probably split himself as well. Putting a lot of pressure on that blot on the bar. 1-5, what can this do? I guess it's gonna be forced to hit loose on the deuce. We're leaving a direct shot either way. And 2-4 is a nice entry, sends another checker back. And this kind of volatile game, I guess we're, when David wins it, a lot of gammons are in play. It can be hard to find a cube, but if he can get like into something a little nearer the end game, I think he'll have good threats here. Enters, makes the anchor at the edge, and now, uh, yeah, if he can, I'll have to escape the safety to find this one. This looks like, oh, he can go out and hit and send a third checker back. Yeah, maybe that's better, especially at the trailing score line. We go from three back to two back to switching that and having an advantage in the game. So sure, let's go for it. It's almost exactly even after this play. Nice find by Joe. It's hard to, to even look past just making the anchor in such a threatening position. Three, three fans, wow. I don't think this is enough, bad enough to uh, cube even at the trailing score line. And if anything, I think Joe's been a little conservative with the cube. Anchoring and advancing 15 to 4, 14 seems nice. And still not, not a terrible roll, but not much of an improvement. Still a lot of work to do, still plenty of game for David. Gonna anchor up, and now he's gonna be in here plenty. No cube coming anytime soon, even with the direct six shot. 6-3 six, gonna hit and continue. I guess it could come around the bend as well. well yeah, why do we want to make a five stack? Maybe that's better. Maybe we should go for the diversification. Uh, is there any difference on the shot leaving numbers? No, they're both not really decent duplication of both with entering numbers, so. Yeah, I like this. Both very close, but. Extra blot worth it here. We can make a second anchor. Do we need to do that? Are we, we're not done down so many, but okay. He can also hit when he does this, so. Nice find there, gets a fan out of it, and gonna continue to play forward, I'm pretty sure. 4-3, gets the cover and hit. Looks beautiful. Could hit in the outfield, so I guess he's considering that, but putting a second up and making a board point just seems a little bit stronger here. Three, six fans. Okay, and now he's very much in the driver's seat. Leading score with so many checkers back. Wow, for money, I feel like I would send this cube. This is pretty scary. Can I afford to do it when my gammons are so reduced and recubes are coming in a long game? I'm not sure. I would be afraid to send that as well. Six, one is gonna run out to hit, and it seems like when he gets his best sequences, he's just gonna end up too good as well. So he is right on the cusp of a cube there. 26, 13, clear money pass becomes a uh, a nice, uh, oh, he fans again? Wow, really unlucky for Joe here. Uh, easy take that Joe would have had there at the score if he can find it, but for money, that would be a pass. That would have been a tough one for him to find. Could have put him in a tough spot, David could have, by sending it there, but now he's just gonna play on too good for the foreseeable future. Sure, let's get something in the, in the zone somehow to try to prevent that 23-point anchor. Ace three, okay. Maybe he'll just prime with how many checkers he has to bring around. So maybe the five is, or it's better to make, but uh, he's gonna attack it instead. Hits and steps up, seems fine. Yeah, better to make the prime there with how much that he has to bring around. Five one, can cover the deuce, sure, in advance. Yeah, he should have. Gets a fan. 5-3 advances both the back checkers. Or can play down like this, okay, sure. At least advance one of them. Six two is gonna slot the back. Okay, he does still wanna make that prime. Doesn't pay off too bad to an A6. Four one is gonna come out and make the six prime, I suppose. Things are looking good for David. 
aces, though. OK, this is a little bit of counterplay. Every now and then he can construct a prime and get his opponent stuck back there, but needs, needs David to crack as well. OK, so actually wants him to enter probably more. But at least this does buy time to hit loose on the four now and make him enter deeper. I think we have to go for it. What else do we have? He can hit twice. Interesting. I didn't even think about that. Does that help? Maybe we, does it bust up his timing? Probably. I think we still want to do that and have all his checkers have to come in deep. But uh, yeah, it looks scary to go for. Yeah, that can happen. And look at this. It's actually better to play 13, 9, 12 to 7 and work on the prime this way. Oh, that's a very interesting play that I, would, uh, I don't think I would have found. 13-4 without the hit is a big mistake. Wow. Uh, best, Kent is saying he likes hitting both, and you should just pass after that. But you have a small take after 13-9-12-7. It's your best priming play. It's really interesting. Yeah. What you're trying to do is... That's hard to find. Get white to come in deep and crack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, what does David think of this now? He's considering, yeah, 116 blunder after this, but he does still have a take, it says, okay. But, but David should have a... Yeah, there's hotel music in here, GL. I think people can hear that on the stream somehow, too. But there's hotel playing music playing in here somewhere. This is a difficult cube to find. This feels like it's either going to be too good or not good enough every time. If I looked at the numbers, I wouldn't have any easier time sending this. 70% wins and 40% gammons. And we should double because we can get a take somehow. Uh, but he plays on. That seems fine. Not a big error at, at stake there. 4-4 four, four fans. OK, we're back to too good pretty clearly, I do believe. Enters. And what's the out to the bar seems the most mobile. Sure, sure. 5-6. And yeah, there really are some backgammons for the match at risk here now. Two's going to step up, 18 to 14. A little bit of priming threat. Hard to crack here, though. Easier to crack last turn. <laughs> Six one is going to hit. OK. That's going to generate a few more backgammons. I'm not even sure that entering for Joe helps all that much right now, though. Kind of happy to camp on this position. Three should advance from the back and maybe four around the bend or to the 14, either way. Just finding flexibility here, making sure we don't get primed. This seems to be the best of the two. Ace deuce, okay. Never going to save the gamut naturally, so we don't care too much about entering quickly here. Two two, bringing checkers in somehow seems nice, but okay, we can play two down to the nine twice. Okay, can't be a big difference. One one, this is gonna improve our prime a little bit. Why not eight to seven twice? This is like a gammon saving play that we make here with thirteen to twelve twice, but I don't think the crossovers are gonna cut it. Yeah, um, not too far, not too big of a difference because it's I don't know. We'll have time to repair later. Two in seems great, why not? I guess he could also play to the six point instead, but I like the looks of that distribution. Yeah, this just looks weird to create a bunch of inner gaps. I'm not sure why this would be better. I'm gonna take a look at it though. Five two can slot the next point and board. That seems pretty strong. Again, okay, so he's looking for some sort of I'm not sure what this is. Maybe trying to make the bar instead, yeah. Yeah, it seems strong, but he also doesn't get the crossover, so I'm not sure what he's prioritizing there exactly. 2-1 uh, should just come in from the rear, I think. You could think about clearing the bar, but I don't really know why I want to give my op opponent an opportunity to roll a 6 here. I think I'm happy to keep my prime a little longer. Six four is going to be forced to play deep now. I guess both from the eight makes the most sense to me. He finds it here. Okay. Starts two good board points. Three two gets to clear safely. One step closer to bearing off. 
And a six up is very strong and gets to make the four point as well. Two, two can clear a point, okay. Yeah, the distribution looks a little scary after doing a bunch of ripping. But it sure is tempting when we want to win backgammons. Maybe we could keep the six point. Uh, XG likes safe as well. Six off, five to three really does look nice to me though. Yeah, not too far behind. It only wins 0.3 more backgammons when we peel a checker here. And wins almost a full 1.2%. It sure is hard to judge these. <laughs> not like we have these numbers. We're working on relying on some sort of rule of thumb to get this right. Also, clearing the 6 to the 4 leaves a stack of 7 on there, which just, how can that be right to have? Like, I mean, usually a stack of 5 is too much, 6 we hate, 7 is just awkward. But he does find the best play. Tricky one to find for me. I'd probably end up peeling there somehow. Five out, slotting the bar seems nice, but he's just going to come out for the backgammon crossover. Um, also reasonable now. We do need to worry about that a little bit. Oh, just covering nine to two is actually strongest there. Okay. We don't really need to worry about it. Strength. Five off forced, four to two for distribution looks nice. Good roll for David. Still threatening. Joe doing some good backgammon saving work. 5-6, going to take off both from the back. That's very nice. Uh, should be safe for a long time now on David's side. 5-3 could just, OK, can cover. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, we slotted that, why not? Cover the outfield somehow. Yeah, I don't mind the 16 to 13. That's going to be a nice uh, outfield containment checker later. Four off, and then, yeah, two checkers off the four. Looks very nice, nice and even. We can slot the back now and get two checkers in range of covering. That seems pretty good. But we're just going to cover the outfield instead, too. OK, also a reasonable idea. Gets maximum crossovers, most likely. 5-3 going to be forced, two checkers off. Backgammon is still possible. Six in, slot the back, sure, that looks very nice. 3-1, going to get us one closer step to clearing the four. And we're even two now. But sets are a bit scary. But they do threaten a lot of backgammons. Is it time to go with one yet? I don't think so. I think we only lose on this mostly. Um, they're very close though. It does start to save like a significant chunk of backgammons. 4 1 clears naturally, okay. 5 4 can come around and close the bar, yeah. And I think he's got to wait until the, the backgammon is imminent. 2 1. What's the best to do with this? I guess we can hit and take one off to be one roll closer to winning a backgammon. Maybe our opponent just enters high. If we make the point and our opponent fans a quarter of the time, then we're going to leave a lot of shots. Um, so maybe the risk of our opponent entering again on the ace is not that great. Maybe it is worth just taking a checker off. And I think I want to hit while I do it too. Yeah, three to one, one off is best by quite a bit. Tricky, though. We have three compelling plays. Just take a checker off with no hit seems like worst. We got to take some chance at getting him out of our hair. This can't really be all that close. No. Kent asking if it's close. It's uh, pretty strong in favor of hitting and, and taking a checker off. But making the ace wins the most games, for whatever that's worth. Yeah. 2.5% of the time after hit and, lift and take off. Not too many backgammons here, but it's possible. Three 
favorite either way to win a gammon as well. So close to making the best play on his way. <laughs> okay, get center deep and keep the contact. Okay. So this is what he feared with the play, but uh, still can win backgammons here too. So there's something to it. <laughs> Six five, I think we just saved the BG and run. Yeah. Not a lot of gammon save here, but it's possible. Needs an ace, that would help a lot. Threes will do it. Ooh. Where was that a turn ago? All right, on to Crawford. Five away, one away, Crawford. Are they going to take a short break here? Okay, okay. Hmm? Did he play that well? There, yeah. Well, wait, wait, which one? Who are you rooting for? I'm David's one. <laughs> I don't know if I can allow you. Yeah, you can't tell him. But I mean, they're playing pretty sharp. Yeah, they've had like, I think the biggest things have been some score cube kind of things like that. But the 2 1 was right, if that's what he was worried about, you know? But, I yeah. wasn't worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you play at all? A little bit. I play yeah. with friends and my kids. Uh, but, and David doesn't really. Never play David, though? <laughs> oh, I have played with David. But David, David, David plays bridge. Yeah, okay. David plays Okay. David trades on Wall Street. I mean, this is like yeah. little things he does. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. play this a lot, but not anymore. Yeah, yeah. Years ago, he did. Uh, well, that's so. pretty good. Being yeah. someone that like used to play a lot, but plays a little less now, like he's playing really sharp. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's awesome. I'm just curious. Okay. Yeah. I'll have most of the match file if he wants it too, if he uses XG or anything. So, you can come talk to me. Nice to meet you. David, yeah, friend uh, or wife. <laughs> Hopefully it's like, both, right? It's like the old, are you pregnant? This kind of stuff. You know, you really tiptoe through the tulips. Yeah, just don't even go anywhere. That's why I said
Oh, here we go. All right. Thank you, GL. 6-4 after the 5-3 point, we make the point with it as well. We don't have as much race to run to, anything like this. 6-6, six, six, okay. Big lead for David. And it's going to be tough, but I think uh, Joe's going to need to split here pretty badly to have an anchor to compete with this, even with the worst board and so much material in the zone attacking. 4-3 looks like it should point on head and takes a stab at winning the game outright now. A fan's going to be a disaster. 5-6 hit back, hits back, though, so Joe's still alive in the game. Nice shot. 1-6 likely best it can do. OK, it can hit. It can hit on the bar. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go ahead and go for that. 2-6, nice return shot. We're in a hitting contest, and David happy to be in one with the better board for sure. 4-1, I think is going to make a bid for the, the five point, yeah. Hits loose. 5-2 going to hit twice. Wow, what a shot. Sends a bunch back, but but uh, David's board is permanent. It's pretty strong looking, always has an anchor too. So he's going to have a lot of life in this game regardless. He thinks about hitting loose in the board instead. OK, but yeah, I think hitting on the bar point is called for there. Ooh, what do we got? 3-2 is going to enter one. OK, leave the other on the board. Double threes, what can this do? It can point on head and make the five point. That seems pretty strong. We don't have any way to prevent the four point anchor, so I think this seems best. Really hoping that he doesn't make either of these. David uh, has a lot more life if he can land on the Acer 4 now. 4-2. Four, That's going to be strong. And this is going to be hard to bring around for Joe, but of course has a nice position here. Maybe switching to the ace is worth it here to prevent this second anchor and board, reduce contact a little bit. And we can play 13 to 9 to make sure that our opponent doesn't camp on the 22 point either. I like this play. 5 6 fans, okay. Just looking for ways to make the three point now. 3 2 could bring another checker down, why not? Yeah, I like this. Double fives close now. I guess fives worked anyway. 5-5 five, five fans for David. 6-1, what can this do now? Uh, I can't move the midpoint at all, so it's practically forced. Seems like 17 to 11 is going to be part of it. And what else can we do? For lack of sixes, maybe 18 to 17 works best? But yeah, this, I'm not sure. Now our sixes almost have to slaughter play to the deuce. So small inaccuracy there, I think. 4-1, going to be OK, though. Uh, making the 9 seems really nice. Uh, he wants to bring it in instead. OK. Yeah, 18 to 11, slightly better. Last play. Six and 17, yeah, that looks fine. Another fan. 3-2. What can we do with this? I guess, I mean, spreading out blots just doesn't seem like a problem to me. I don't mind 14 and 11 at all here. Just trying to get my checkers working around and being careful about moving them too deep. 14, 11 is indeed best. But uh, 13 to 8, fine, very close. 1 6, fan. 5 6 closes, very nice shot. He was waiting so patiently for that. Now just one last hurdle to jump, really. 6 4. It's amazing how awkward the, the bar point can make bearing in here, though. 17 to 11 and 13 9 seems like kind of forced. Everything else just buries for no reason, so sure. <laughs> Looking through to make sure there aren't awkward rolls that he's creating here, I suppose, or trying to make sure, but I'm not sure what other play he thinks he's going to find here. Playing behind the anchor, I just it, it makes you less mobile long run. It's going to give you problems potentially clearing the eight point, especially if your opponent enters, so I think this is likely to be best. Four four can hit. Maybe he's looking at that, but I think just 
taking a chance to get everything home while your opponent's on the bar is just more important. Uh, this is going to bring two checkers in, I do believe. Has to play behind the anchor, but feels worth it here. And if his opponent enters, he can have some awkward